sorry. Uh, up. Let's see. This is gonna be forever break. I'm doing this right. We're going. Hey, all right. Welcome, everybody, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, to the terrain of magical expertise five-year anniversary charity live stream marathon for Child's Play. That is a really long title. Hey. Hey! Hey! Don't all, don't all cheer at once, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I am Chris Neosi, you know me better as Kerberfer, uh, or Kerber15, because numbers, and I was 12 when I did that. Um, I'm the creator, writer, animator, head honcho in general of the Tome Training Magical Expertise web series, and also the voice of Kerberfer slash Zeto. I'm joined uh, to start with by a few lovely folks from the casting crew. Uh, oh, am I, am I super low in volume? No, it's, being it's, 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 you're it's, kind of it's losing quality, out, dude. Wait, I am? Oh, it's God. Weird. Are we already experiencing technical difficulties? Like, I, knew uh, I can kind of hear you now, so just yeah, keep going. Yeah, you're a lot better than that. Okay, cool. Keep going, right, keep going. I don't know what I did, but I'm going to hold to God and stays. Anyway, nonetheless, I'm joined, <laughs> I'm joined by a few lovely cast and crew members that I would love for them to introduce themselves. Where do you go? Oh, we're doing it? All right. Okay. Yes. Hi. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't ready. Uh, I am Blake Shady Vox Swift. I am the voice of Alpha, and I am also the sound designer and occasional side composer. At least I can hear you, Blake. Hi, I'm Casey Mangelo. I voice Game Crazy, and uh, as most of you know by now, Softy. Hi. Hello, everybody. I'm Anthony Antfish Sardina, and I was the voice of the Demon King. The Demon King. The. The one and only. Oh, it's your turn. Oh, okay, it's my turn. Uh, I'm Yoav <laughs> Lando, also known as the Living Tombstone Online, and I am one. Uh, uh, I'm in the musician alongside with Kajet. Um, I basically produced and did a bunch of soundtracks for some of the episodes of the show and some of the other parts of the show. So yeah. And finally. Hello, hello. I'm Devin Mack, and I do raccoon things at things, and sometimes I've been the assistant voice director. Yes, and he also basically wrote most of Rocky and Scene, so you're more or less yeah, a pretty, member pretty as far much. as I'm concerned. Oh, mm -hmm. Mac wrote those scenes? Yes. Oh, that's why they were so that's good. That's why they were so much better than everything <laughs> else in the show that I came up with. Yes, I know. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, so, so welcome, everybody. Uh, so this is to celebrate the five-year anniversary of the show. It was yesterday, uh, five years ago, that we premiered the first episode of Tome uh, to Newgrounds.com. And it's been five glorious years since then. We did 16 episodes, uh, eight, uh, actually now nine shorts as of the, uh, the the one that we put out yesterday, ABC. Which thank you very very much for all the wonderful comments we we're losing, well we're over. losing you again, mate. What's that? We're, we're losing you pretty bad. Oh, Can't hear anything. Really? I mean, oh I'm not Hold sure on. if, if, I, can, if but I lean no, down like this and go directly mm. into the microphone, is this better? I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know why this is happening with this. What am I doing wrong? Guys? Well, we can all hear each other, right? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Why the f- Okay, well, I, wow. Uh, wait, hang on. Let me host. I probably got the best internet connection. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I, I, I'm not on, sure if that. Hold on, hold on. I think uh, 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 Zero Incorporated is saying that I sound fine in the stream, but you guys can't hear me. But that's still a problem, and I don't know why that's happening. But Only we use Discord. Shady, do you want- Shut up. Oh my god. Shady, do you want to host the call? Yeah, if you drop the line, I'll pick it back okay. up. Okay. Welcome to the Technical Difficulty Stream, starring the cast and crew of Tome, everybody. I hope you're enjoying and not leaving the chat already. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Am I good now? I hope to cry. Hi, God. Uh, still the same. Really? Oh, hi, God. No, wait. That's better. I can wait, hear you. Wait. Talk. Talk. Okay. Talking English is good. Yay. I love it. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Yay. All right. Okay. Yay. Beautiful. Fucking God Almighty. Oh, All right. Anyway. All right, hang on. Let me stop my t uh, my legal downloads real quick. But yeah. Yeah. Totally. Uh, All the legal ones. That'll do it. Doing. Anyway. Okay. I was going to say before before Skype decided to be an asshole. Um, so for those of you who don't know already, uh, unfortunately, uh, a few major cast and crew members are not available. It's doing it again. <laughs> really? Oh my God. Fucking. I don't care. Uh, whatever. They can hear me. So fuck you guys. Okay, a, a few a few major cast and crew members were not available uh, to join us this weekend. Unfortunately, they've got conventions, uh, captains at a wedding, actually. Uh, so there's a whole lot going on. But 
Uh, oh, also, is that even working? Is that the microphone? That's yours? Yes. Yes. That's the one. Okay. Try that. Uh, hold on. We're, we're fixing things. I'm glad we're doing this now. This, this, this is like Skype, like, in 2005. Okay, am I good? Everybody? I don't think you're using the mic in your broadcaster as the... No, I am! I swear to god, I am! It sounds yeah. like I'm, I'm hearing a computer fan. In what?! In the, Wait, uh, the video. is there another I'm mic plugged in? Is that what it is? It could be it. I oh, could... hold on! I think we found the, the fucking... The animal we did it? We did it. Oh, okay. How about now? Am I... Anybody? Uh, everyone in the chat is saying, oh god, too loud, now my ears. Oh, what? Oh, 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 now I'm really loud. Oh, now I'm you really loud. Just made over oh, hold on, now. hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna turn myself down. Okay. I love how all of this is gonna be saved forever. Okay, how about this? Is this good? Anybody? I, I want to screen cap this entire chat. Great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is this good? I, I lowered it down a couple decibels. Is this good? I swear to Christ, I, I, I don't want to waste so much more, more time with this. Oh god. Uh, guys, can anybody <laughs> fucking hear Hello, me? Hello everyone, if you can hear me. Hi! Can you guys hear me? My favorite comment is, uh, uh now... Chris, you're Kerber really for... quiet now. This is, this is, okay. Kerberfer is two times <laughs> louder than everybody else. Just like always! <laughs> is this... Uh, I, don't, I don't even... I don't even know if any of this hello. is working. Hi, I hear you again. You can't... Am I good? Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna do this, and if, if you guys can't hear me anymore, then fucking whatever. I'm gonna- I wanted to start this already. Okay, so- Okay, go, 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 go. okay, okay, okay. so, okay. A, a lot of people couldn't make it this weekend, unfortunately. They got conventions and- and weddings and whatever, etc. I apologize for that, Everyone, but- no, I don't. Everybody, everyone says that they're going deaf again. Careful. Son of a bitch. You're now making about 200 people deaf. <sighs> I'm gonna murder somebody. Alright, I'm turning my mic down by two decibels. I- Oh was I? It's, it's like he's not oh even here God. now. I don't... <laughs> Can't win. This is amazing. Skype I hope this video gets archived. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, this is all gonna be... My, my real anger is gonna be archived, I swear to Christ. Okay. <laughs> is... I, I don't even... I don't know if this is working. I don't know if I'm good or whatever. And now it's too quiet. Now... Oh, <laughs> God. Oh my God. Jesus. This is a nightmare. Um... All right, guys. I'm He's sorry. I don't. I don't. I want to get this on with. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I, I need to get this on with. I don't know if this is too good or too bad. Whatever. I apologize if I'm hurting people's ears or if you can't fucking hear me. Whatever. Okay. A lot of people couldn't make it this weekend. I sincerely apologize on their behalf. They're away or busy or at a con or something. I don't know. But uh, particularly Martin Billany, Little Karibo. Uh, I, I wanted to have a little something from Nylock ahead of time. So before we start playing the actual episodes. Uh, I, okay, they're saying it's perfect now, so I hope to fucking god that's the truth. Okay, so I'm gonna play this little message real quick. Uh, this is a little something that I uh, had Martin record as Nylock and did a little video of this to talk a bit about uh, <laughs> Child's Play, the uh, the charity that we're working with, and uh, and how you guys can do We already actually have a few donations submitted, which I'm gonna get to momentarily, but... So those... how's everyone doing? What? I'm alright. Okay, well, good, they can't hear me, whatever. Alright, everybody, I'm gonna play this. So, enjoy this, and everybody, I'm gonna tell them to shut up. I'm telling them all to shut up for two fucking minutes, and here we go, okay. Greetings, denizens of the ever-flowing live stream. It is I, Nylock, master of being absent for anniversarial celebrations. I'm not even checking the Although thy favorite dragon warrior is off on another adventure, I am speaking to thee like from before. another realm to deliver an important message. While the timeline of my precious comrades okay, and I has been much shorter, history. for those of ye residing there in the isn't? real It'll world, be, it has been five glorious years since the unveiling of, of our so first documented totally adventure in the terrain of magical the... expertise. Yeah, but Whether thou hast you know, followed our endeavors for all five of those years, or even as recent as this one, I, Dragon of Eternal Gratitude, am ever thankful for thine support. In return, myself and the warriors of Tome humbly beseech thee to help return the favor. The brave heroes of Child's Play, a charity function dedicated to improving the lives of young children with the joys of video games to over 100 valiant hospitals, are always in search of new hands to lend aid to the poor hatchlings in need of a boost in happiness. Today, as we celebrate the fifth anniversary of Tome, 
His Majesty King Kaboffa is offering to provide artistic renderings of thine request in return for thine gracious donations of 20 American dollars or more. If thou wishes to provide monetary assistance to the fine people at Child's Play, a link shall be posted in the video description below, where ye can enter the amount thy wishes to provide. Use the attached comment section to write details of what thou would request, or provide links to reference pictures of the desired image. Only one character may be provided per $20 donation. But $40 shall yield ye up to two characters. Thine reward shall be posted at the King's Twitter, at Kerboffer, upon being finished. Nothing naughty now, remember. This is for the children. Oh, and on the topic of uplifting support combined with Twitters, ye should be sure to follow my adventures in motivational speeches on at Official Nylock where I give daily doses of wisdom delivered straight to thine Twitter feeds. <laughs> Personal plugs aside, it is time! Now, as the mighty makers of our beloved web series look back on the enormously epic episodes of Tome, join the celebration! Make merry with thine comrades, and remember to battle on! So saith I, Mm, I look master of imparting perfect endings. Farewell, my friends, and enjoy. Whoosh! All right, everybody. So here we go. Thus begins. So we're actually going to start uh, with episode zero first. I'm playing them in chronological order, which I know is a little unexpected. But uh, I thought... Now, I'll, I'll also say, by the way... Uh, unfortunately, we are not going to have time to play the shorts. I was hoping that we could have those in between, like, where they needed to be. Uh, but sadly, uh, if we played them all, then we would be dipping into the seven-hour mark. And, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to have it run for too, too, too long. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully... Well, I mean, it's a marathon. I mean, yeah, you I know, for six... I, 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 w I would love to play them all, but I, I don't want to have it go on for, like, that long, if, if, if it's if possible. Um, so I apologize for that, but we're gonna play all the episodes, and, uh, so we're gonna be here for the, the whole six hours, at least I will be, and these guys will be coming in and out, uh, at, at, at their, play, at their, their leisure, and we'll probably be having some other folks join us a little bit later on to come in and say hi, uh, I wanna see if possible to maybe try and call up, uh, Anna Kingsley, the voice of Flame Girl, who is not here, but she should be available to come in and say hi for a little bit later on, and, uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna be, so just to reiterate, I'm gonna be taking donations. There's a link in the description of the stream, uh, where if you'd like to donate, uh, for $20 donations, I will do a sketch of one character, and for 40 I will do two, up to two characters. Uh, nothing not safe for work or, like, inappropriate or whatever, you know, I'm sure you'll hopefully know the threshold of that or whatever. And, uh, otherwise, yeah, we'll just be kind of shooting the shit, providing live commentary, taking questions from the chat as well, and etc. And I hope to God that anybody in the chat has been able to hear this, and I'm not too low or too loud or whatever. I swear it seems fine, and you sound fine in Skype. Okay. Well. I apologize for, like, my near meltdown earlier, just, I, I very rarely do this, and I want to make sure it went off without a hitch, but hopefully this is fine. So, anyway. I didn't even hear the meltdown. <laughs> so, God, yeah, well now the art, the meltdown is archived forever. So congratulations. Oh, anyway, great. so guys, uh, to start with, it's been five years. Um, yes. So before we started the show, uh, all of, what were you guys all doing in 2011? You ain't seen nothing yet. I was making brownie videos. <laughs> I was on Yu-Gi-Oh GX at Bridge. That's right. Yeah, you an X. Yeah, God, oh that's God. been ages, hasn't yeah. it? That's gone rip. Just flown this? past five years. I honestly can't believe it. Yeah, I, uh, I was, I just finished up college, uh, in like spring, summer 2011 or so. I was, uh, I was doing some animation work with Skullgirls at the time. Um, I was just oh, generally that long. Look, looking for freelance. I was doing some DO stuff occasionally. Um, and uh, and then the production process and started. So I, I had a, I had a swift kick in the ass from from Liz to just go ahead and do it. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. And then we had episode one out. We premiered it at Yomacon in 2011. Um, which Shady, you were not at Yomacon that year. I don't think were you? No, I came in uh, 2012. Okay. Cool. Um, no, 20 2011. 
2011. Yes. 2011 was 2011. the year we premiered it. No, I think it was the year after that. Can you speak? Well, I came when you did uh, episode five. Oh, that was 20. I don't remember oh, what year oh, oh. that was. Hey, oh, I think we have. I think we have somebody in our midst. Hold on now. Uh oh. Uh, uh, hold on. We might have another. Child. Uh, if she'll be able to pick up. Hopefully. Hey, can you come on, make a come on, Skype. For her too? Do it for me, baby. Oh, I'm good. Sorry, that's my fault. I was meant to click it. Oh, there you go. I'm you hosting. You gotta, you gotta be the demand to do it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, hold on, uh, got one more person. For you. Okay, uh, there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Anna Kingsley, Anna. the voice of Flame Girl, uh, joins us after all. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? Give it a try. Oh, great. Hi. <laughs> Anna, my love, how are you? Yeah. I am well. Oh my god. I'm sorry it's been. We haven't and... actually talked in real life in like ages. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> fine. Definitely <laughs> fine. Oh my god. Uh, lots of, lots of flame girl love in the chat already. We were so. Uh, we're, we're, we're streaming already. We're doing episode zero first. Uh, I was asking everybody in, in, the, in the room uh, what, what were you all up to in 2011, like before and during and after the show started? Nuts? We just discovered virtual <laughs> playing Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> and misuse I was a weeb watching all the anime, wanting to be in everything, and getting lucky. Yeah. <laughs> was was twenty was twenty eleven the year that Mac kind of discovered you on like the Newgrounds like audio yes. portal? Yes. Is it, yeah. You want to share that? Deep deep in dust. And is evolving ah. at an exponential uh, rate. I, I, I don't know how much of a story there is. I was looking for people <laughs> <laughs> to audition for Dust, and I'm like, hey, this Angie Do person is pretty good. I should have them audition for me. And I'm like, wow, they're pretty good. Chris, you should have them read Flame Girl. And then she was Flame Girl. She was pretty good. <laughs> I was a little babby, and then I grew up with you guys. Oh my god! Also, we're already having our first bits of lag, apparently. So that's great. Her buffer apparently it's, never. Yeah, it stopped. It stopped for like five seconds, but it. it it sort yourself out. Are, are you Hopefully using those five seconds were out when Anna was talking. Oh damn! Everybody everybody wants to hear. Oh, <laughs> you also probably have your first donation, by the way, Kev. I do, yes. We're going to get to donations very soon, and I'll be starting on the drawings for those. What started um, as a warm but, uh, sense of comfort. What else? Uh, Anfish, what were you doing in 2011? Shifted what was I doing? Uh, I, I guess I was still kind of working on JoJo at the time. I was still in college, still doing uh, not as much voiceover because, like I said, college that was taking over. I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was still doing some work with TFS. I think that was around the time when... Uh, when Captain Ginyu showed up? Uh, yeah, I think that sounds about right. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's more or less kind of what I've been what I've been doing, what I'm doing now, except now I'm doing yes. some extra secret stuff as well, so... Well, uh, those of you who don't know, also, uh, Antfish and, and Mac are both uh, in Toronto, where uh, quite a bit of animation voiceover still centered over in Canada. Um, mm -hmm. and you guys have, uh, have worked on quite a few, uh, animated shows now, and even just the last, like, few years, uh, well, you've done a whole lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, Mac more so than me, for well, sure. That will change soon, I'm sure. Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, it will, it will. No, you've, you've, you've been, you've, you've been, honestly, this is a general statement, all of you guys, I think, have improved as artists in general, Softy like so much grow. in these past five years Becoming I've watched you guys grow and like the good the personally from even just working with you guys on the show nature. and and seeing like the difference the between like the beginning and all the way up until now you know not even even outside of uh, outside of the series but like the it's been really incredible and I'm, I'm, I'm really glad to have to have bared witness to that as it were so but uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think I've always been pretty great. Right. Well, I mean, <laughs> I'm on with yeah, I've always okay. been perfect. Yeah. Well. Um, all right. Well, I think we're gonna get into some donations now because uh, we already have a few, and I'm gonna get to drawing these now. Um, and if you can't donate, like this video. There's over 200 people watching and only 50 likes. Come on, people. Yes. You know what to do. My God, get with it already. Bump up the volume. Bump up the volume. Right. Okay, likes. No, Sorry. don't. <laughs> all right, let's Slow. see. So. Uh, Sadly, uh, I think I, I don't know if, the, if because they're they're labeling themselves as anonymous, but the names are coming up as uh, unknowns for all these. So I apologize if 
you meant to have your name submitted and it wasn't or something if maybe the the site ate your name i'm not sure but either way i'm gonna start reading this so uh first one we have a 40 dollar donation chris i'd like you to draw a crossfire fox from my comic kaiju believe with raccoon working together evilly as partners in crime cross was greatly influenced by raccoon among other characters and i received great advice from devin mack raccoon's va on how to make the character better he even contributed to an issue idea it would be an honor to have my character drawn by you by you here he is all right well but Mac, a big cool. ups to you for helping him. I'm assuming you know. I remember him. Crossfire. He's pretty darn cool. Awesome. All right. I remember the board game Crossfire. You'll be caught You'll up, be caught up in there. Guys, <laughs> It's Holy scene. crap, we just went from 50 <laughs> likes to 110. That's Sweet. awesome. 111. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 11. Then All right, well, I'm going to start on this here. Everything Real came quick. to a head. Ugh. Actually, no. Before I start drawing the first commission, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the first page of just a picture of, a real quick picture of Alpha, and tweet a picture of that as well. Thanks. I tried to make it a really memorable first boss. Think it'll do the trick? So, by the way, guys, to all of you, while, while I'm doing stuff, uh, please feel free to, uh, to like answer questions in the chat or talk amongst yourselves or selves or comment on the episode or whatever you want to do. Sure. Uh, please feel free. You uh. just. We had a question earlier from uh, our old friend Lava Ring X, who asked, uh, "Do the commissions have to be Tome characters, and are kissing commissions a okay?" <laughs> no, they do not have to be only Tome characters. And yes, kissing is tame enough that that's fine. What about tongues, Chris? Can I ask for tongues? Uh, only if it's f only if it's funny. <laughs> only if it's funny. Define funny. How like, like if it's funny? like clearly like funny. Like like a like a like a joke tongue and not like a mm, mm. so no oh, serious gosh, tonguing then yeah no so like a basically just a tongue going and like yeah. person getting licked just going oh god kill me so you want it horn to start <laughs> from Pokemon <laughs> right yes <laughs> good 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 choice okay. of reference thank you. Uh, like, have someone ask you to draw a tongue kissing another tongue, so that's okay. I want to see Kerb as a tongue <laughs> sucking on my tongue. Wrapping the tongues around like snake tongues or and something. And we've already made this an X-rated This is going screen. a little far. <laughs> so, Casey, this this was a big episode for you, uh, by the way, episode zero. Um, cause this was the, yeah. uh, this, now do, I, I actually don't remember, did we record all of Softy in one big session, like all of that stuff together, or did we do this one, like? Uh, I, I think we did, yeah. Okay. It was, it was already a while ago since we did this, but, uh, it, I, I believe that because we, we talked about how the character was going to be, and I remember we had a few, uh, Skype conversations and phone calls about the direction of the character, and, uh, I remember you just hit me one day like, okay, we're recording this. Like, mm. in one go. Okay. Well, I'm uh, sorry. By the way, real quick, I have to acknowledge. Um, this is the part where uh, Zeto slash Kerbifer in real life tragically feels the pain of what his arm getting cut off is like. Oh, and yeah. uh, <coughs> apparently that's a meme on Tumblr is, is me screaming in pain and uh, as if my arm were cut off. <laughs> is it? And really? I don't know why. <laughs> it's hilarious and also disconcerting. <laughs> But is, is there a hashtag for it? No, it's just a bunch of image macros on Tumblr. I, I think everyone in the chat knows what they have to do. Come up with some uh, creative hashtag. Hashtag rip Zeto's arm. Literally rip. Rip Zeto's arm, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um, well, I, I, as I've t I, I, by the way, to everybody, I'm sure I'm probably going to repeat a lot of stuff that I've talked about on, like, audio commentaries and, like, behind-the-scenes stuff with the fat bubbles and all that stuff, so I do apologize if some of this stuff is kind of, like, re reiterating things that the hardcore fans might know, but nonetheless, um, I, uh, I, I did specifically cast Casey as the part of, uh, of Softy and, and, and Ray Game Grave. <laughs> rip, rip Zetto. I, I know, I'm brilliant. Z Zetto, Sorry, go uh, on. Hashtag pray for Zetto. <laughs> Jesus. Um, I cast Casey specifically because I knew she would be capable of voicing both, uh, the forms of Game Crazed and Softy from the beginning. And she absolutely delivered exactly what I wanted when we finally got up to doing this episode. And, uh... And it was really great, and I and I love Softy and, and and Game Crazy like collectively as a character. They're, I'm really really proud of how they they turned out, and Casey just did such a great job of like basically bringing my my vision for the two of them to life, as it were. So. That makes me so happy to hear, dude. Thank you. No, absolutely, yeah. And Softy's so cute, and now people draw like a lot more fan art of her too. So. Yay! I know there's a lot of Softy fan art. Like I think more than GC. Uh, actually, there might be by now. Yeah, believe it or not. 
It's funny, you'd think that GC would get a lot more fan art because he's pretty easy to draw. Right, it's literally just like draw a squiggle and then draw another squiggle and close in the lines and add a little head and there you go. Yeah. Just like a normal ghost. By the seven programmers. Yeah. Spooky ghost character. Spooky Even ghost. I can draw that and I can barely draw a stick figure, so I mean... I'm By the you way, don't want to see what it'd be like if I had to animate this thing. Tombstone, I, w I want to give you a shout out in this little <laughs> section too here because so uh, and, and this is under heavy direction for me in terms of like what I was looking for, but you got this perfectly uh, where we have the kind of melding of um, the welcome to tome theme, uh, and like and then having or, or, or having a. Uh, the uh, uh, game crazed theme slowly turning into an arrangement that you did of the Welcome to Tome theme at this section, which is one of my new favorite pieces of music in uh, the entire soundtrack. And in fact, I was actually at uh, Kajit's house uh, a couple days ago, um, and uh, we, uh, we we were we were like just kind of testing through watching episode zero for a second, and, and Kajit was like really pleased with everything you did on this episode too. So yeah, this is. This is, I think, some of your best work. Like, and I'm not just saying that oh, because it's so like much. my show or whatever, but like, you really did really, really good stuff on this episode. Yeah, thank you. If, if we're all already on the subject of music, like after this scene, I don't know where in the stream right now everyone's watching, but where I'm watching right now, there's the bit where we see... I think this is the bit where we already saw the... Um, the you talked about the arrangement, right? So after the arrangement, what I did, I decided it's because it's supposed to be ambient that I'll just reverse the melody and make it really slow. So it's like, what, what you hear after that, all the... Um, yeah, after this scene. Sorry, now I'm seeing the stream. So after this scene, stream, I uh, basically reversed the arrangement that I did and slowed it down. So what you hear is the arrangement again, but just like with effects and stuff. So it's like if people are wondering what it's playing mysteriously there, it's basically the theme again. Oh, oh, oh when uh, I made it when, too when complicated. Yeah. Oh, sorry. yeah. I was actually wondering. It's got a really cool, like, kind of eerie sound to it as well, actually. Um, yeah. So, somebody asked in the chat, "How's the softy plushie doing?" Oh, I still have the softy and the game craze plushie waiting safely at my house for KC to totally eventually move to California because you're doing that. Well, guess what? I'll be there in probably about a month to oh, scout for location, oh, and uh, I will be hugging those plushies. Yeah. And, and make you too. I might. I hug you too. Oh, I, uh, I, I would hope so. Uh, you know. And th uh, those were done by, I believe, Moonlight Chronicle is her name on Tumblr. I believe was the the one who created those plushies. Yep. Sent, sent them to all of us, and that was that. Was, I can't believe that was a year and a half ago already when, when we got those in that in that great little box of all the presents. Yeah, that was amazing. That was. Violence. <laughs> I I just pulled out the uh, the CD that you gave us. In LA, last time we were there, uh, the eight-bit tracks from Tom. Oh yeah, that's right. And I, I pulled it out, and I, um, I just started listening to it. And I'm like, forbidden. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just already, I miss it so much. It's been like a year and a half since we were all together, but oh, yeah. uh, it feels like you know, it just pulls me back in like it was yesterday. Um, listening to that, so yeah, I can't wait till we're all together again. Its Maybe like we can do a meetup in LA or something. I'm I'm down for that. Yeah. Shady, I know I know you've been wanting to come visit again for a long time. Yeah. Opportunity. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. It's not even a question of like the uh, <coughs> the expense of it. It's just schedule. Everybody's got their own thing going on. Right. A convention would be nice, but it's like spending some time outside of that could be even more sick. Tune dude Ted, by the way, yes, uh, Nylock Woo shirts are available on the, uh, on Level Up Studios. All the Tone merchandise is available on there. When that time comes, and untold um, lives... Yeah, honestly, you know, I, I would, I would love to have a get-together with all the, the main cast again. That was, that was such an amazing weekend getting to do that together. We haven't really done, I mean, I haven't personally done any conventions since then. I don't really do, uh, conventions. Um, at this time, anyway, it's something I've considered. If I was invited, I would, I would really give it consideration. But we should do more like appearances for Tom if conventions will have us, because I, I think this has generated enough buzz and interest to where people would actually attend conventions to see us all and watch Tom like all together, just like we're doing here. But like, actually have a personal experience with the fans again. I mean, oh, totally, that yeah. in LA was like the greatest thing. It was just so great. 
That I, was magic. I would, I would love. What? I would love to do that at some point. If it, if it were, I, I would love to do more conventions in general. I've, I've got a little one that I'm doing. I think in in February. I'm still working on the details. Uh, might be going to a little one in Tennessee. But I, I would love to. Even if I wasn't like guesting necessarily, I would love to do um, more uh, more convention appearances and like tell them stuff. Uh, especially if some things next year work out, which are still a little up in the air, but. Um, oh, somebody was asking in the chat, Shady, did you ever get your Hot Pockets? I'm happy to say, I, no, I, he did not. I'm sick of this <laughs> fucking joke. It just follows me everywhere, and it uh, won't die, and I can't remember what the sheer Christ it spawned from. You guys, because, no, I remember, it was because we went to, we went to Yomacon, you really wanted to try a Hot Pocket, and I was like, no, yeah? you're not gonna try a Hot Pocket because they're gross, disgusting-ass garbage. Uh, and then Dude, it was just a recurring thing that whole weekend, and then when we were recording for the new Tome episodes after that, you kept fucking making jokes about Hot Pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that thing hasn't dropped dead yet. Jesus, it's... Uh, no, I've never Almost had a Hot like Pocket. I still want to try it, because it's... People have told me it's like, a, it's like a pizza in a blanket, in a hot blanket, and that sounds really cool, and I want to try it. That's the it's... Shit. yeah, it's good. Uh, I, I just I just saw on the stream that I was credited as Ryan Gilmoon, and I, yes. I remember when that whole thing happened, people were like, who is Ryan Gilmoon? And I'm like, <laughs> There was one person who figured out that Gilmoon was a rearrangement of uh, Mongelo, Of actually. my last name, and uh, Ryan was my middle name, so... Uh, yeah, in case you guys didn't know that, which I'm sure some of you didn't, there little, you go. Little trivia. Oh, no, you no. should try use that pseudonym in, in uh, another official work of some kind, it'd be fun. I actually have used, uh, <laughs> I have used my fake name that I used for Zeto, uh, Tony A. Campbell, in an anime that, I, funnily enough, Casey and I were both in, in, uh, Queen's Blade Rebellion. Um, Wait, you used that? You did use a fake name? I did, I, I used, I mean, I, I don't hide that I was in it, but I did use, uh, Tony A. Campbell for that show, yeah. I, I remember when we did it and we're like, is this the end of our career? <laughs> Like, can, can we do this? What do we do? <laughs> and it wasn't, like, it wasn't anything too raunchy, which I had I had to watch it first to make sure it wasn't something that I absolutely can't, I absolutely can't do. But I'm watching, I'm like, ah, I'm torn between using a fake name, and, uh, but I'm like, screw it. Let's do it. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Because it's not that bad. It, it doesn't like, matter now what happens. It doesn't um, matter! Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> about time. Aliens! Uh. <laughs> I've got both of you fucking doing it now. Yep. I didn't even attempt- I... <laughs> I've, I've got news for you, bro. I've been doing that since before I even- I've been doing that since, like, the early 2000s. <laughs> I've been the, the actual aliens! Uh. <laughs> aliens! Well, yeah, that, but... By the way, don't tell me how to play my game. It. You have to sing it, like, oh. Nothing's, nothing's more fun than talking in a pop punk voice, I will say. It's fun. It's <laughs> well, a really good Shady, and, Shady and Casey are, are particular experts at uh, mimicking a lot of uh, a lot of old like '90s pop artists. Like one because half of bands. them sound like they've got a damn cock in their mouth <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and if anyone knows about cocks in mouth, it's me. It's you can Shady say the box. <laughs> I taught him everything he knows. It's oh. true, and it's very good. <laughs> Anna, Anna, you have more respect for yourself. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Some more respect for Christy. By the way, there's, there you are. There's Anna, there's Flame Girl. Which, by the way, my god, we all sound so fucking different in this first episode. We really do. I, I know, it's a joke. Like, yeah, if the animation's different, and oh my god, looking at GC now is like, wait, that's GC. Because you were so like, hey guys, it's me, Game Christ. <laughs> Hey, it's Batman. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> do it for the we all sound so different in this episode. Yeah. Ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vine. Ain't gonna do it. Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. Fucking rip. Oh, oh. No luck. Mm, Ma Martin, I think, sounds the most. Martin sounds the most different, and, and that's my fault because I absolutely directed him to be super one note in this episode and then actually mac i think it was honestly you who was like 
hey, mm -hmm. vary it up a little bit, or he's gonna get really annoying real fast, and I'm like, yeah. So then by episode two, we adjusted uh, the voice a little bit, and it, it became a lot. Mm. And then by episode, th episode three, episode three, episode three, <laughs> oh, it was no. beautiful. It was beautiful by the time I hit that point, let me tell right, you. It's been oh, the my Mike, Mike, Mike Tyson Mike stream. Oh my god, congratulations, Mike Thanks, Tyson. Mike Tyson, I really appreciate the commentary. <laughs> I'm gonna eat your babies. <laughs> um, you, got, you got bits of ear in your teeth. Like it's funny because like, oh. Martin Martin is still so like oh I'm not like I'm not a voice actor and I'm like shut your goddamn mouth yes you are like dude he did a, he did a a voice for my WRVR project Fallout 4 and uh, and he was like I don't know if I can do it I'm like no trust me you can do it I, yeah shut up you can do it so he did it and it was like the perfect menacing British voice I'm like yeah that's you're good you got this. Um, someone in the chat said, cut yourself some slack is the first episode. No, it's true. First episodes and just about anything were always so incredibly rough. Go back and watch like American Dad or even The Simpsons or anything like that. You watch the first episodes and just go, oh my god, they have not found their feet yet. You, you know you know what I've always noticed, actually, it, in cases like that, including for those shows, is I, whenever voices are, are like adjusting, like, like when they're first beginning it or whatever, I notice that over time, like in terms of the shift, they tend to get higher higher like they tend to kind of like go a little bit higher pitched than, than right because yeah. yeah. like like, uh, like uh, more, one i always remember in particular with, with family guy like like peter was like all the way down here and then by the by the time he's here he's like all the way up here and then like lois like peter what are you doing and now he's like peter like by by the like season five I guess because oh yeah I, I think it might be because uh you know it just gets a lot more Fucking hell. Man, get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh my god. god, you're beautiful. <laughs> well, Edfish does probably yeah. fucking everybody on every <laughs> adult swim. Like, he does everybody on Futurama and, and fucking Family Guy and shit. Ah, oh, man, I wish. <laughs> To uh, continue a bit on the whole, like, oh, first episode thing, you know, could have been better because of, you know, over time you progress and everything. I think, like, in, from I remember the first time I saw the first episode, I was, like, okay with the fact that at least it has an arc and at least it has all the right setting and everything to be like, oh, okay, so that's what the show is about. And then continue the next one, regardless of how the quality is. Oh, yeah, actually, Tombstone, I, I, I should ask you. I don't know if I ever have asked you this before. Because I know that you had seen my stuff. Like, you've seen, like, Parody Rangers and stuff. Have you have you seen Tome before we met in Skype that one time? Okay, so when I met you the first time on Skype, uh, I was, you know... Like, to, to, to explain it, like, in a much simpler way, like, I was a Newgrounds baby, and, you know, at the time I saw Parody Rangers, I saw... Uh, smash, uh, smash taunts, uh, smash brawl taunts. Sorry, brawl taunts, and I remember saying, the, "I'm very sorry for that." Carry on. <laughs> and, 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 and I don't, but I do remember seeing one or two episodes of Tome because I was checking out stuff, newer stuff that you were doing. But I was watching it out of context. Like I enjoyed it, but it was not, you know, marathon watching. It was me watching one episode of it, and but I remembered more the parody Rangers one. But because at the time it was when Newgrounds was still the thing to go to before YouTube. So. That's only half of what for, remember? I mean, that was the question, right? I'm sorry if I overcarried it a bit. <laughs> no, the answer was one. <laughs> Just the number one. <laughs> one. <laughs> one. Yeah. Also, I'm currently tweeting the picture of Rock Moon and Crossfire Fox for a twenty dollar <gasps> donator. Yeah, so those chumps I was supposed to be beaten down. <laughs> and post. Alrighty, cool. All right, next up Beautiful. we have a, a twenty dollar donation uh, from another. Oh, the, oh wow, these are all from unknowns. Unfortunately, I, I guess I guess I don't know. People aren't submitting. There is no name field when you <laughs> donate. I guess not. Let me let me attempt something real quick. Okay. I want to see why is doing that. Okay, um, I'll donate because child play. Well, by the way, the next person is saying, "Awesome that you're doing this." Here's a link to my OC Lunar Woman. Can't wait for the stream. So I'm gonna draw Lunar Woman now, who I'm assuming is a is a Mega Man Net Navi from the way that she, she looks. Lunar Woman. Lunar Woman. Lunar Woman to be. Up. Oh, I think we have another. Another Gusto. Uh, Another Gusto, Gusto. Who might that be? Indeed. Shady, call, call this man. 
Oh, this beautiful man. This beautiful man who I... This beautiful, beautiful man. Sweet deal. <laughs> fiddle, fiddle work. Such a weird first fight scene. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the voice of Serpentine and the amazing master behind the orchestral themes of the Tome soundtrack, Steven Seraphis Kelly! Ah. Yes. Uh -huh. How are you doing, my friends? <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Hi, Kim. Evening. Hello, 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 hello. How are my lovelies? Or do, or your, your lovelies are, are doing well. I got better when you came into the call. <laughs> Steven, what were you doing in uh, 2011 before uh, before we had the pleasure of meeting? Ah. This isn't a criminal investigation, we're just curious. <laughs> Whiling away my life in existential crisis. Come on, it couldn't have been that early. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've, I've always been doing, let's see, uh, composing and voiceover stuff and just, yeah, working away, drawing, painting. You know, actually, little fun fact, uh, so, so a, a lot of people may or may not know that there's quite a bit of crossover between uh, the casts of Tome and uh, Dust and Elysian Tale, which were both kind of being produced around the same time. Um, and uh, Steven was actually the first, I believe, was the first person cast in that game. Is that right, Max? Yes. yes. Mayor That's Bram perfect. saved the day. The, uh, basically... <laughs> The Microsoft guys heard that, and they're like, okay, yeah, we give you the green light to get voices for everything. So, yeah, <laughs> Steven's awesome like that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I only heard about that when the game had been finished. <laughs> I was quite surprised. You were, our, you were our secret hero, yes, which, which gave uh, opportunities to uh, Anna as, uh, oh god, help me, Haley, uh, Haley. Haley. Haley, the blacksmith bun, who's adorable. I may or may not totally ship with us. You'll never know. Um, as well as uh, myself and Shady voiced some. Uh, I uh, got some, to be some, Soldier D. Some, some yeah, I, I was Soldier A, <laughs> the hey. unsung hero of anime. Soldier A. Yeah. You put the D in Soldier, my friend. Oh my God. I always do. He did put a D in that Soldier. <laughs> Alpha. Because <laughs> he was a hot lizard man. Oh, there you are. Oh, mm -hmm. hot lizard man. Gross. Hot lizard man. Oh yes, ladies, right this way. <laughs> Running the government from right under your nose. <laughs> Shady, I, I, I do think you actually oh, are the only unnamed soldier guy to get so much fan art that you, you've actually been shipped with dust. I've seen it. Oh my what? god! No, you're lying. No, you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> I Either implore you happen. to present evidence, <laughs> sir, and then I will make my decision. I'll, I'll get it. And I think you've got it bookmarked. In other folders. <laughs> it's, it's clean, but it exists. It totally exists. I, I want to see. I don't believe you. I want to see. It. How can you I'll tell it's it. me, though? How can you tell it's my soldier? Because they specifically point, uh, point out one of your two lines. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, no, I want to see this. <laughs> I'll, I'll look for it. This is gonna be fun. Hashtag hot lizard man. <laughs> okay, so, so for, if you that's can't just donate, for after the party, right? Like if after. You can't donate. Uh, <laughs> there's there's 250 people watching and 160 likes. Come on, people! If you can't donate, like the video. If you can't Please. donate, no, there's you know no problem. By the way, free? what would actually be a, a, a what would actually be a huge help is that if is, you can just tweet true. a link to the stream. Uh, and spread the word to anybody who might be able to donate. That that is also yes. heavily appreciated. No no worries if you can't contribute. It's all good. We're just happy to have you guys all here in the chat and stuff. Tweeting so. streams, bringing nature. Come on, hashtag like spike. The more likes and views, uh, the more likely it is to show up in people's feeds, even random people's feeds. So they they might be seeing this for the first time, which would be pretty cool too. So you never know. I know we're having a five-year celebration, but this uh, could always be someone's introduction to Tone. That's true. Yeah. And, oh yeah. That's I mean, we're we're ta we're talking as if you've seen the show and you guys know all the secrets and everything, like about how right, everybody right. dies in the final episode. You know all that good stuff. <laughs> right. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That was really embarrassing. How you made me uh, do that thing there, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. So embarrassing. I mean, you were the closest person yeah. to actually dying. So I mean. <laughs> yeah. I think we should step back. 
deeply so. I got to do an awesome scream though. I'm no, you happy. you you really did. Like my God, like holy. holy that was shit. a horrible scream when I had to engineer it and mix it with that dragon screech noise. Oh yeah, that was so cool. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Terrifying. God. Uh, and I, was, I remember that, Chris. I sent you it, and I was like, "Hey, does this work?" And then you were like, like, "Yes, I'm, I'm terrified." It's, per no, it's perfect. Like <laughs> Sexy dragon man. Sexy dragon lizard man. Oh, by the yep. way, uh, shout out to uh, <laughs> shout out to Edward Bosco, who I don't know what the hell he's probably watching sports yeah. or something. But, oh uh, my god, come on, why is he not here? He was in this I gotta go watch my sport. I gotta go watch my diet, don't forget about me! <laughs> sports, oh, sports, sports. oh man, we've got so many, I'm, I'm barely keeping up with them. Sports! Alright, tweeting out a picture of Lunar Woman! Oh is this it? Oh god, yeah! <laughs> They're just oh, playing god. in the water. What? Good lord. It's too, I love Chris, it. you want to I see if you can get it. Lucian in? We could have fun with this. <laughs> oh, uh, well, when we get to episode three, I'll have, uh, I'll have Lucian come in. Let's play with the water. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I miss Lucian. Oh my god. Years. We're old. <laughs> I'm so sad that, that Anna ran into Lucien at the convention but had no idea who he was. I didn't. I had no clue. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, uh, there'll be another time. That's why you got to come back. Yeah, no, I definitely need to come back. Definitely. Come back. I love you guys, like, so much. <laughs> okay, so for, for now, from now on, by the way, I, so I just tweeted the Lunar Woman uh, Commission. I'm going to actually tweet them in batches from here on out, so I'm going to do another four, and then um, uh, and then we should be okay. Uh, this right. is a $20 donation. Hello, everyone. Just wanted to say thank you so much for Tome and everything else you guys do. Curb, I am 06 Hannah 12 and I was the one who asked if you could draw my Tome character in the last Tome stream. Unfortunately, I'm only on mobile. I was wondering if you could post the picture of my character on Twitter and tag you there. Thank you again. Uh, no problem. I will look you up on Twitter and hopefully get the correct reference image. Thank you, 06 Hannah 12. <laughs> I have my little line, my last line in there. The okay, run away is a direct shout out to another web series that I was in with a kind of similar, uh, similar premise to Tome called Smash Tasm, a machinima oh, yeah. with uh, myself and Edwin Tiong and Kim Lin Tran. And I'm totally stealing Edwin's line. He also ad-libbed a lot as a villain who got an extended role. Or villains, rather. Okay, I need to get the reference picture from her on Twitter. Uh, we... Oh, wait. Oh, here it is. Oh, ha! Oh, this one. Oh, yes. Thank you. Got it. All right. Excellent. I'm going to start on that. Cool. Alrighty. All right, one side, best fight. Bup it up, but uh, look at me. I'm Kerbaf from the Fuffle. Uh, oh, so a little funny story, by the way. So before we had the uh, the theme song available on um, on on uh, our Bandcamp page, uh, some people had been uploading it on YouTube, like without permission and stuff. But they ripped it directly from the episode. So the little opening bit where it's like the the opening bit had me going from end of the episode in it. Oh my god. <laughs> so silly. Uh, I still I still adore this song, by the way, Shady. Oh. Battle, good memories with this. Battle alone. You know, I could probably redo it as Scratch. I think it could be fun. I was actually just thinking that. Have the characters <laughs> go, what is this shit? <laughs> I remember I had an idea at one point, like, oh, it'd be funny if we did, like, a version of it where it's, like, all five of them are, like, drunk at a bar or something and all singing it together in unison. Like, we could do that on a Friday night, you know, if you want to arrange that. Yeah, maybe next, you know, next time we all get together, we should totally record that. It'd be funny. Can the Tome soundtrack come to Spotify, Red Fez? Honestly, asks. I have no idea how that stuff even works, but it's all available for purchase on the Bandcamp page, so. Updates on new episodes, shorts, and 
Do you wanna help? Any help with that? I'm pretty sure either me or Shitty yeah. can help with that. I, yeah, I fucking knew you. you were gonna step in and go. Well, I can help you. With <laughs> I was gonna say something. Dude, like, it's fucking. <laughs> yeah, Toon Core. It's simple. It's super simple. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Toon Core can do it. And uh, plenty of other services if Toon Core doesn't work. He's already got a backup plan. I love this guy. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll look into it in the future, but otherwise, also <laughs> having it on one website allows it allows me to more easily keep track of like the payments track, right, that I'm giving absolutely. to everybody every month. So. I mean, like, I, I know that you have the 8-bit on CD, but do you have the regular soundtrack for CD? For people uh, have, like, no, CD the 8-bit the song collection is the only one that is on a physical CD release because it, it's small enough uh, that we were able to have uh, the lovely folks at Level Up Studios do a uh, an actual CD of it. Uh, that said, I actually might put the 8-bit song collection on um, the Bandcamp page for people who just like want to download it. Um, I, I think for collector's purposes, because I think everyone here watching uh, would be interested in some kind of collector's uh, merchandise from Tome, because there's not much, and Tome is one of those things that we, you know, it doesn't come around every day, and we all love it. So if you had something like a CD, I don't know if people would be interested in picking up like a, a physical CD to put on the shelf and be like, yeah, it's just, there's, well, it's, there's it's, tone. It's, it's more difficult than you might think, especially because there's so many tracks, like even in the first season and, and the second season, especially combined, it's just a lot. So it's, it's, uh, it's a little difficult, but, um, but I would like to do more, uh, merchandise in the future, just like in general. Merchandising. 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 Uh, someone says they want a softy plushie. Someone says minifigures, keychains. I'm I'm surprised that you know. Dude, softy plushie though. Dude, yeah. I can't cute. Do it. That would Get be the kid. Do it for the fun. When you when you when you push softy's tummy. She says, "I ain't gonna do it." <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. Um. Oh, by the way, shout out, of course, to the uh, the now illustrious uh, Jonathan Jafari. As the voice of uh, oh. Sniper Wheel here, better known of course. Wait, that was JonTron? Oh my God! John what? Tron. Yeah. Wait, JonTron was no. in this? What? Oh my God! I cannot believe it. How did you get him? I welcome, welcome to every single fucking comment on every episode that has Sniper <laughs> Wheel in it. <laughs> JonTron. John's a great guy. If you guys have never met him at a convention like Macfest or something, he's a, he's a lovely man. Oh yeah, Macfest. You weren't in Macfest, right? No, you weren't. Uh, I used to go to Macfest like way back in the day, but I haven't been there in a long time. No, no, because you mentioned John Trung going to Macfest, because that was one time, and and I didn't see you there during yeah. the time where it was. When it what was about lit, Macfest? fam. What about what? Macfest. It's a convention. I thought you said no, Macfest. No, no. I thought you said Max. I like. I thought. I thought you said shut up. Nobody remembers Max Fist. All right. Next up is. Does not sound like a great. I'd like to sketch up my web comic slash passion projects protagonist Travis Tucker. Max Fist. Here's a reference page of him. Thank you very much. Happy anniversary, and here's hoping the kids get plenty of games to play. Thanks to this. Thank you for your twenty dollar donation. Draw. Oh, I. Oh, I know this. This is a VGA fanatic. He's a. He's a longtime fan of the show. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw your character. Max Fist sounds like like One Punch Man, but like with Mac instead. <laughs> yeah. <of Zilid. laughs> it's Max Fist. Like, it sounds like one of those generic power names that you give to a guy. Max Power. Max yeah. Fist. <laughs> Max Pain. Max Pain. Max Steel as well. Oh yeah, remember? <laughs> Maybe Max Steel. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember Max Steel. Max Steel was so cute, man. Hey, remember her first weekends? Ah, uh, maybe, maybe Tarina Magic is SPG. Oh, I love Tarina Magic. Oh, I love Tarina South Park has been so on point. By the way, shout out also to uh, speaking of South Park, Mona Marshall. Who uh, was kind enough to cameo in, um, in an episode of Tom? A couple episodes of Tom, actually. She's currently voicing the South Park version of Hillary Clinton, uh, and is also, of course, Kyle's mom and a lot of other characters. And she is awesome. Oh, she is. That looks pretty cool. Is that Mo? Oh, that's amazing. As Hillary, yeah, that's her. <laughs> 
lower the volume. That's no, really no, cool. no, 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 it's not, no, the character isn't Hillary, it's... Oh, sorry, turd sandwich, I said sandwich. Turd sandwich, yeah. turd sandwich. Thank you, get it right, Chris. <laughs> yes. My bad. Oh my god. I'm also curious as to the activity oh, we That's very cool. You too? We're up to we're up to episode two now here, which uh Is this the one with Bossico? Yeah. Which I, I just I just reached out to him to see if he wanted to come join. I don't know if he's available right now, but we'll see. He's busy so. drinking tea. Oh, sh oh, 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 oh sorry, sorry. Actually, I actually haven't talked to Mosco in a while either. Oh, Mosco, Jesus. Uh, I mean, uh, one of the great parts on his name. Lawrence Simpson. Yes, Lawrence. You love him. And yet I can't Jesus, I remember, like, about we bonded ten well, years ago over Test Drive Unlimited 2. We're like, wow, this is a game. <laughs> Let's play games together, okay? He he always he always thinks back about you and uh, you and Kira Buckland very fondly from the, the old. Uh, Aww, I've been talking so long. I I kind of miss those days. I really do. Like, I don't. Starting out and everything was just a really. Yeah, I'm whenever when everybody when that, everybody was know. really elitist and it's like my fan dub is better than your fan dub. Oh my god, the fan dub. <laughs> I'm sorry, but everyone took part in some kind of project like that. I I um, have only ever in my life done one fan dub. Kira Kira Buckland asked me to do a character in like a Jing the Bandit King, which I have never seen that show before, but I, I played like a little like bird guy or something I, I know nothing about the show but i was she, like sure why yeah, she not she used to do fan dubs like all the time back in the day she was like the queen of fan dubs um i did a yeah few, i did a couple of them with uh with her for her um it's like my first time my first time like meeting kira buckland was at the time when uh about the pony fandom she was doing a lot of um pony characters she was doing twilight sparkle like fan dubs and she was really good at it because she has the same voice range and everything so people were like hiring her all the time for this thing. So that's how I met her, because she was like in one convention at the time that I met her. And now it's funny, because a lot of people on that note who were like, some some of which are Tome cast members actually, uh, who were who used to do like My Little Pony fan, like, like cartoons and voices and stuff like that. Now they've actually gotten to voice the characters in a real Hasbro, Hasbro product. Uh, Kimlin exactly, Tran, yeah. Kimlin Tran, who is uh, Granda on Tome, she's played Rarity in a lot of stuff. Uh, she has actually gotten to do uh, Rarity in, in the um, My Little Pony storybook apps, I believe. Oh, no way. That's yeah, and then cool. Kira's done Twilight Sparkle. Uh, I think Brittany Laud has done Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy and, and a yeah. few. Do you want to hey. know what I, Chris, do you want to know what I got? What's a that? cease and desist. <laughs> uh, one of the weirdest things about the way that we started out. Uh, back in like 05, 06, whatever, uh, is, you know, on the voice acting alliance, which, which are a lot of people uh, would go to kind of find their feet and find their place, so to speak. It used to find like anime auditions and stuff, and we would kind of try to match, emulate, or come up with new ways um, for these dubs. And it's really weird that, you know, we used to look at like a Full Metal Alchemist dub or something like that and, and try to mimic that. And have fun with that. And now, if you go back to the site, you see anime that you've been in, and people are trying to match you. And it's just like, Psh. really? Oh yeah. It's weird. It's crazy. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I um. Psycho. It, I, I mean, like, I, yeah. I, I was, I was very kind of on like the the outskirt of that community. Like, I, I knew a lot of people like from way back in the day that were on it, but I was very kind of just like, I was more, I was more in like the new ground scene and like right. I just kind of met people by proxy that were all kind of interconnected or whatever. Like, but um, yeah, I mean, like that's, I mean, that Casey, that's how I think I met you and Lucian, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, him and I were like top dogs on that site like for ever ago because um, we were the only ones that actually had really good recording gear so we were known as the people who just had good gear yeah and were pretty decent so uh yeah that's that's where we were 10 years ago and you've both gone on to do a whole lot of stuff now and you've done a ton of video oh games. god yeah yep, you know, tons lucian tons. lucian just played robin in a batman uh animation recently uh -huh. was, really yeah yeah he's, he's really getting up there oh now. is that why his avatar is robin on yep. like twitter or something? yeah oh i didn't even know that that's awesome 
I was wondering that, because he always had characters that he played, but I didn't know that he was uh, actually Robin. Yeah, Batman Unlimited. Mechs vs. Mutants. Yes. By the way, something really small to note, not to derail too much the conversation, because it's pretty interesting. Um, in there, there's like, you wrote a bunch of like caution words like in different languages, and you wrote one in Hebrew. Uh huh. Which is like completely what it's not even said. It's, it's I know, like, I uh, don't even know what it originally like, I remember like, you told me about that a long time ago. <laughs> Did you it's use like it? It says. <laughs> more than how much I'm being paid. Like, like if, if, if I was to pronounce what it says, it says katahal or something. Just completely jibber jabber of words. I remember I just like put like I think I just put like this is a restricted area or something like do not enter or whatever and then just like Google translated it like reverse Google translated it a lot. But <laughs> this is like yeah, the opposite guess, of Google Translate. <laughs> you should have just done like a simple word like no or stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, like that like the fucking Sonic CD thing like the oh, no the the Sonic Three Knuckles like no way no way no way screen or whatever. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I love this person. Twenty dollars. I would love a drawing of Nylock season two design, but with his cape from season one. Also, holding the sword out in front of him in a battle-ready action stance. Thanks, Curb. Keep up the good work, man. From Matt uh, Gojkevic, I believe is how you say that. Thank you, Matt. Much appreciated. Always love uh, getting to voice, uh, getting to voice, getting to uh, draw my own uh, my own characters for money. So. By the way, uh, shout out to my sister. Dr. Allison Finelli of uh, Pete and Pete fame uh, as uh, Splat in this in this one episode here. Interesting. They are locked in. Then you have like a um, an interactive thing on the Newgrounds upload with her uh, getting upset or something. Like she freaked out her dog when she was recording. Oh yeah, when she did the scream at the very end when she simply she has she has uh, she has well uh, now one beagle. One of them passed away unfortunately, but. Um, we, uh, she, she had two beagles at the time, and she was visiting for, like, I think Thanksgiving at the time, and we had right. them downstairs, but she, they heard Allie screaming upstairs, I had her do a couple takes of the scream when she was, like, some blasting off at the end by Game Freak, <laughs> and, uh, and fucking, and then the doggies came upstairs, and they were like, oh, I was like, oh, no, mommy's sorry, mommy's okay, and I'm like, alright, now we're done, it was so cute. Did, did you get that in the recording? Like the yeah, it's, it's, on, it's on the blooper oh. reel. It's on the blooper reel for oh, episode my two. If you guys see this, so I thought later. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie Odd Socks in the chat says my <laughs> girlfriend is gay for splat. Pass it on. <laughs> She's kind of cute. Yeah. Well, guy, I gave her an intentionally very gross, like, boogery kind of color scheme, because she was all... Yeah, it looks like GC was just fighting a snot. Yeah, some walking snot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if this was uh, brought up or not, but um, is there a reason... To me, snot kind of looks a lot like... Uh... I for Sarah Ann Williams' character, I forget her name. Mer oh, Mercury yeah, Girl? yeah. So the intention was, well, okay, the, the basis of that was that originally uh, in, in the TV Tome Adventure series, this is also kind of the reason why I think that I limited myself too much by the predecessor. Um, but uh, I originally we were using, I think, the same like base sprite, uh, which was, I think, Roll from uh, Mega Man Battle Network. And basically, mm -hmm. I I had it like off the same base sprite, and so I had their their uh, their designs looking very similar. And the kind of excuse I used is, oh well, like in MMORPGs, sometimes like you know you'll build characters off of the same kind of like you know base 3D model or something like that, you know. Um, so so that was intentional that they looked kind of similar. But I think that also looking back, like if I were to redesign them again, I would make them a little, a little bit more distinct from each other in this case. Here, in exchange for helping me out like that, I want you to have this. I feel like it'll be in safer care with you anyhow. Yeah. Might yeah. that be one of the beta items you yeah. speak of? Yeah. The drain edge has similar capabilities. Yeah. Once equipped to your yeah. existing blade, now. a cut from it will absorb damage <laughs> to consume <laughs> to release yeah. a powerful shockwave. By the way, Mosco says he may uh, he may join in later. Mm. Damn right he will. Okay. During the year, so you'll just have it early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, Kirib, I do remember, like, at the time when I first talked to you, you I think you just uploaded the second episode, because I remember that's when I mentioned about the Hebrew being screwed up. Oh, because, is that uh, it? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, so it was from the second episode, yeah, I wow. just kind of forgot a bit. So that would have been, I guess, like, maybe very beginning of 2012, then. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, because in 2011, I opened the Living Tombstone, and within that year, I already established and made a lot of remixes and stuff, and at that time, at that point, we already started to talk, so yeah, I do remember. I remember. 
Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Oh uh, my god. I guess we were just too afraid to ask um, directly. Stream is going well. So we have a we have a bunch yeah, I, of uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to say anything and, and jinx right. anything, but you're not buffering, which is good. Hooray! I understand your curiosity. And perhaps it's my And if it buffers after saying this, I sincerely well, apologize. Fuck you. I do enjoy your company. <laughs> oh so game the truth. By the way, Chris, just to make sure, because I donated to to check on the the thing working. Oh. Just let me know if the donation actually came through. Uh, you know, just to make sure. Ba, 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 let's see. Uh, because he said that it's until now it's been coming up as unknown. So I was like, okay, fuck it, yeah, I'll donate and see if it's actually working. coming up as unknown. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sorry about that. Yeah, to any and all future donators, I I'm, I have a lot more to get through, but I'm still drawing the pictures, obviously. Uh, any and all donators, uh, do please make sure that you uh, you have your name uh, in either your comment or somehow, however, however you can you can you can put it in the in, in the thing in the thing with the stuff. <gasps> it's, oh, it's Kim oh my god! Hey, ladies and gentlemen, hey. Kimlin Tran, the voice of Gronda, joins us. Hi. Hello. Where's the stream? <laughs> oh, uh, it's I tweeted a link to it. If you want to go look for it, I can uh, I can okay. drop a link in the chat. Yeah, yeah. I can drop okay, it in thanks. The chat. I just woke up. Hi, Kim Lemons. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Yeah, I pasted it too. Yeah, we both are helpful. Also, Bioshock. Yeah. Hi. Rapture. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Yeah, I want to stomp a dragon. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> uh, fun fact, oh, yes. uh, Gra Granda, Granda, Granda is Shady's uh, favorite so character because of Kim <laughs> I I love how crazy and how destructive she is. She's amazing. She's fantastic. Yeah. She scares me. <laughs> oh, you know that Rock and, and, and uh, Granda would get along swimmingly if they met. <laughs> In time. A after I've gotten used to bouts of rage. <laughs> so, you like chocolate milk, too? <laughs> I, there we go. That's all That's all we need. Yeah. <laughs> I, I say as I literally take a drink of my chocolate milk. Of course. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. As it really should be. Milk? <laughs> Do you really have a glass of chocolate uh, milk? Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. Of course you guys. You need to share. Mm hmm also, I totally forgot that German was in the credits for episode two as well. Oh, so he did right. some background stuff. Yeah, I believe we did a uh, a little wallet group session with a bunch of our friends from uh, the Tomb Platoon, one of our uh, our, our chats on Skype of uh, a bunch of our voice actor friends, of which Kimlin is uh, part of. So I think Kimlin was even in that group uh, when we recorded. Yeah. Yeah. Kimlin is of course prominent in this episode as Granda and is hilarious and adorable. We got Sarah Williams, Afia Yu, Lucian, Anthony of course is in this episode as Demon King, and uh, what else we got, uh, uh, Lucian as Raven Freak, uh, Andy Dennis as uh, T-Bones. The so, most unfortunate character of Tome ever because he gets to do basically nothing. <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's so a, good too. He's such a nice old Scottish look too. <laughs> and you cut you cast him off of his audition for Fuse yes, in Dust and Audition and Tail of all things. Edwin's character in um in uh, in, in Dust and Elysian Tail. Uh, Andy Dennis did a great audition where he gave him a Scottish accent and I was like, whoa, that's cool as shit. And I was like, oh, I want that. I want T-Bones to sound like that, so I, I cast him based off that. And he's a great dude. He's uh, the writer and uh, voice of Q-Boy. Hello, it's me, your friend Q-Boy on Newgrounds, which is a very, very underrated uh, animation series on Newgrounds. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yes. The kind of infamous like, scene I am I'm ashamed of where the first scene with the girl characters are Let's talk about boys! Cause what else would we talk about? We're women! I was about like, to I'm say. so sorry, everybody. 
I was wondering why you wasn't making Alpha's first conversation. Let's talk about boys. <laughs> <laughs> Look, to be to be fair, I tried to make both the first conversations of Alpha and Flaming this episode as like talking about each other in that whoa, they're kind of getting interested or whatever. But unfortunately, when you start off an episode where it's all girl characters and they're just talking about love interests. It looks kind of bad, so I do very sincerely apologize for that. It's it's it was silly. It's one of those things in the early episodes I definitely would have redone if I could go back and fix it now. But you know, learning experience. I think every show needs a good girl girl time. Just saying. Yeah. yeah. Gal pals are awesome. I did like yeah. how, how I did there like how communal potty breaks involved, and you know what? You just feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anna, also you you uh, you did a really good job on making this scene very um, uh, you, you and Sarah and Effie and making the scene very like natural and like and, and like a real like kind of girl talk, which I thought was really cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, our next donation. Oh, we have uh, a $40 donation from Anonymous Contributor. Just saying glad I could help. Thank you very much. Uh, next one, $20 donation. It's hoping for a picture of my WoW character, Ruben Noonan, posing sort of like Dio in this picture. Uh, so I have, I have some. Anyway, I just wanted to say I love the show. Thanks for everything. Thank you. You better get that armor right. Yes, clearly I have a, I have, sure, I have a very specific not? reference to, to go off. I'm <laughs> 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 just pasting the <laughs> stream in the chat. You know what the stream needs? Pizza. Mm, hey, hey, yeah. Matt. I am Don't actually eating. Hungry. I'm eating a Philly cheesesteak mignon right now. It's okay. That is absolutely not pizza, and you should be ashamed. Um, excuse me, it's Philly cheesesteak. Get over it. <laughs> I've never and had I just had cheesesteak. Mac, Mac, by the way, I'm Mac, you should try to see if uh, Lucian is on, uh, is on, is on uh, I will check the room right so now. Lost. That was ten straight losses. Uh, I think you're spent. At least his fun is taking He's set off. to away. Uh, message him anyway. So I'll, I'll call him. On my telephone. I wrote a refill. Banana pen. So, so I want. Is it? <laughs> you want me to be the guy to message him, or yeah, just yes, that, just asking if he's online? Okay. There's, there's Gronda with her I got an M. Oh, <laughs> don't do, please. <laughs> I've just spent the last week trying to get it out of my fucking head. I don't need to hear it again. What? <laughs> I am a man. I am a man. I am a man. <laughs> I've never gotten that song stuck in my head. God. Like the first it's time I ever saw it, I got really disgusted with it and I automatically turned it off and just turned off my computer. Pens and pineapples so do not belong together. Like, it's got hundreds of millions of views. I don't understand it. I don't understand it either. I don't either. Like I heard the first guys. couple of words and I like turned it off. Like Yeah, I did too. <laughs> And every time I stream anything, a random person will come in and just start typing it. Like I can't. No, it's not. They did. Uh, they did something recently where they did the uh, the pen and apple, but they did it with uh, Ryuk from Death Note, which I saw I that, saw in that animation. Oh, that was really good. That animation was like Even too good for that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't I know hope if it was live it. action and like a suit, or if it was animation or what. But it was it's animation. Done. I think it's probably some mocap, but it, it is an animated model. Mm. That's crazy. Death Note. Well, not that close or anything. Uh -huh. I knew it. She I knew it. Sir Alpha, uh, Sir Alpha you want to have sex with Lady Flame Girl? <laughs> <laughs> Is it that obvious, Nylock? <laughs> yes. I don't know. I, I've never been the smoothest girl talker. I guess I'm just a little. Oh, and then Steph, Steph is just like, uh, take me out to fucking dinner first, for Christ's sake. Come on. <laughs> for real, though, this speech was where I was like, yeah, Martin's got it. He's oh, got yeah, that character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's, he has so many funny bits in this episode. Do you not see? <laughs> And he thinks he's not a voice actor. He's just silly. Well, Ma Martin's just one of like the, the humblest people I've ever met. He doesn't, yo, know, he doesn't give himself enough credit sometimes. No, he doesn't. He's a lovely man. I think he's at a. Is a good boy in Florida right now? Okay, okay. Is he? Everyone I know is in Florida right now. I don't know why. What's That's going Disneyland. on? Is there a big Disneyland? Disneyland. It 
Did Disney World, not land. Yeah, Disney uh, World. Disney World. Disney World. Of course it is. Disney World. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that uh, is it. Is it from Alpha? No. Yes. I've done that. <laughs> Funny story. Funny story. When I when I was a wee lad, and I was uh, I was courting my my first girlfriend who uh, was was the the person that. The ancient version of Kizuna was originally based on, not the not the one from the show, but like the old like TTI version. Uh, I was drawing a picture of her character, and my mom like happened to see it, and she's like, "Is that for a girl you like?" And I was like, "No, yes." <laughs> <laughs> wee little wee little fifteen year old curb drawing <laughs> fan art for a cute girl he likes. I still have that art, so thank you for that. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, oh yes, yeah, my first girlfriend. Shady Coon. Oh god. Let it die, please. Never. Shady Coon. Shady Coon. Shady Coon. Shady Coon. Shady Coon. Shady Coon likes hot pockets. Mm. Hot pockets. He likes it when the pockets are hot. <laughs> Shout out to Megami33 for starting Shady Coon. Shout out to Hot Pockets. <laughs> I'm gonna shove a hot pocket down your throat, Shady. You're gonna have Whoa. one. Whoa! Oh, no. Whoa! <laughs> I was like, "Whoa! Are we, gonna, are we getting? I, I are we getting? Are we peering into? It. Are we peering into Michael and Stephanie's bedroom? I'm gonna shove a hot pocket down your throat, Michael. Oh yeah, shove that hot pocket down my throat, Stephanie. <laughs> <You> get it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Pizza pocket. Is this thing even a thing? Like pizza pocket or just a pizza roll? I'm just thinking. It's just it's disgusting and awful for you, is what it is. Uh. Don't eat Hot Pockets. They're like USB mini pens. Hot Pockets! Don't eat them. <laughs> just, just, just like, especially if you live in an area, you can just get one dollar for a slice. Fucking get that instead yeah, of this shit. Like, I don't know if it's... I wasn't in Cali I know it's a random question, but in California, like, do you still have that? Basically, pizza parlors or pizza places? Or, like, yeah, it's, like one dollar slice? Uh, actually, it's, it's, there's a few places that do have them by the slice, uh, but I mean, usually when I go to get pizza, I'm getting a full pie for, like, like with a bunch of friends anyway, so. Right. Gotcha. Alright, time to... Or, or a whole pie for yourself. Oh, that's screenshot. Cool. Screenshot. That's sweet. That's sweet. Whoosh. Whoosh. It's like, Whoosh. It's like where I live, there's, like, down the block, like, one place that's, like, the one, one dollar for a slice, so it's, like, a good, good time. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like oh really my god, bad? Casey just reminded me. Uh, it's actually good pizza because it's no, all don't, fresh. Don't, don't repeat it. No, don't okay, repeat sorry. It. Never mind. No. Never mind. That'd be bad. That'd be bad, but when you said it, that's exactly where my mind went, and I'm like... There's another, there's another duo of, uh, there's, a, there's another Michael and Stephanie duo that we know that I was like, Oh yeah, I never even thought of that. Alright, I'm gonna be tweeting another four pictures of the... Commissions that I've just done, so look forward to those. Sweet. I'm sorry. Whoosh! Anyway, Casey, get over here so we can eat some pizza. Uh, I will gladly eat some one dollar pizza. That would be good. Look, a shady alley! A shady I mean, alley! Best place to have a shady alley! Great idea! This, this was a great idea! I will, I will admit, hug. see, as, 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 as like, as absolutely, like, unbearably tropey as this episode is, I admit I do love the whole, like, ah, yes, it was I all along! I am so evil! A star a voice performer! So it was, it was, it was Dio Brando the whole time? Yes. yes. Behold! It is me! This is I! <laughs> right, come on, <laughs> I'm cropped up, and I have yeah. to die hands. I, I totally want that. Raven freak. The shadows were so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck so many people referencing Granddad? Like, I don't get it. Because Grand is great. <laughs> granddad. Granddad. Yeah, but granddad. See, when I hear Granddad, I, I think of Boondock. Boondock. So I don't see yes. any. <laughs> hey, Granddad. Uh, Paper claw. Do 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 Granddad. Fucking love the chat. 
What are y'all talking about this granddad for? That's Kimlin's character in Tom, right, Granddad? Yeah, Granddad. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, uh, we have another twenty dollars donation. Hello, Dooney here. Happy anniversary. Love your guys' work, and you were a good inspiration to me. Thank you for your work and making Tome possible. If it's all right, Curb, I'd love for you to draw my persona now in her princess outfit since I've recently changed my username to Princess Dooney. Thanks in advance. I would be happy to draw Princess Dooney for you. Aww. I like princesses. By the way, Anthony, I know that you love the 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 fucking Tim Curry impression, but I really do love your like, oh, I don't want to do this voice for Tim Curry. <laughs> I'm so 100% done. Just be stopped. I feel like, I feel like when you, well, when you wrote this guy, the whole thing is this, like, he's in college and he's like, I just really want money, man. That's kind of where, that's where I was at, you know? The, 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 uh, the idea was spawned from, um, the guy that Demon King was based on was actually a guy that I knew in person. I, I, I knew him in high school. And uh, he was a really nice guy, and he was a very, very intelligent, well-spoken guy. Ow, that was my hand. I just... Ow. Uh, I think I broke a finger. But, but uh, he, for some reason, on, on the internet, he would type like a five-year-old. Like, he would barely put any, like, effort whatsoever to, like, completing sentences or, like, using proper grammar. And in real life, he'd be like, Dude, why do you type like that? You're not that dumb. And he's like, I know, I just don't care. And I'm like, quit it. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> he always also had kind of a fixation on like, dude, why does my character never win any battles? And I'm like, dude, because you're a villain. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Shout outs to John Even Williams. Even villains need someone to look up to. Shout outs to jo John Williams, not the composer, the, the high school friend of mine. <laughs> Can't we shout They're out to both? Sure, why not? Yeah. They might as well just be both, I'd say. I think it'd be a lot more interesting. Oh, you whoosh. Ugh. Whoosh. So much whooshing. Buzz, 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 buzz. What year to the rescue? After you wag your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that would be a great plot point. Kerber for loses his finger and gets it replaced with a metal yeah, finger. Yeah, we just need more, oh more limbs. God. More just limbs no falling one. off every day. I can't keep them. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. I have tears. <laughs> oh no. I'm dying. Please, judge. <laughs> Suffer. He doesn't give a raccoon's ass cheek. How do you feel about that? What about ass cheeks? Uh, I said Ra Raven Freak said Raven Freak said he doesn't give a raccoon's ass cheek. Oh. I'm a which one the left or right? Does Raccoon even have an ass cheeks? Does he even have an anus? He's a cartoon <laughs> character. I don't think so. I Matt. do, and it's adorable. <laughs> uh, uh oh, yes. chat. You know what to do. Chat. Oh, don't, don't, you don't you dare. Don't you dare. Raccoon is a, Raccoon is a yeah, precious but... cinnamon bun that cannot be touched. But it's not. By rule 34. Oh, cinnamon. Yeah, bun. Bun. Oh. That's one ass cheek. You get one bun. Yeah, there you go. You get half a sandwich. Vertically. <laughs> <laughs> Vertical sandwich. Uh, I wish. I wish. Sounds like a Tony Hawk Pro Skater that likes. Light trick or something. Yes, it's <laughs> like vertical sandwich 360. Yeah. Right. Beef vertical Super McTwist 900. Sandwich suck up. Cinnamon Twist 900. No, <laughs> Super, <laughs> Super <laughs> Twist 900. Really fucking rocket power. Whoa, Squid, dude, you just beef, of, dude. Speaking uh, of, yeah. when I get to California, I want to do like a 30 minute stream with Ben Diskin. Playing Tony Hawk's Underground for the, <laughs> the entire oh my that game. God. Oh so my I God. need to do this Please. when I get there. I've been wanting to do this since I met him a year and a half ago. So By the way, here's our fucking this is something that's on my bucket list. Here's my fucking Play, I, I played moment. Tony Hawk games with Tony Hawk I'm himself. I'm sure he loved to, yeah. We but still, now we, I want to play it with Ben Diskin. We still gotta get like, fucking do and, 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 and tell me how he reacted to it. We still gotta get the fucking uh, capture card for doing the stream and everything. 
Oh, yeah, I, I could just bring all the stuff I've got. I've got. No, because we we we're, we're gonna we're gonna get our own because I I need my own setup for it and everything. So. All right, cool. I can help you with that if you need to. I, I would love that. Time. Here's our here's our <laughs> fucking Inuyasha moment for this episode, by the way, with like Kagome. I didn't mean that to was go. a great hashtag. Hashtag cool a cool down me. hug. Cool down hug. Cool down. Alpha! Inu, Inu Alpha! Oh. Oh. Lame Gome! Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hey guys. By the way, I, I, I like how Demon King is mixed in there just because there's a recording of Antfish going, Ooh. <laughs> well, I thought it was there. Yeah. I thought I had to record it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, what? Why am I Taylor here? In the chat, Taylor Stevenson just said the day Raccoon's butt went psycho right when I was about to type that. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Wavelength! Uh, All for, those of you who don't, for those of you who don't know, I actually did star in a cartoon called The Day My Butt Went Psycho, which is about butts that come off of people's bodies and walk around and try to take over the world. So yeah, Not that's a thing. This up. <laughs> It's it's a real thing. Yes. Uh huh. No, so wait, is it on Netflix or something? <laughs> I remember you said that it was. I don't. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Well, I don't. I don't know if it is anymore, but it but it was. It has been. It's if, uh. If you want to hear, sure if you want to hear Mac that being existed. absolutely hilarious, uh, as the the ridiculous human character like playing I, opposite to the butt character, please check that show out because it's something else. <laughs> I do love Zach. I made and him yes, completely insane. And yes, it is still on Netflix. Oh, yeah, my oh my god. Nice. Yeah, so oh, go check no, out. Let me do, like, watch this. <laughs> not that, not that I need to, to tell person. people to go watch The Day My Butt Went Psycho instead of this, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe awesome. towards the end we'll remind people again. I love that it, 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 it's got like, sorry, but it's like, it, it seems like it only got one star on Netflix. Is it that? Like, is it that? <laughs> I wear that pride. I wear that with so much pride, because I, I legit had a ton of fun working on that show. Oh, yeah. Well, there well, is like, a dude, 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 pro dude, Alpha and Omega 7 or whatever that I worked on probably has one oh, star on it, God. too, but I had a great time working on that. Right on. It was fun. Yeah, I was I was looking through that and I saw I saw your name on there, Chris. Yep. I was like, oh my god! Oh my god! Thanks for watching. Um, I like the show. Let's see. Also, shout out to whoever mentioned Winston Steinberger in the chat. That is hey. also a show that I'm on. That's only in Australia right now for some reason. Something tells me you're fans, Mac. Mm. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. Uh, oh, hey, hey, here's here's a uh, here's they a familiar like a familiar voice. face, by the way. Chris, it's been awesome following the show since 2011 and having it continue till my graduation in 2015. You're a very creative guy, and I kind of relate to you in a lot of ways. Can't wait to see more of your journey as an artist and as I continue my journey as a voice actor. Sketch description, I'd like to have a sketch of Sonic the Hedgehog smiling, wearing Monkey D. Luffy straw hat and red vest with a thumbs up. From Kai Kirikai. Thank you so much, dude. I'm sure you're in the chat right now. Thank you. Hey, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> Anna, yeah, you voice voiced Ben, ben 10. 10, right? Wait, <laughs> who, just, who just did that? Hey there. Hey? Kerr, was that you? What? I just said Arigato. Hmm. No, oh, no, I, don't I don't think so. Was I messed up? Daijobu. Daijobu Desuka. It must have been shady. It must have been shady. <laughs> Somebody earlier suggested that maybe Tome should be on Netflix, and to be honest, I think this could fit Netflix, given the um, series. It's, it's actually structure. a lot more difficult to work that out than you might think, so... I don't know. I don't know how somebody would get on Netflix, but I know a couple people who work at Hulu. Have you ever tried one? So if you want, maybe I could shoot off an email. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's already on YouTube for free. It's like, why would you? Like yeah, but there. I mean, this it, it, is, it's if, more like that. I've seen like let's say YouTube. If it were to pop up on Tome, like if someone's watch or on Tome, on, if, you're, uh, if you're watching something on Hulu. Uh, like some just random anime, and it's like, hey, you also might like big bright colors tone. So I might go, eh, yeah. try it out, and then be like, damn, that's cool. Yeah, imagine somebody watching Sword Art Online, and they'd be like, uh -huh. hey. <laughs> uh, still never seen a single episode of that show, by the way. <laughs>
Not a guy. <laughs> even though, even though, by the way, shout out to Alex Von David, who is the voice director for that show, uh, who has worked with many other Tom cast members on it, uh, such as Sarah Williams and others. Uh, he is actually a fan of the show, very ironically. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Uh, yeah, so so much much love to him. He's a great guy. He actually wanted to be there for the panel uh, on on Sunday morning at AX, but he couldn't make it because I think he had another uh, another event to go to that day. Oh. But uh, yeah, he's a great guy. Goddamn, like he's just burping blooper for this episode. I don't remember that one. Can we but... watch all the bloopers too? I still don't remember the bloopers for this. I, the only blooper that really sticks with me is the Batman one. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I remember in the first episode, uh, we had the one where it was like, still no sign of curb. I'm right here, fatty. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I, that. I can't remember how the joke started, but I just remember doing it and thinking, this is funny. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, this was this was a fun scene. Uh, Anna, we actually recorded this twice, I remember. Uh, when when you were uh, when Flamey was like role play speaking to this um this, oh yeah yeah West Giver character voiced by the lovely and talented Mick Lauer who I very I, I'm I'm very sad to say I'm an idiot I totally forgot to mention him in the uh, the did you know voice acting video uh, because he was another Newgrounds person that we did have in the show uh, when I was talking about all the different Newgrounds animators and personalities and voice actors that have been in the series um so i apologize to nick for that but he's awesome great guy he actually just moved out here recently yes so mac this is i know we've, we've done a whole commentary on this episode but of course this we is have very... yes this episode the series finale of tom yeah well what almost might have been the last episode of this one yeah <laughs> i'm glad we did continue of course Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm watching. I'm probably 20 seconds behind from what you're actually streaming. It looks like a couple of rolls of toilet paper with like arms and legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does, the the, the oh, yeah. pieces are coming together. I, uh, it's like Zodia. Yeah. <laughs> the 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 uh, the Shadow Guard idol statue was actually based on if anybody remembers uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Uh, which, uh, by the yeah, way, yeah. Nickelodeon, no, no one was able to get right. Yeah, no one could ever get the fucking sh silver monkey statue right. Oh god. Even though the uh. thing was three goddamn pieces. Which, by the way, Nickelodeon is actually producing like a live action movie based on the game show, which oh, I kind of yeah. want to see because it looks actually kind of cool. They better get it wrong, <laughs> please. I'm sure there will be a joke about like which piece goes where. Oh, how do you do it? Yeah. <laughs> They even and got you just to... have people Stop, Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I, I think I don't think there's any like celebrities. I think it's just kid actors. Um, but also they got uh, D, <laughs> D, D Bradley Baker back to voice uh, Olmec, the the giant the talking head. Wait, did he do it originally? Yeah, that yeah. was one of his uh, that was one of his first uh, voice jobs actually. Oh, what a what a first too, oh, right? Man. Yeah. Still trying to Alright, finished up. Come Monkey on, D Sonic. Like Alright, next up we got... Uh, I don't know if I type my suggestion here or the stream, so just look for Manning Lee if you need some more detail. My character is robotic, he has a body of a human, but it is, it's metallic and some parts are exposed, showing bronze gears under his silver body. He's bipedal and has three fingers on his hands, but he has a golden head of a dragon, and has copper shields circulating in front of him. P.S. Thank you for making this wonderful series. He's single, ladies! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, time to draw that. Based on what the guy yes. said, there's one on top of a. There's another one somewhere in the woods. This was a really fun episode. I remember even even working on this. It was. Uh, oh yeah. Sounds good. I like had the time of my life. Um, my favorite part is the You got it! I got Yeah! Yeah! Like, bro, yeah! <laughs> I love that part! <laughs> I I love I love Shady and just Alpha being a dork. That needs I wish that happened a little more. Yeah. Dorky uh, honestly, Alpha is my I, favorite. I, I wish yeah. I had I had stood to make I think that's uh, probably one of the most relatable things uh in the show is I get it. You know what? Is when the characters actually show their like human geeky sides. Yeah. Future so you're all calling me dorks, is what you're saying? Yeah. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, you're so dorky. Yeah. Fucking yeah. dork. 
fucking lose you guys. <laughs> <laughs> kick your ass. In the, in the future, Dork, in the future I, give me your like, lunch like, money. For like, <laughs> for like future <laughs> interpretations, I definitely want to have. I actually kind of want to have uh, Curb and Alpha be a little bit more like SpongeBob and Patrick's dynamic, dynamic of that, of that like. Hey, 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 Mike, you know what's funnier than 24? Hey, buddy. What's good? 25. 25. <laughs> 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 that, that kind of shit, you know? Hey, hey, I got a joke for you. You know what's not right? Left. Left. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> 25. <laughs> I smell dork, but I don't see dork. Oh God, Kevin, when did you get here? <laughs> Trying to think of more lines. Anything above me doing it feels awesome, cool, big. Wow, you talk funny. <laughs> also, I shower, I shower regularly. I had too much fun just writing all this insanity. You have to start speaking in a different font, which I love that line. <laughs> Also, every mention of the not a rodent thing was explicitly because, like, you had all these characters calling him rodent, and I'm like, Chris, do you even know raccoons are not rodents? Yeah. Do you not know this? I gotta put this in the script. I gotta mention every time. I gotta, I gotta point it out. And it became a thing. Well, no, it was happy. cool. Yeah, I, I mean, actually, I know Raccoon I, 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 was supposed to be a minor this. character, but Raccoon is one of my favorite characters. I have to oh, say. Oh yeah, that's great. Uh, well, and as no, soon as I say that. My stream caught up, and he looked at the camera and had this big, shit-eating grin. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no, it, it, it's, it's, fu it's funny. eating grin, as I would say. It's funny, because I, I, I think we, uh, I think we kind of predicted the future a little bit, because then in, in the Guardians movie, which I don't know if maybe there was a joke like this in, in one of the comics, but, like, Rocket Raccoon gets upset about people calling him vermin, and he almost takes it as, like, like a slur, which I was like, oh, because it's true. It's like, because he's not a rodent, he's not vermin, he's a mammal. He's closely related to bears. I hope you've been doing well. mm -hmm. Get it right. Almost like people. Uh, He's so <laughs> vicious. I think, yeah, that, that, that would, 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 would Raccoon be a big fan of, uh, of Rocket Raccoon, you think? Uh, I think so. I think he's a fan of, of raccoons in general. It would be hard for him to not like a fellow raccoon. Nothing of the sort, I assure you. Come in and be like, uh, hey, uh, also... it's me, Rocket Raccoon. You'd be like, ah, yeah, you talk funny. <laughs> I, I'm also amused at the person who keeps uh, quoting Third Rock from the Sun uh, in the chat, because yes, my my dot 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 <laughs> thing is totally me imitating Germa's imitation of John Lithgow. Mary, we're aliens. I have yet to see. Oh, I love it. That's awesome. Love that show. I just love that it's specifically an impression of Jerma's impression. <laughs> Shout out to Jerma, which we just revealed recently was the um, the almost voice of uh, Sniper Wheel uh, at the last second before John Tron managed to come back in and re-record him for the uh, um, the tournament episodes. But uh, he did a great Hashtag job. Hashtag thanks, John Tron. Thanks, John Tron. Jerma is somebody that I would also love to work with in the future. Oh, he's so good. We're rats. We're rats. Yes. Use the Rude Sandstorm. Go. It's super effective. The greatest, the greatest song ever is uh, is Sandstorm, but the flute mix. Oh, that no. is, yeah. Amazing. If you ever go to, I know what you're talking about. This thing is the worst and the best thing. No, 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 no. It is, it is completely the best thing. Hey, oh, I got a good one. Like... I got a good one here. Uh, this is Oops Ghost Pants. I like a sketch of my character Sleeves, who is the navy blue ferret here. I'll, I'll link to that. Uh, if you could do an action pose, that's great. I'd like you to draw the other character alongside her since I'm $4 short uh, from affording that. 
Uh, thank you so much. Hey, uh, huge shout out to Oops Ghost Pants, who makes excellent plushies of uh, the Tome characters. She actually just went to a convention recently and gave a Webmaster one to Kyle LeBear and a Ruby Rules one to Yuri Lowenthal, and they were so cute. There was pictures of that on Twitter. Oh, I want to see. She's awesome. If you go to her Tumblr, uh, which is Oops Ghost Pants, all one word, dot Tumblr dot com, you can uh, see all of her plushies. Oops, ghost pants? Is he? I like his squeaky squeaky. Oops, ghost pants. <laughs> it's like when you go to make a an Xbox Live gamer tag and you hit suggest name and it just mashes words together. It sounds like a really, like, anticlimactic Scooby-Doo ending. So what was in the bag, Scooby? Oops, ghost pants. Oops, <laughs> pants. Well, Ma Ma Matt, you've had uh, you've actually had the pleasure of meeting Julie in uh, in person. Uh, do you know if there's a story? Uh, yes, twice. Do you know if there's a a story behind her screen name by any chance? Um, she's written about it before. I don't fully remember it, but I I, I think that she had been going by uh, Plant at one point, but then somebody got the name wrong and thought it was Pants. Oh. <laughs> uh, I I don't remember the full story though. Uh, but I remember it being oh, a cute story. You know, actually, I just thought of something funny that, that, that would be worth talking about. So, when we were at the, the Anime Expo panel a while ago, uh, somebody asked a question about if we were characters in Tome, uh, what would we be? And I realized, oh, well, it's got to be based on whatever our screen names are. And so we were talking about, like... Uh, like what they would be in so it's like Anna was talking about how Anji do you you were told that like you thought you, your brother or something told you that like Anji do meant angel in Japanese yeah um, yeah yeah and uh I guess um I'm trying to think uh tombstone would be a a, a living a, a literal living tombstone walking around like the one from Banjo Kazooie <laughs> um Shady Vox would be some kind of like 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 dark energy like creepy goth guy or something and X, the, and X the Dark One would be his, his stand familiar thing. Um, Speaking of, I'm afraid I need to make my bail, so someone else is going to have to take up the call. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I can take it. Okay. All right. You all will call everybody back. All right. Farewell, Shady Vox. We'll see you later. We'll see you. Bye, Bye. ladies and lasses. Bye. 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 Bye, porcupine head. Oh, the call's still going. Uh, all right. What the fuck? Uh, what? Uh, huh. Am it's I the king. It? It's me hosting. Witchcraft. <laughs> well, I'll take, it. I'll, I'll take it. Whatever. Um, but uh, yeah. So and then uh, I guess ant fish. You'd be some kind of like freakish uh, bug bug fish. <laughs> yeah. I actually I actually have a drawing of what the ant fish looks like. Really? And, yeah. It's so cute. It's hard. It is on my bed. It is super old. Yeah. Oh. I remember a friend of ours. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Same here. Yeah, um, I, I like I like giving people interpretational abilities to be like, what does an ant fish look like? I was like, what does an what ant fish? Like? A miserable little, uh, a miserable little pile of screen names. And someone in the chat said, uh, I'm waving goodbye at my screen to Shady like a maniac. <laughs> oh. Butt fish. Oh, here's here's your favorite Anna. You this, put it here, and it's over here. Yes, yes, yes. The day my butt fish went psycho. Oh, we we had we actually did have butt fishies on on my show. Of course you uh, did. Of course you did. Everything was a butt on my show. Everything. So, right. Everyone so was I'm a curious, butt on I'm your show. I'm curious about that show because I've never really heard of it or really watched it. So, <laughs> what, what what what? I'm curious because you worked on it. So mm -hmm. it's, it's gotta be pretty good. And like, did you do the show, or like, did you just do voices for it, or like, what? Oh, I was, uh, I was the main character. I was a kid named Zach Freeman, and he is completely insane. And it, it was great, just being insane all the time <laughs> and screaming. I always thought <laughs> Zach was like, that's, that's, Zach reminded me if like, if like Raccoon, like, was a little more like out of his mind and, uh, <laughs> and a little and a little more like naively nicer like at the upfront mm. mm -hmm. yeah uh, they, they would get along for sure but Zach the thing with Zach what makes him like so dangerous is he is he is extremely naive and he is ex he's the dumbest character I have ever played by far 
So you just literally don't know what he's going to do at, at any time. You could like tell him like you could like give him like a gun and he's like, oh, this is a neat toy. And then he'll just run around. I, I could totally see him doing that. And then he'd comforting. stick it in his, and then he and then he'd and then he'd like put it in his mouth and just like run around and like Oh out the god. Like I could see Zach doing no. all this. He's insane. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my god. Mommy taught me not to give out. I mean it's not the worst thing he could do with a gun in his mouth. <laughs> oh, I wanna I wanna I wanna say real quick, by the way, I, I, I really like this scene that's playing right here, the little campfire bit. Uh this was actually one of the first scenes that I wrote uh before even the first episode came out. And uh it was a little different. But um, yeah, it was uh, it was just a little experiment, and then I was all, I was thinking about doing it as a short, and then when we wrote episode four, added that to the mix of the first season, I was like, you know what, I'll just have this in the episode, and it was a good place for it, and it was cool because like on the off chance that it might have ended up being the last episode, um, it, uh, it it kind of helped the the whole thing go on on sort of a good note and everything, just like bonding. Why with did you think that it would be the last episode? Well, so the first four episodes were sponsored by. Uh, by Newgrounds at the time. Oh, and, uh, I remember this. Yeah. It, yeah, it was a very, a very, very small budget. But Tom Fulp and the staff—they were wonderful to, to just give us anything to work with. And uh, because we weren't going to have any more, I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to continue doing it after that. Uh, so, just in case, I didn't want episode 5, which was episode 4 at the time, the one that had uh, Zeto and um, Demon Alphan in it. I thought that would have been kind of a downer note to go out on, especially if that was the last one and have one of those like very like Sonic Sad I Am type endings. We're like, well then what happens? Cancelled! <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. uh, so, so I, 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 because I, I wrote everything up until the end of the Gemini tournament before the show started, but I thought, okay, well, just in case if this is the last one, like if we're not going to have any more budget anymore, or like if I, you know, I'm not going to be too busy to do the show anymore or whatever, uh, I want to go on in a note of like having maybe a little bit of like a, a more uplifting kind of general fun adventure story between all the main characters so um and i played with a few different ideas and and, all, and I, I knew definitely i wanted raccoon to be involved with it because i thought that would, he would be a, a really good um fit as like kind of a you know a, a, a more funny kind of team rocket type villain in that sort of way and it worked out really nice yeah. and, and i love this episode yeah, and and honestly, I wouldn't have been able to do my whole raccoon character uh, character arc at all if it wasn't for this episode oh, because yeah, this right. forced me to develop him beyond the the one note screamy villain that he was in the first episode. I had to make him smarter. I had to give him more motivation, and I even kind of started to insert the fact that he misses uh, doubling in this episode. Yeah, yeah, there were a little building blocks later. of that even in the even in the mm -hmm. early parts of this, which was really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so like it was it was because of this episode that uh, yeah then eventually we did because originally uh, I know I've talked about a lot of this stuff before but originally uh, Raccoon and Doubling were just gonna come back in the tournament for like one scene and then like Curve just kicks their ass and then that was it but uh, because of the way that the story was going and then we added the whole thing with Skate coming in and we did the Raccoon's Modern Strife short and all that stuff. <laughs> and uh, and then that led itself to then what you know eventually went into the later part of episode thirteen and everything, and I'm glad mm -hmm. I'm really glad that we had that in there because it ended up being like one of the most heartfelt like sort of things going on in the background of the rest of like the main part of the story. Absolutely, the yeah. Yeah. Four more. I, I I said it before in LA, and I'll I'll say it again. I think, uh, I think raccoons. Uh, character, the, the whole progression and, and, and the whole way that he changes throughout the show. He goes from just an annoying ass troll to at the very end, you see him giving a helping hand to someone getting bullied. So that whole 180 is one of the like best things that I I it's one of my favorite things in this in this whole show. Oh, is thanks that so entire much. progression. It's at the end. I was like, ah. oh, so, yeah, uh, it was I, really, really well done. It was cute. I, I was I was proud of how many people cried. I, I definitely consider it to be creatively the best thing I've ever done, and Dude, maybe we were all will do. holding hands and we were all bawling our eyes out. Like, oh yeah, no, <laughs> that was oh so god. special. Oh I my know. god, that was so special. I didn't cry because I'm Devin Mack and I have no soul. 
Yeah. Yeah. Pretty Sounds much. about right. <laughs> mm. uh, we, have, we have another $20 donation. Uh, I just finished watching Tome again, and it's even better than I remember. The characters and voice acting really shine through and really bring the world you created alive. The animation is superb and really inspires me to write my story. Keep up the good work, and I hope to see what you do in the future. For the commission, excuse me, nothing fancy, just a slightly, lightly tribal tattoo, shirtless guy with black wings, with a talon necklace, and uh, the feet of a falcon striking a pose as he flies. You got it. Bird man. <laughs> someone, someone pointed out the uh, the Randy Savage reference. Oh yeah. yeah, I am really happy whenever people notice that because it hasn't happened often. What made me probably the saddest of all is that Shady himself, Mr. Lion King, did not notice my blatant Lion King reference with "I've been working on my roar." Uh, he missed that. Shame. What? Shame. So Shamey Vox! Silly Vox. Shamey Vox! Shamey Vox! Shamey I think that's why he left, because he knew that that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to be here for this. <laughs> Fuck me! Fuck me! I'm sorry I didn't notice the Lion King <laughs> I didn't notice the Lion, that's yeah. the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <my laughs> that's God. absolutely how it sounds. Steven! Of course! Steven, sir. <laughs> Uh, around this time, by the way, we also did the, uh, the Serpentine, uh, the, the, um, uh, I think was it the, the oh, N Nylock's Day Off, I think was, was what it was called. Um, and, uh, I had you come into Serpentine, and, uh, I swear to God, there were quite a few people that thought that I actually got Tim Curry. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Which was... I wouldn't be surprised if you did. It was pretty spot on, no lie. <laughs> Before before I knew that uh, that uh, Demon King was going to have the Tim Curry voice, I was like, why didn't why didn't Curb just come to me? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was you you knocked it out of the park. Tim Curry was a childhood hero of mine. Mm. I don't even know if we're causing him any damage. What do we do? His tampering with the statue has corrupted this area. People are still doing hashtag shamey box. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. That's that's gonna follow him a long time. Yeah, but if we leave the grid that way, it'll. Hey, let me ask a let me ask a self-indulgent question for you all. What do you what do you guys like the most about uh, about your characters? Mustache. <laughs> your little devil mustache. Thank you, yeah. Peter. Thanks, Peter Griffin. Well, oh, yeah. I love my hair flippies, but thanks, Curb. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so mean, I love my character, but Jesus Christ, I am a huge gamer nut. And voicing a character that literally has game controller buttons all over him is just awesome. It's totally me. I like how angry Frank is. <laughs> well, so do all of us. <laughs> <laughs> But no, legit, for, for Flame Girl, I actually love how down to earth she is and how actually, like, smart she is and how she does take control of situations at times. How she how she makes everyone go, okay, alright, this is what's going on. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely like her for just being, being so human. Yeah. Being, like, she doesn't have to really be, like, so out there or anything like that. She's just her. I do like, uh, like she she is definitely the, the the most like normal and like on top of her shit uh, of of mm -hmm. the main gang because everybody else has got like issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. but no, she she seems pretty like no, I'm 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 pretty set. I know where my life's going, you know, <laughs> minus the whole almost dying thing. I I could have lived without that part, but you know. Uh, yeah, she could have she could have gone without that, but you know, shit happens. Um. But even then, she also seems like the kind of person who like, no, I'm not scarred for life. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All that headache and we got nothing to show for it. I like how much of a cute jerk I am. <laughs> I I also like that about Raccoon. Oh, well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I I do enjoy that he basically ends up being a, a walking morality play. Like he always gets his comeuppance in the end, and the only time things work out for him is when he finally decides to do the right thing. Yeah, it's kind of cool. That's I'm happy. I'm happy okay. that when he does do the right thing, something it okay. goes his way. Back. It does Real quick. Do that. Real quick. Raccoon's uh, opinion on chocolate milk. 
chocolate from Oh my goodness, chocolate milk is the best thing. You know, you know, I I, I was actually an albino raccoon, but I drank so much chocolate <laughs> milk that I changed color. <laughs> yes. that's, how, like, that's how it works. Too. That's why his eyes are so red. Mm-hmm. His uh, his red eyes are actually inspired by uh, Metal Sonic from Sonic C D. I thought that maybe the maybe the maybe the sugar from all the chocolate milk popped a blood vessel or two. This is what friendship is all about. It's funny because I think his his early design in um in like the first season of uh, TTA he actually had like kind of normal eyes, which I don't even know what he would look like now if he had eyes like that. Yeah. I even might even feel like weird. You know, maybe I'll try drawing that sometime. See would how disturbing that may or may not look. Julie, it's always a good time for drawing Rocky and Archie stuff. Yeah, dog, do it. Do it up. If you, I've been, some people have been tweeting fan art to me. They really appreciate it. Please go for it. Join the celebration in whatever way you like. All right, we got our bird man all taken <laughs> care of. Face. Next up, we got <laughs> another donation uh, from Lucellian on DeviantArt. Please, oh, oh, hold on. Oh, sorry. You don't want me to read this. Sorry, never mind. But thank you for your donation. I'll sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. I didn't realize. But I will I'm gonna draw your picture now. <laughs> sorry. Christ. You're dead to me, you're dead. Damn it. Dude! Oh, I'm drawing like uh I'm drawing like their own version of Alpha, Nito. Are, are you uh, are you drawing right now as we speak? Yeah, I've been drawing this whole time. I've, I've been drawing this entire time. To, to, to those of you who have commissioned stuff, I've been tweeting them out uh, on on uh, a Kerberfer uh, at, at Twitter uh, at Kerberfer on Twitter is uh, is where I've been putting up all the finished would sketches. Would you be able to draw them live on stream, like in a small window in the corner? Uh, I don't think no, well, no, no, because it's it's uh, I'm drawing them on a on a sketchbook, so. Oh, oh, oh okay. yeah. Uh, thank you, uh, a Angel Bless on Twitter has been drawing some great pictures of uh, the Tome Gang as well, which is really cool. Sweet. Oh yeah, my my last line in this episode, which um, I ad libbed, fittingly because we did not know if it was going to be the last line in the entire series. Yeah. I say, yeah, uh, this is not how I thought things would end up. <laughs> very, very, very fitting. Now we're on to one of my, my most self-indulgently favorite episodes, also known as the one where I get to be really cool for 20 minutes. <laughs> By the way, Kerb, if you're drawing right now as you speak, can, are, are you using puzzle for you to like switch back and forth to the screen where you're drawing and the episode, or no? No, because I'm literally in real life, I'm drawing on a sketchbook, and I don't have like, I mean, we have, uh, I have a webcam here, but I don't want to like set up that whole thing. For all these years. No, I understand. Okay, I thought I thought you meant sketches in you're opening up a software and sketching. No, yeah, I usually I usually too. do that, but this time I, I decided I wanted to uh, I wanted to do it with like an actual like a, a real sketchbook and, and do it that way. So. Okay. Analog Clues. art. Na, 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 na. So how, what are your, what are your guys' uh, favorite other characters in the series? Not including your your own, of course. Uh, can I... Um... Uh, none of them. <laughs> I hate every one of them. <laughs> oh, let me think about it, because there's a lot of characters. So. Yeah, I'm thinking think about it. I'm just thinking a lot of the minor characters that... You uh, really aware shine, of girl. Well, I know, I know. Sh 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 Shady, Shady loves Granda. Um... Yeah. Uh, apart from from my own, uh, other... I mean, I, it's hard to pick. It's like picking your children, but... Um, I'm really proud of Nylock for how happy he made everybody. Uh, I'm really He's proud the only of... one who can match my verbosity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nylock is a good character, but... That's cute. So which one of you tops? Like, Nylock is legit like the Steven in Stevie Universe where he's like the positive of everything, like he's yeah, always... Yeah, When everything's dead. He's that, uh, that, that... You know, the un, world un... right now needs a little bit more Nylock. That, that infallible, uh... Force of good in, in the world. Sorry for the honks that said. It's all good. No, because it's fucking New York City and <laughs> you're bound to hear like horns and, and ambulances and shit. So but I'm you've, you've been to the mic. city before. It's not like you move there going like, oh no, noise, what is this? Like, Oh, no, no, that's fine. It's just that this is a stream and it's gonna end up going through my microphone so I don't uh, the wanna destroy the stream because nah, of this give, shit. Give, nah, the, the, the taxis and police sirens give the stream character. 
Is it reminds me of this one short cameo you did, for, uh, Chris? You did for like John Tron, where you went like asshole. Oh yeah, it was the fucking taxi by. driver. Yeah, in the in, a, in the John Tron Halloween special, I was um, I was the taxi driver. I was the NYPD, like knocking on his door, uh, and uh, I was also the uh, the zombie hand that that came out of the uh, the back of the box when he was putting in the last uh, book into the system, which I improv, and he's like, "It's funny, I'm gonna keep that." I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to John Tron, who I'm sure is busy making magic in New York right now. Haven't you seen the posters, dude? Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a... I'm hoping if he has five seconds to breathe, maybe I'll see him when I come home to visit for the holidays. But maybe. Well, guys, I unfortunately need to make my leave. All right, my love. Hey, thank you so much for coming to hang out, dude. Ah, no problem, no problem. It was a lot of fun. It was great seeing all you guys in uh, uh, Kimlin. I don't know if you know this, but I will be in... I think I told you already. I'll be in Los Angeles later this month. So let's all Yay. try and hang out. Yeah, American Thanksgiving, because it's better than the Canadian Thanksgiving. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a second yeah. Thanksgiving, so let's, uh, don't, don't get it twisted. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna make homebrew for everybody. I need to make something. Yeah, yeah shit. <laughs> All right, well, talk to you guys later. All right, yeah, and I will life. see you at NXT on Saturday. Yes, yes, see you rare. Blah, blah. See you rare. Blah, blah. Blah. See you rare. At Fish 2016. <laughs> I, I, I'll vote for Antfish 2016 if it wasn't for Trump. Oh, shut up! Don't bring Nothing. that shit yeah. in here! We're not... nope. This is a yeah, happy I'm show, yo! Antfish 2016, it's like, oh God. shit. God. Great. Now that name has been uttered and it's archived forever. Fuck censor you. it! No, Fuck you can you, always Yoav. edit it, censor it. Please. I gotta go back and bleep it. Ugh. Anyway, anyway. Can we can we just have exec make make Lavendera great again? <laughs> oh my god. Don't compare him! He's based on my dad. You prick. Oh. <laughs> uh, Alright. Next donation. Happy, happy, happy. Not sad things. Alright. Hi. Great this is oh, this is from uh, Harold Saxton. I know how much you love Mischief Makers, I also love Mischief Makers, so I would love it if you drew Marina. I don't really know what pose or anything though, you can choose, I don't mind. Oh my god, I love you. Thank you so much, Harold, I'm so excited about getting to draw Marina. <laughs> you guys have never played Mischief Makers before and you have a working N64, go fucking look that up and play it, because it's the best thing shake, ever. Shake, shake. Shake, shake. Totally calm, let's go. Shake, shake, oh, shake. This little scene shake, here, shake, I had, uh... Shake, 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 shake. I had, I had Shady, uh, like do, do an impression of the old fight noises from, uh, from TTA. Uh, the Vulcan Fist and all that stuff, a little reference there. So that was fun. Oh my gosh, I'm browsing, like, the Tome Tumblr tag, and I'm all like... Yeah, I just came across Alpha just kicking <laughs> It's a compilation oh, yeah. of all the times he's done it. Yep. <laughs> That's why Good I'm so upset about God damn it, the front kick again. I always fall for that shit. Boot <laughs> to the head. Like a kick. Boot to the head. Guys. Guys. I wish I. I think I got stuck on a railroad spike from uh, Foamy the Squirrel, I believe. I. Where have I heard that before? I heard that from. Uh, that was that was a line from like a pedestrian in Grand Theft Auto. Oh, maybe. maybe. Um. But I mean, I'm, maybe it's a common phrase. I've never heard it much. I just but... thought it was funny at the time. I was like, oh, this is kind of funny. Go, go suck on a railroad spike. Nylock, chill out. Homie. Who just did that? That was gold. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that's Yoda or...
Or oh, Mark Simpson. Simpson. Whatever, whatever you want it to be. You guys, it's over. Steven does one of the best Marge Simpsons I've ever heard. It's okay, Casey, come back. That might be the most accurate impression of anything I've ever heard. Hey, I just noticed a, uh, a coloring error, and... I can't go back, but oh, I can. But yeah, there's a space between Alpha's uh, fingers and oh, one of them. Oh God damn it! Uh, I the, I this, one all of that. the spaces was actually like skin colored, and it, it wasn't the background. Damn I just it. caught oh, that. I, I never up. caught that before. Well, Chris, you gotta go back and fix oh, it. Oh, I gotta yep. do the Super yeah, Mega to Ultra it. <laughs> Remaster Episode Four version. Total I'll put remaster. It all over again. With knuckles. With nine and <laughs> knuckles. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Nugget. Just put Knuckles in the episode. <laughs> just replace Zeta with Knuckles and be like, well, it's about time, I guess. Uh oh. I, I want to go back and screen cap that and just like, spam you it. So, don't worry, I'm sure it'll, it'll be all over the fucking Tumblr tag in about five minutes. <laughs> Somebody's probably already posted it. If it is, then uh, it. someone let me know. Posted my shame. Just have the screenshot, hashtag shamey box. <laughs> no, 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 shame of her. Shame on you for... I, ru I ruined the show for, uh, Zega Ex Exaron? 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 Oh, Sorry, Ex bro. Well, I don't know what's going on, but somebody looks like they want to play. Curb, I, I don't know if you want to do that. Curb, uh, 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 it's, it's not as bad as, uh... There, there was an episode of the Powerpuff Girls where, like, Bubbles was talking, and her, like, all the characters were talking, and Bubbles, uh, mouth flaps. There's no mouth flaps, like, her mouth just completely stayed still. Whoops. And it's like, bug the crap out of me since I was, like, oh, no. I remember noticing a, an error where, like, uh, Rolf in Muppet Babies is, like, his, uh, his nose got, like, miscolored or whatever. And that, that was, I think that was really? Time, like, I think that was the first time I noticed an animation error. That was when I when I knew my future was already set. <laughs> yeah, you're like, wait a minute, these guys mess up too. I'm in. I know what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> I can mess up animation just like them. <laughs> it's like how in Pebble and the Penguin, you have those penguins holding still, not even moving at all inside the ship of Misery. Oh, scene. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what's up with that? <laughs> All right. Next up, we have uh, another donation from Demonic Nobility on Tumblr. Hey, it'd be really cool if you draw this demon guy for me. I love Tome and your art, and thank you forever. 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 Forever and ever and ever. All shall bow before me. <laughs> 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 Someone just strangled Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> no, every time every, I was I was playing through all the Kingdom Hearts games uh, recently with Mike Lucas and some folks, and every time Donald, was, uh, every time we were like seeing a scene where they, it wasn't voice and it was just text boxes, we would do all the voices or whatever, and like it's me, Sora, on Goofy, and then whenever like Donald goes up, I, I just I, because none of us can do his voice, so I would just go. <laughs> I agree, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> it's good enough. Just, just try to go up and down with your voice while doing that, if possible. It sounds more like more like a, a boo, a boo from uh, Aladdin. A boo. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like the people of the chat are like he's just like strangling someone. <laughs> Someone's dying. You have a radio. You can't tell if there's a oh, hey. or not. Here's hey, here's uh, Shady's. <laughs> Partner in crime on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, fucking X the Dark One, com uh, appearing as himself. That's what I think X the Dark One would look like as a character. <laughs> <laughs> Shady has a tail in this episode. He's a furry. <laughs> Alpha always has a tail. <laughs> but yes, Shady is a furry. Understatement of the century. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is also the episode where like I played Zeto like kind of like semi-British for some reason. Did you? Yeah, a little bit. Kadget Kadget was giving me shit about it recently, and I was like, yeah. It was like the oh sorry. 
It was a little too. <laughs> uh. Doing like a like a fucking Liam O'Brien thing. Like, yes, I'm not quite <laughs> British, but almost. <laughs> you will get there one day. Like an American James Bond, you still got that whinge. What's bad? Oh. Steven, I like how you were the one person in the room that, like, when I mentioned I was doing a Liam O'Brien thing, you knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> uh, Chris Guerrero, General Ivan, actually sounds a lot like Liam O'Brien at times. Like, some of his deliveries on Neo Mutant, I was like, whoa, that's General like Ivan, I haven't heard that name in so many years. Dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's great. Oh, my God. I think he also kind of sounds a lot like Liam Neeson. I, I just think he sounds like Liam. Well, yeah, his name should be Liam. Liam. <laughs> you do not belong! Chris is the fucking funniest guy I've ever met. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that from time to time. <laughs> Chris, do you remember like the tiny like parody remix of the Tom theme that I sent you like two, three years ago? I think it was. Uh, which one was that? <laughs> it was like a really crappy like animals, you know, mashup of that basically. Oh yeah, and it was like it was like the the popcorn type one, and it had the clip of me going. Yes, 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 yes that's the one. I remember. I, I think I still have that somewhere. I'm dying. Um, <laughs> I'm actually curious. I, we, I think we might have talked about this on one of the commentaries too for a little bit, but uh, what are uh, uh, Yoav and Steven, What are some of your guys' favorite? Um, My face hurts. Fa fa favorite uh, <laughs> music tracks from the show. Out of Stop punching yourself. Oh. What was the question? Uh, what, what are some of your guys' uh, favorite music tracks? Actually, you know, for, for everybody, not just you guys. Uh, some of your favorite music tracks from the... From the... What are you fucking saying, Uchi? Wait, everyone is distracted, and I don't think anyone heard what you said. No, they didn't. They didn't even know what you guys were laughing about. Favorite music tracks. Just start, just start, just start. I mean, I think everyone's obviously already agreed on Battle On, but what does what other people want? <laughs> Battleon's great. Uh, I really like uh, uh, a Hero's Wings, which is Alpha's theme. The da -na 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 -na. Yeah, that's, that's the other one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. We're not okay. <laughs> what are you fucking losing your shit about? <laughs> Wait, how many episodes we have? Do we have to sit through now? Like, <laughs> oh, how many more you have to sit through? <laughs> No, 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 not because of the episode. Casey and of, like, Anna, if you guys right are going to be five-year-olds, at least tell me what you're fucking <laughs> sickering about. This is why we can't I'm have so nice confused. things. It's oh. not Anna. <laughs> what are you? What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kimlin has just gone full Kimlin. Guys, <laughs> I only okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I really, I really dig the uh, Plan Z song. That is the illest rap beat, which is why, yeah. I, I did, yeah. which is why Dude, I did a rap fucking, to it. I love the rap he made for it. It was very really good. <laughs> yeah, that actually, Yoav, that's a that's a very often requested one to play, and uh, whenever I do live streaming. Just to play plan, uh, the Plan Z. The full it's a nice, like, it. vibe thing. It's like, yeah. Oh, no, it's really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it a lot. I remember I made this, like, in a very short amount of time because of the deadline that was kind of, like, pressed on it because it was, like, a very simple episode because it's, just, like, a montage episode? I don't know how to call it. It's, like, yeah. a commentary yeah, yeah. kind of thing. It was, it was basically our, it was the closest thing we had to a flashback episode. Mm. Right. Oh. Dude, it's, it's international superstar Michael Johnston. Hey, that's right. Michael Johnston of Teen Wolf and Tales of Zestiria fame is, uh, has a little cameo in here. Along Michael with, uh, Johnston? Xander Mobus. Before he got the Smash Brothers announcer. Yeah. Space Jam character. <laughs> and, and Raccoon has a southern Texas cowboy accent just because I felt like doing it. <laughs> <laughs> You asked. Uh, just, by the way, you asked me. You asked earlier about was um, everyone's favorite character, and I just uh, remember that. 
I think like by far Raccoon is my favorite without any bias, you know, because Mac oh. is here, but it's like No, because I think Raccoon is like no, it's just Raccoon being Raccoon and I think he's like very you know, very in range of like, you know, crazy emotions. I like, if that makes sense. Because uh, yeah, like, I understand. He's certainly it, it's... the most animated character, and I think that's why he's my favorite. Character. Yes, exactly. He's the most animated. That's a very good description. <laughs> it literally is whatever I felt like doing at the time. Yeah. The character. Yep. I can't get over. I'm looking at the uh, the social media uh, uh, tag or, or, or card on the end of that episode. I just saw it now. The Twitter icon. Did you just type T? Because it's not even a Twitter icon, it just looks like you made it in MS Paint. Yeah, I, well, I, I made it in Flash, but it wasn't very good. Yeah. Ah, that did. <laughs> By the way, if you do Marge again, I will die. <laughs> this, is a, this is a good one, actually. This is, uh... I think that kicked off the giggles pretty hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Dragon Drama, the, the big, big Nylock episode, of course. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Which uh, I think I think this was the first time I worked with you on the music, Stephen. Right. Yes. 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 With Nylock's theme song. Mm, yes. <laughs> so was that? Did we do the song before the battle on, or was the battle? I thought it was battle on first. Wasn't it? Oh, maybe it was. Yeah, and then we did yeah. the Nylock song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wait, you, Stephen, you wrote the composition for Nylock's uh, theme, or was it Kaja that did that, or are you based it on? I've, I've only done arrangements. Uh, I gotcha. Okay, because because it seems like because I I was just curious because um, you know that composition is pretty interesting and the arrangement you did was good. I just thought you also created it. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 That's uh that's Dragon of the Cold Steel, one of Kaja's early tracks that I had uh, before we started the show actually. Um, but, uh, Speaking of which, when you asked him to do the, did, when, when, did you direct Kajet to do the compositions every time differently, or was he just, you know, improvising as he went along? Uh, with I would give what, him general idea. When, when I needed a, Jesus, a new, cops. when I, the cops were coming for you. <laughs> when, when I needed a, a, a new composition, I would sometimes provide a reference of like, hey, I'm going for something kind of like this, or like, you know, th this is for this particular character or whatever kind of thing. You know. Uh, I, I would try to. I, I always try to provide as many references as possible to make people's lives easy in that part of the process. Um, right. But uh, everybody loves references. Yeah. Like, because because it is a, uh, the reason I'm asking is because for Nylex theme, it seems like it's very much like inspired by Spanish. Kind of like it has like all, yeah. you know, kind of like Mexican like. Um, well, what's the word? There's a better description for it. But the point is, is that. It all has like you know Spanish like you know Mexican sources of like instruments and the way it sounds and everything. I forgot yeah, the name I, of the I genre. Think, um, little, little little bit samba kind of. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly, I think actually, exactly. If I'm remembering right, I think the the very like early version of it, uh, which is on the Epic Song Collection, it's called Nylox Humming. Uh, I think that <laughs> that very very first version of it, it, it was labeled. The, the original file was labeled as like Western track or something. So I think that he, he even knew that that was kind of the sort of style he was going for, and then. It was intended for, because Kajit, a, a lot of the music was made by Kajit for a game project that was never finished called uh, Dimensional Forks of Oxnard, I think, something like that. And the and Nylox theme was the Desert Dimension. Uh, Battle On was the title screen theme. Uh, this theme playing right now, the dun 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 That one was yeah, the like ice, ice Dimension, I think, and then the Hacker theme was the Factory Dimension, I think was what they were originally mm. labeled as, uh, on their, It sounds um, very Ice level, almost like, um, Mario 3. Uh, the, 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 yeah. the, the map screen for, yeah, Ice yes, Mario Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. So I'm not the only one who, who kind of can, can see that, right? I hear that. Oh. I can hear like let's say Super Mario World like the cave theme when it's like all it's like the the vibe at least not the Hey uh by the way I'm I'm on to the next batch of commissions uh we have one from uh <laughs> drawing me as child's play ha 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 from Yoav Landau Oh, here we go. Nice. Well, <laughs> well I, I, I'm so disgusted by that, I have to go to the bathroom to, to, get, to expel the, the shame. <laughs> so I'll be right back. You guys talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Like, like, just take a thumb, dig a thumb on the sketchbook and say, hi, awesome. that's me. Here you go. Nah. He's, drawing, live stream. He's, he's drawing your commission. Uh, or, or at least he's drawing your sketch on the throne. How's it make you feel? On the throne. Game of Thrones. <laughs> Sketch of Thrones. Tome of Thrones. Game of Tomes! 
Oh. Game of Tones. Zeig, like, zeig. Like... Game of Tones. <laughs> Toilet of magical expertise. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Crab prefer. I like the chat right now. It's like everyone's coming up with like, you know, poop puns on Kerb. Mm -hmm. Maybe you be up for being my partner in the tournament. What he was not I'm expecting glad, you know, was the coldest cold right slam. Comments can't be archived. Yeah. I'm gonna go back and see this and go. Fuck. <laughs> Terrain of magical toads. Yeah, that's gonna work too, I guess. <laughs> magical <travel. laughs> I will accept that. <laughs> Run to the highest level you can bring yourself to. Destined brother in arms shall reveal themselves to you in time for the tournament. Uh, Lemon Overlord, I think your donation has come through, it's just that he's scrolling through each one individually, which is why it takes a bit of time. Yeah, he's pooping okay. right now, so he can't get to Yeah, he's right. pooping, so he's not oh, gonna check keen, the emails. Thank you, but I'm back. Okay. Oh, I, like, <laughs> I like Game of Stools. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's much easier <laughs> to <laughs> Oh. Hey, by, by the way, uh, by the way, everybody, just just as a reminder, everyone in the chat, if you donated, and uh, do keep an eye on my Twitter uh, for your drawing, because I've been uh, tweeting out the batches of them in four now. Uh, so yours, uh, if you're either the early ones on, are still probably in there. So, yeah. I'll check those out in a second. I'm gonna go get some coffee and uh maybe a soft pretzel so Fine. i'm gonna head out for like a couple minutes okay and uh feel free to make fun of me i I'll will absolutely so casey, so casey did a really good job in this scene damn it i can't make fun of her don't worry we can make fun of you instead yeah that's fine well i'm not in this, yeah. I'm not in this episode anymore so oh hey uh hey hey yo Yoav, can you uh can you hit up mike and jesse and see if they want to come in for a little bit Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Let me see. Because they're, uh, they're of course, maybe I can text them. Maybe in, in this no, no, episode. wait. No, texting is too intrusive. Hold on. Is texting more intrusive than Facebook messaging? I'm so what, whatever. Then they're probably on Skype right now. Just fucking bother them on Skype. I'm. All right. Let me let me ask at least Chris because I know he'll might answer right away. I don't know. Wait, Whenever I need someone or want to hang out with someone, I straight up stalk them and I find every possible portal for me to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> me too! Wow! I, 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 yeah, I just like that. that. <laughs> One time, uh, hey, actually, Casey's gone. One time, uh, what was it? It was me, Shady, and Casey. We had planned a thing at like 5 o'clock or something. And she was live streaming at the time, so I went into her live stream <laughs> comments and was like, hey, bitch, it's time! <laughs> <laughs> That's the ultimate way to get people's attention. Yes, very effective. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Chris, I'm Everything. confused. So, so Mike and Mike and Jesse, you said? Yeah. Oh, okay. One Give kids one and no whacking. Uh, no whacking. No whacking. No see, see if they want to come join for a little bit. If they like. Can we help you? Sorry, but he never answered my question. Oh. I love these two. Hyperlinks and Elliscope are great. Little. Well, Alice not here yet, but hyperlinks at least. What was your question? I'm looking for a friend who invited me to meet him somewhere. I don't know where he is, though. He said he was gonna be near the docks, but I didn't see any ocean on my way in. I just figured the city would be my best bet. I believe Alright, a message. Um, really? hopefully oh, they'll, uh, pick up. I'll do the same thing for Jesse. Maybe well, Jesse will respond. Job for Nylock, <laughs> Yes. Hyperlinks yes. is adorable. Uh -oh. She yes, has she to is. stop her <laughs> You must be popular. Fame but not as cute as Grodda, right? No yeah! Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sir Game Craze. That was spot on. <laughs> Come, fuzzy blue creature. Sir Game Craze and I shall journey across the grungy city streets of the night and protect you from any threats that may rear their foul heads from the shadows of the alleyways. We shall have a wild and over the top Cute off between Fidget and Hyperlinks and Raccoon. Cute <laughs> and, and, gr and Granda. Oh my god. We shall locate your lost one and have a look at her, really. She has a little star over her head. You can eat that. You want to eat it. No, the, the little, uh, the little floating star was inspired by, uh, the Moogles from, uh, Final Fantasy. Aww. It looks like a candy. <laughs> Is that why you want to eat it? Yeah! 
<laughs> Wait. Okay. Oh, this Wait. is my theme song. Why did somebody just say incoming Javert? What? 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 Oh, because of the, 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 the version of, of this that Martin sang, where he sang it as fucking Russell Crowe and, uh... Oh! You know, uh, do, 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 do. That's on the uh, episode 6 blooper reel, by the way. If you guys wanna go fucking find that. Uh... Hold on, I'm gonna be self-indulgent for a minute. <laughs> okay, hey, everybody in the chat, out of curiosity. Um, I, so I was thinking of possibly putting the 8-bit song collection on the Bandcamp page uh, for people to download it if they want it as a digital copy. Um, if I put up the acapella tracks that I did, would anybody buy them? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll make them like pay what you want, like kind of thing or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think people do have to hear them. I mean, they, well, they, they are up. I, ha I have put a reel of them up on uh, on uh, the uh, somewhere on, on one of the behind the scenes like playlists or whatever. So they are out there. Well, that's a bunch of resounding yeses. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to do that. <laughs> oh God, I'm so sorry. You had to fucking deal with them for so long, Steve. I mean, as I say it, I've never worked with <laughs> with those conditions before. Um, but it, I think it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, again, it was mainly it was mainly to to make both of our lives easier, especially when it came to the ones that like had to be sunk to animation. Um, yeah. So I just figured, like, all right, let me just take out the guesswork and just like have it be so you could focus on the instrumentation and like the the, the little bells and whistles and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just mainly felt bad for you and 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 Yoav and Kajit having to listen to me going like <laughs> for fucking like five minutes. <laughs> oh, it's so funny to hear that overlaid with the orchestra. <laughs> I was, writing that, I was writing that stuff in with your vocal track turned on so I could get it all in time. Oh, <laughs> so it's just, God. A symphony orchestra would just bow, 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 over the top. Can you, like, export it? Or if you already have it, like, linked somewhere, I really want to hear it. So I, if, I if you go looking it. for, uh, if you look, if you search tome acapella reel or something, you, you can find it. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. By the way, somebody oh, in the okay. chat asked about, uh, were there any TTA characters I wanted to have in the show that I didn't, I didn't get the chance to? Um, I had a version of, uh, he was previously known as Torben, and he would have been, uh, a partner to Torment, which was Happy Harry's character, but we kind of repurposed Torment to be, uh, in episode 10, and not as a hacker, so therefore there was kind of no reason for me to use, uh, Torture, which is what I would have called Torben. So it would have been Torment and Torture as the duo of, uh, of assholes. Um, so it would have been cool to have in there. I intended for him to be played by Mark Swint, who is the, um, uh, website designer for the Tome official website. And, uh, he does a great, uh, impression of Steve Bloom's Tom from Toonami, and I kind of wanted him to do something like that for him. But, uh, and there were, there were, like, obviously, like, I know it would have been cool if, like, oh, yeah, we should have had the season four characters or whatever that we never did in TTA, but, like, I just didn't have a place for him, so I was like, I don't want to force him in there, you know what I mean? But. Neon Blue Hyperlinks was voiced by Jesse Nowak. Nowacking. Which, by the way, did they respond? You what? No, they have not. Oh, which I'm gonna, is, um... I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna text them. Yeah, text them, like, it's because, you know, Facebook... No, they're not there. Uh... Hold on. Jesse Nowak. Nowacking. Nowacking. Hey, uh, if you guys are home, would you and Mike like to come join the charity stream for a bit? Question mark. We're just finishing up episode six. Oh, here's a good one. I, I know this person. Hi, Chris. The stream is... Oh, hold on. Actually, pardon me. <clears throat> Hi, Chris. The stream is going great so far. I hope you guys raise a lot of money. It's for a great cause. Can you two... Can you draw my two Tome OCs, Ink and Charlie, being cute together? Thank you very much. That's a $40 donation from Starlight's Ruby, who is exceedingly British. Yeah. So I had to do an impression of her. <laughs> mm. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Mitty. 
Much appreciated. Yeah. Oh, these are some cool designs also, so... You damn! Ah! Ooh, there, interrupt me. Actually, that's an interesting question. Someone in the chat asked, uh, Kirby, are you using Tomb Boom yet, or still no. using Clash? No, I never, I never, I never properly learned how to use coffee. Tomb Boom. Who wants some coffee? Me! I, coffee. I don't even drink coffee. Coffee, 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 What kind of coffee are you drinking, Casey? What, ca what kind of uh, brew? Well, I'll tell you what it's not. Kenko, which is the best kind of coffee. Wait, is it Kenko? There's a coffee I got when I was a kid. Uh, it, this is just some, like, generic Walmart crap. Because it was cheap. And I feel like wasting it so I can use real coffee again. But hey! Just try. I want some stuff! It's coffee, it doesn't matter. It's... Caffeine. Caffeine is good. I think we can all agree with that. I do like iced tea. It's just, it's just lemonade. Are you sitting down? Hmm? I like southern sweet tea. Fuck you guys too, it's fine. <laughs> Oh, Jesse and Mike are actually doing their Patreon stream right now. <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Whoops. Uh, Very well then. Cross promotion. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, Chris, have you um, heard from Jesse just now? She just. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She was saying they're doing the Patreon stream. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to see who. I'm wondering who else is like on. Moscow said he would Depends come in later at some point. Okay. Uh, he's Kadget? No, he's Kadget. Yes. No, Kadget's away. He's how many accidents away. do you hear a day? What's that? Accidents? Yes, how many car accidents do you hear a day? <laughs> oh, car accidents, okay. Because I was about to say, I hear myself all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I hear my accent all the time. It's, it's good. <laughs> um, a car accidents. Um, I just hear a lot of honking outside and a lot of uh, ambulances and police uh, sirens and stuff, which is something that I was already aware of when I moved in. Yeah, well, and I'm like, yeah, I like it. I like I like noise outside. It calms me um, down, honestly. It, yeah, you know, you know what it does for me too. Um, I prefer to uh, when I do uh, these events with Rockstar Games. They they put me up in a hotel on like Broadway. And you'd think for most people, having the constant honking and sc screaming would keep them up at night, but I find it relaxing and it helps me sleep better than, like, pitch silence. I can't sleep. I can't me relax too. with pitch silence. I can't do it. The, the only time it does annoy, but that, that's something, uh, like, I live with my girlfriend, and, and I know that sometimes when, when we sometimes, you know, talk about something that's important or something that's, like, you need to be aware of, and there's only an ambulance happening, it's, like, so annoying. But, you know, every other time it's, like, whatever. It's, like, noise. But nonetheless, you are quite impressive in your teamwork against the foul beast. I commend thy Um But yeah, accidents? No, I actually haven't like seen or heard one accident happening. I heard people like screaming outside and cursing at each other, but that's oh, like no, the that's extent of it. You know, everybody drives like it's Grand Theft Auto in New York and LA. Yeah, that's I've not never true. Seen... I've ne no, nah, it's true. I've never seen accidents though in New York. In, in New York, no. In LA, I've seen accidents. Yeah, in LA, it's it's weird because everyone, you, you don't go fast enough to have an accident because you you move up in your car for about five seconds and then you slam on your brakes and go, come on! Also, well, well, so most, most people, most people in the Manhattan reason, don't even. Hey, most people in Manhattan don't bring, even drive because it's bring, pointless to drive. Actually, no, no, I did see one accident, and it was actually a pretty funny occasion where it's like, uh, um, we, we were taking, me and my girlfriend, we were taking a taxi, and then we saw on the intersection there was a taxi car and a shady looking like white van trying to both merge on the same lane, and they were both rushing to, uh, to cross the intersection, and what happened is that they bumped into each other, and they all they both got out of the car and started to argue. What, what's re what's really funny is that there was a police car right there, 
So they were like talking and shit talking each other, and they were both like trying to, you know, control their temper not to hit someone in the face because otherwise they would be accountable for the accident. And they're like, I'll fucking hit you if I could. Yeah, I'll fucking hit you if I could. It's like, <laughs> and then they didn't. I don't like you. Well, I don't like you even more. And then they make out <laughs> furiously. And then they make out on, on the hood of their car, yeah. And everyone's honking in unison. You like, Woo! know what I really wish? I really wish that it, that car honk, it like honks and honk? How does it called again? In a yeah. car. Honk. So, so I want the honk to be like, let's say, on the same, you know, musical scale. So when they all honk together, it's a harmony. <laughs> It, that would be amazing. It, it, turns into, it, turns into a, it turns into a brown note. Oh, God. <laughs> <Sort> of, uh, <laughs> it's like taking, taking poop in their vehicle. Poop in their exhaust pipe. <laughs> <laughs> taking it to the mechanic is like, yeah, I have poop in my car. I don't know how to explain this. So have, you so have you figured out what's wrong with my car? Uh, I don't know how to explain this to you. You got shit in your tailpipe. <laughs> I'll just come right out. Oh meow, 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 Thank you, Cloud Lightning, appreciating my music. I think for the for the bombing mission thing, um, Cliff Weinstein did most of that, but I did I helped him out with the percussion, I think, for it. Ah, yes, that's right. On the Final Fantasy VII Machine Burst. Machinabergs. Thank you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Having a fun meow, mate. Fun bunch here. Got got Midi's characters drawn. All right. Next up is uh, oh zero incorporated do donated ten dollars. Thank you. Oh, He's awesome. Great. He's great. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is from the uh, next one. $40 from Giga Purple Cheese Man. I love me some tomes, so here's a donation. I like sketches for my two OCs, Yukio and Toshio. All right, you got it. Thank you very much, Giga Purple Cheese Man. You got it. You got it. You've got mail. You got it, dude. <laughs> you got it, you got it dude. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, 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 You've of course. This touch. is, uh, I'm going to see if I can reach out You've to... Got the Oh, wow. See if I can reach out the Twitter to, uh, icon looks Chris. like the, <laughs> looks like the Tumblr icon. What is this? Okay. I'm worried about you. I realized it. Continue to stay in the presence of this alpha. Hey, if you're Tumblr. Home, oh, you're home, oh okay. Guys enjoying the Tone Charity stream. Let's see where we just got up to episode seven. You got it, dude. Today. Wait for it. Boom. Oh, today's gonna be a rough one. I've got a feeling. Hmm. I've got a feeling. Feeling I can't hide. Oh no. Oh yeah. That's how it goes. It's a feeling deep <laughs> inside. Get it right or feel oh, right. Oh, sorry. Oh, Peter, trust me on this. I pray this warning will come to me. Whoa. <laughs> what did you just become? <laughs> <laughs> Boris and Natasha. <laughs> Boris. Boris and Skrell. Oh, oh, this is Zarya. <laughs> no, this he is Patrick. He wears alpha character. He would. He will put poop in your cereal. <laughs> <laughs> he will put poop in your cereal. I'm covering you. Go. Oh, of course. Also, here's. Uh, <laughs> Why are we speaking English? Micah and uh, Micah Solsad as Archie. Oh, look at the little face. <laughs> Archie's so cute. Hey, hey, come on down a little bit. Seriously, I have no Oh shit, we got tiny people. Oh shit, we got tiny people too. We got tiny lasagna, tiny pizza, tiny pie, mm. tiny little fried egg. Eat some fucking shit, you fucking stupid bitch. Shut up, Casey. Jesus Christ. 
cool down a bit. Oh, oh gee. Oh, gee. <laughs> we need Shady. <laughs> Morty. Uh, Morty, uh. Not want to bother with the tournament then? Uh, Archie, you gotta, you gotta, gotta shoot the, the arrow, Archie. Oh, oh John, G Rock. <laughs> G Rock. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, somebody donate for that, please. Rock, um, rock, rock and Archie. Like as yeah, Mick and Morty characters. That would be amazing. Conflicted. I'm still not sure I want to risk fighting again. <laughs> Hong Kong, another accident. <laughs> but at the same time, I need to. I'm just waiting to hear like a beep, especially if and then like. Be there. Why I got an it? <laughs> Sometimes I like to play a silly game with like the honking outside. So if someone does like a tiny honk, like a beep, so I, I repeat that same beep with my voice. So like beep, beep. <laughs> talking to the car. Um, hey, look, guys, I'm fucking losing my sanity here. Help me. No, I do the same beep. thing. It's what happens when you live in New York. When I was in New yes. York, the same thing happened. You go slowly insane. So, I mean, there's your warning. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Good <laughs> luck. Good luck, dude. We know you're not responsible for what happened. Good luck. You know you. Good luck. Good luck. This, is, this, is, this was a this was a very heartfelt scene right here. This 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 scene was this whole episode was entirely rewritten and was almost absolutely excruciatingly terrible. About uh, me. So thankfully it was it was saved before we finished. It. But um, this scene in particular, this was this was rewritten a lot. This uh, this interaction between. Uh, Flamey and, uh, and Curve here. I don't Flamey, it's Jesus Christ, Flamey and Alpha. Yeah, I guess just it's very hard to hear it on my end, but is this the part, bit where I edited the music in, or was it not? Uh, oh, I yes, it is. Were, like... it is, actually, yeah. This it is? is? Uh, this okay. This is one of the first, like, just regular BGM tracks, uh, tracks that you did, actually. This is the first thing I've ever done for anything that you've made, anything. Was it? Yeah, it was, because I remember before that, you wanted me to make a soundtrack for a Sonic and Mario kind of thing. Oh, and yeah, And that didn't work that. out. I'm, I'm yeah, watching the so. stream now, and it looks like a little piece of wiggling poop in the bottom center. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Where, where do you see that? Uh, I don't know, go back what, like, like 10 what, seconds. Like the, like the smoke from the fireplace? Yes, yes, yes. I think I told you that when you showed me the episode <laughs> in advance, and I said, oh it looks god. like poop! Oh my god. But yeah, this is the first thing I've ever, that I've done for you that actually appeared on um cartoon that you made. So yeah, the memories. Oh, I'm so insulted, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if the, that after after watching uh, Young Justice, which by the way, woo, season three coming. Uh, after and in being introduced to Blue Beetle and the version of him in the show, were like, "Hey, essay, I'm going to say random Spanish words in the middle of other sentences while still speaking English." I I am very. Very, very glad that we didn't have Neo Mutant do that because that would have been absolutely obnoxious. Because uh. <laughs> Yoav, you know, you totally just randomly break out into into speaking your native language just in the middle of it. it, it, it it's like it's like Fiddler on the Roof all over again. Me going all <laughs> heim to pull on everyone. It's like Tavia. It's like, hey, if I was a rich man, <laughs> I actually saw the movie <laughs> oh God, again. Like, <laughs> what, what's up? What? Speaking of flaming poop, here comes Neo Mutant. Great. <laughs> I'm not interested in you. You know, Flamey's very direct. Like that. More, more women could stand to be as direct as her in the future. Yeah. Yeah. To, to fucking... You know what? Even if you're that direct, there are a lot of guys that just don't get the picture, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you, ha have you had such experiences with people, Anna? Yes! <laughs> yes, oh, I God. have! Oh, God. They're not locked. You got, you got, you got, any, you got <laughs> like any funny stories you want to share? No. Uh, <laughs> Oh god. Well, I'm glad that the acting for the scene came from a real place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not what glad that you had to go. Th I'm, I'm not glad you had to go through the animation, but the animation, the aggravation. Jesus Christ, I can't English today. The animated aggravation. Yes. <laughs> I can't English today. All right. 
next up, we have... Let's see. Uh, a $20 donation from Harry. How's a boza? Uh, Harry here. I look at commission of Cairo, the main character of my work in progress series, EX World Adventure. Sure, sure, sure. Though I have some issues uh. with sorting out some rewrites and staying motivated, it's great. See an original web series like this for inspiration. All the best. And here's the references. Thank you very much, sir. And we'll go right on that, and then we'll do the next batch. Alpha looks like a like a, a fuzzier slender man, because he's got those long arms, those creepy claws. Demon Alpha is inspired by uh, Demon Inuyasha, of course. Ah, uh, that would do it. Mizudaku Game says, Hey, Curb, do you have any specific hashtag for Tome fan art on Twitter? Uh, no. Actually, if you just tweet it at me, I'm, I'm sure I will see it eventually. So, feel free. That's, yeah, that's a better option anyway. I would say, like, make a hashtag, like, Tome is five or something. I don't know. Tome is five. Yeah, I think there should be a hashtag because I love, I want to see all the artwork. I love the artwork. Oh. And I want to see people's related tweets, so. We can click on my profile and go to, like, sense tweets, like, people who tweeted at me. And find all that That's there. true. Okay. Not been any, uh, there's been one new piece of fan art I see, uh, drawn by Broly, Broly wants a duel, he drew, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Nylock. <laughs> Broly wants a duel, is this, like, supposed to be, like, a Nate wants a battle reference or something? Maybe. It sounds like it. You sound In like all it. fairness, I'm, like, Twitter impaired, like, <laughs> can't Aww. handle this place. Aw, sweetie. Aw, honey. Hunty, hunty. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, asked, so uh... We I asked... A, uh, a, someone drew Game Craze and tweeted it. It was Ryan... Ryan Joins? Oh, okay. So I'm gonna retweet that. So, I asked the question of Oddball versus Ruby Rules versus Neo Mutant for Most Awful Person Award, and someone <laughs> said, uh, nobody because they don't deserve awards. To which I say, what if the award is getting punched in the face? <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> it's By the way, there's like 222, like, viewers in the stream, which is oh, actually sweet. not that bad. Oh, Thank you all. Yeah, it's pretty good. Much. It's a lot of people for a stream like this. It's really nice. Yeah, it is. We almost had 300 at- we had like, uh, it was like 280 or something before it- Remember folks, spread the forward. word! We have 284 likes though! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. And if you're watching this video and you haven't liked it, you hate us! Uh. <laughs> Why don't you love us? Oh, uh, here's a here's a real good oh, scene. Uh, here's a real again. good scene, by the way. So we we had to, we cut a lot of stuff that Anna was gonna say originally as Flamey, but I think it actually worked a lot better without any words. So I could have monologued. <laughs> I'm sure you could have, but it also would have been very like, no, Inuyasha, no, you're not really a demon because I love you, and I'm like, you know, let's just let's just make them shut up. Let's just have it. Let's not do that. Oh, have a, give give him a big old hug and make him not evil again for a little bit. <laughs> Fix everything. I love how you gave Archie that little like a uh, Hamsar walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's when, that's when March comes in again. So we're up to 310 likes. That's that's awesome. Sweet. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I die every time. Yoshi. All right, stop killing our cast. <laughs> Kimlin, Kimlin, uh, Kimlin also does a pretty decent. Um, Lisa. Hey. Yeah. You do what? You do a pretty decent- It makes no sense! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's the line. Well, someone- someone was doing, like, March a second ago. Yeah, it's, it's Steven. Yeah, that's what I've been laughing my ass off over for the last hour. Uh, Thanks for the La Lava Ring X says, Oddball is Donald Trump. If Oddball is Donald Trump, then, uh, which- which character is, uh, Barack Obama? That's- uh, that's Rock what I'd like to know. Raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Because because we, 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 we go we go from we we go from like like a lot of people we we go from a lot of people being like oh man 
He's like kind of a screw up, but he, you know what? He's still a good guy or whatever to, oh, you're just a disgusting person when you go from raccoon to oddball. So it's quite similar, I think. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about that Fair other enough. thing. Also, I swear to God, I don't want to hear that last name in this chat uttered uh, one more fucking time or I'm going to kill somebody. I know. I, I am yeah, we can okay stop. with it. If, it. if it's brought up again, it's Donald. <laughs> right. Oh. I just call Donald him Duck. Kitty. Yes, call Donald Duck. <laughs> Look, the logo looks like a kitty cat. Uh, <laughs> my name is my name is Barack Hoon Obama, and that's uh, real hacking. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> that Lavendera can't believe it. <laughs> oh man. I taught, I taught, funny. Fucking Christ! <laughs> God fucking damn! Oh, the president is in here. <laughs> 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 like, my, mine's not as good, but <laughs> it's equally fun. Oh, uh, good God Almighty! Uh. Oh God! Salted uh, seaweed. Not very good. Do you need anything else, honey? Do <laughs> you need anything else, sweetie? Sweetie butt. I just woke up, I need food. <laughs> <laughs> Give me food. I, I got some chocolate Catch my right heart, fairy melon. Some, uh, of my pretzels. I have some pretzel left. I had I had a big breakfast, so I guess I could I could last all six hours. Breakfast. Bro Wait, what time is it I mean, in LA right now? Breakfast, Obama. It, it's uh, it's Bro it's Broxus Obama of the organization. I'm two forty nine. Yeah, two forty nine. How does that how does having having a bigger breakfast help me get my breakfast? That's like saying I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> let me. I had bacon, eggs, and pancakes. Like, you're all sympathetic <laughs> All right, we got another batch. I'm gonna take some pictures of and tweet out, including the picture of literal living tombstone. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, Afia, you the voice of um, uh, of Whitey. Is currently away, but she says thanks and hi to everybody in the chat. Much love from Whitey. Yay. Oh, this song! This song is great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the microphone on for just this bit. There's uh, like an ambulance is like playing techno music. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it stopped. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Dude, it sounds like they stopped right now. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait, there you go. Oh, there you go. What? It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the, the, st the fucking Starlight Speedway fucking New York Ambulance Remix. <laughs> Broadcasting live from, from New York. It's totally uh, uh, Devin. Yo. Have you used your Barack for anything? It's pretty good. Uh, yes. Uh, there was one of my cartoons, uh, where I have a, a little kid character who grows up to- He travels to the future in one episode, and he grows up to be the president, and I just decided, hey, you know, what if I do this- I'll do this thing in here, and, and then when they tell me I'm not allowed to do it, I'll do something else. And they let me do it, <laughs> and so it's in the cartoon, and I was very amused. That's uh, awesome. Bad. And- and right. now it's become- it honestly went over their heads, because stuff like that usually does. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, everybody, and I was recording Ensemble with my co-stars, too. Everybody just gave oh. me a blank stare for, like, <laughs> ten seconds. So I'm just like, so does that mean it's bad? Like, no, we're putting this on <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. That's bad. Oh, speaking of uh, the audios that we liked, this was my favorite because of my friend Layla doing the voice. That's of right, me. yes. Uh, <laughs> Layla, what, what's your last name again? Layla, oh, Judah. Layla, Layla Judah, Judah. Who was the yes. perfect uh, singing voice match for Anna on Flame Girl yes. for the song. Yes. And uh, which was so perfect that it worked out that way. And uh, yeah, no, that song is fantastic. Uh, that's uh, by Sky Meredith of uh, Rocket Ship Resort. Great band. Go check them out. Alrighty. Uh, here's four more. Millions of players around Donations <laughs> from the viewers of the stream! Exclamation point! The Gemini tournament is about to begin! Exclamation point! Here at the core of Tome Central Hub, within the heart of the city, the greatest warriors in cyberspace. Fuck! God dang it! 
So, uh, so I was visiting, um, I was visiting LA actually, uh, when I was working on this episode, and I was, uh, I was staying over Martin Billany and Mariana Miller's place. Uh, which they've now moved into a new place. Um, they, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was staying at their place for, for I think, two weeks while I was visiting. And it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. I was working on this episode. Um, in the meantime, I still have my laptop. Um, let's see. We have some new donations. Uh, this one's from Vanimation, saying, I love Tome and love what you guys are doing. Can you draw Nylock drinking tea dandily? Yes, I can, absolutely. Uh, and then we also I have just, a $50 dollar donation uh, <laughs> from DLWF here, aka Seth Moore. I don't have a sketch request, but I do have a few questions. If Tome was real, who would be the best fighter out of the cast of Tome? And also, where did Raccoon's craziness come from, and why is Granda so angry? Uh, well, let's take one of those at a time. Uh, Mac, where did Raccoon's craziness come from? Oh my goodness, Raccoon's craziness came from all over the place. There's a... Uh... There's a lot of Chris Rock in there. Uh, <laughs> I can kind of hear that. Th there's uh, oh, so many things. Uh, I'd say one of my biggest influences was actually a character from uh, Beyblade Metal uh, Metal Fusion called uh, Tetsuya Wataragani, and he is basically a crazy man ad-libbing, and he thinks he's a crab. And it is uh, one of the most zany, cartoony performances I've ever heard. And I saw it, and I'm like, I want to do that. I'm making Raccoon more like that. And I did. <laughs> By the way, it real came quick, before from we move to the next question. Uh, Pretty much. Oh, who, who is hosting the call? By the way, who is hosting the call? Uh, no, I don't know. I think, like, somebody mentioned in the chat, or somebody here, that ever since the new update, uh, the call is not hosted anymore on someone's computer, it's, like, just on Skype's cloud or some shit. Oh, oh no. no. Because, because, it, because I know, yeah. Oh, well, then we're gonna have to restart, because I just brought in another, another guest, but, uh, he can't pick it up if we don't have the host anymore. Um, Yoav, can you still host? I can still host, but we just need to figure out who's actually doing this. So everyone quit the call, I'll quickly call again. Okay, okay. everybody okay, quit the call. Okay, I might disappear. Give us just one moment. It's just me for a second, everybody. Give us, give us a minute. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, no. We didn't go anywhere. We didn't go like Hello. Hold on, all right, hold on. Yo, you do it, you do it. Okay, Technical fine. difficulties, great. Okay, all right. Here comes Alpha. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Still just being archived forever. Ready? Always. Yes, oh, we good? I mean, on the internet. Did it work? I'm, we I'm in a hole. I think so. I think it, okay. Cool. Okay. Just, just, just anyone in. Hey. Someone okay. in. Let's see. We're joined hey. by the lovely Terrence Lipinski, Fooly, uh, who's been one of our background artists since the very first episode. Hi, Fooly. Hey. Hello. I don't know. My, my cat says hi, too. New cat. And also, Max Cat. Uh, also, Fooly, I don't think. We can hear you if you're saying words. But you are certainly here in spirit. Fully uh, check the mic settings and stuff. Hey, so we have not been able to get uh, Masako, but can we get Basako? We can. Oh, I'll push the phone. Eduardo. So going back to the other uh, person's question, who's being a dancer. The toughest fighter would probably be GC because AI. Yes. Knows the game. Yeah, I agree. He's OP. Oh. Yeah. All right, uh, I feel Yo like okay. Those are hacks, though. In all fairness, it's kind of like hacks. Yo, uh, <laughs> if, if you're well. if you're hosting, invite Bosco. I just brought him into the call. Yeah, I guess you're gonna <laughs> I just keep like adding, and adding, 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 adding. Do we know if he's online? Uh, I don't know, but I dragged him in the call. I assumed you meant that we can add him because he's around. Let me, let me... Oh, let I me have absolutely him. no idea. I have no oh, idea. Oh, well, goddammit. Oh, well, then whatever. Right, never, <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. Fully. Alright. Oh. <clears throat> can we hear you? GC is OP. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? Fully, hold on. Hold on. Fully, qu quit and rejoin the call because you're coming out as like a garbled mess right now. <laughs> Satan! 
<laughs> We've summoned the demon. <laughs> you're you're coming oh in like goodness. super pitched down, so quit the call and come back in. Yeah. It sounds like a very like like deep fish or something. One of those characters in Little Mermaid. Maybe for cat. Right, you know what? Fuck, hold on. Fuck, I'm gonna just host the call myself because this is annoying. Some last minute grinding. Wow. 185 cups per hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, everybody, everybody, uh, everybody, quit the call. Everybody, quit the call again. I'm, I'm gonna host it. <laughs> Kim, Lynn, and Casey, quit the call. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Okay, all right. For real this time. Hey, Kerb. Hey. Yeah, the first couple matches might seem like they go by pretty fast. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. All right, Fooly, try saying something now. I'm afraid. Okay, I now mean, you're fine. Oh. Now you're fine. Now you're no longer a demon. I don't know. Is it? You tell me. I thought it was a broken in the first place. It was Fooly. Fooly, how have you how have you been doing? I will treasure that. I'm, I'm doing just fine, thank you. I'm. So I actually uh, meant to go and hit you guys up much sooner, but it's been a very busy day. Oh no, no, that's okay, dude. No, we're we're very really happy to have you in. That's awesome. How you? What, what do you? What do you? Uh, what have you been working on? I'm like, sorry, it's been so long since we caught up. I got a little time. I like the first thing we say is, "Oh, Satan's gone." Oh, <laughs> I, I caught a, I caught a glimpse of it. I'm watching this game at the same time. Oh, okay. By the way, your your volume is a little low. You can turn yourself up a little bit. Forgive me for being such an open book. Turn myself up. Hang yeah. Turn myself on. Turn it up. Oh my God. Uh, turn it up. Uh, oh. <laughs> I think that plus Marge has absolutely killed my face muscles today. <laughs> Make two any better? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. That's better. <laughs> That'll do nice. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, sorry, this up. microphone is very expensive and very finicky. It does very weird things. Also, Skype just doesn't seem to like my computer, I guess. I don't know. I can run Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, Adobe Flash all at the same time with no problems, but you try and turn on Skype on this thing. And, oh my god. God. Technology! <laughs> It fails mm. still. Skype is so, like, old. <laughs> I mean, I'm so happy Discord exists, but now getting everyone to move to Discord is impossible. <laughs> Discord! Discord! of the underworld, yay! Discord, I don't want to use you because I am too busy using Skype instead. Discord, whatever did we do? <laughs> <laughs> make you to, to make you a blend <laughs> oh out gay. I'm, I'm watching the stream and Curb's, uh, Curb's character just put his hand up to like block. And as soon as like it hit and blocked, I heard the horn, and that was just great. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. By the way, you know, you know what I wish I would have thought to do for the, this little gag where uh, uh, Raccoon and uh, Skate are, are what 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 wrestlers are they emulating with that little that little. There. Oh, that's uh, Kai and Tai, the guys who basically are like a Godzilla movie dubbed over wrestling gimmick. I, I, uh, if, if I had thought to earlier, if I had, um, uh, if I had thought to have Zero Incorporated do this, like some kind of edi editing, I would have had her put like a, um, uh, like some kind of, uh, like, like filter over that footage to make it look like it was like an old 90s anime or something. Just to like put like, like, like the grain that uh, Fred Fox puts on the, uh, the, the Fox oh, Space cartoon. That would have been really cool. That would have cool. been cool. Yeah. Then again, I also want I also want to do a whole a whole movie that looks like that. I want I want to do like I want Balancing Act to look like that when I do that someday. Yeah, Balancing Act. Oh, is that going forward? Genie. No! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if I, I'm so glad I was able to sneak that in. Yes. If if I have one, if I have one disappointment with the scene, because I do love just about everything about it, is that it is not as blatantly obvious as it could be that he is getting the sword right up his butt, which he totally deserves. <laughs> Well, I didn't I know was, how I was, I was very it been, so. I was expecting you to have the sword, like, coming out of his mouth to make it more obvious. 
I'm where not it was going. Fun anymore. Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if that was the end of Raccoon's arc, that would have been a really sad way to end it. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh yeah, shout out to uh, Jackie Florian of 918 The Fan and uh, Kira Bucklands, Rena Chan as uh, the two tournament announcers, Forever and Eva. And, and Eva. Forever yeah, and, and Eva and Eva and Eva and Eva and Eva and Eva. Forever and ever. Forever. 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 Ever, <laughs> ever. Esports, yay! What? Oh, these guys. Uh, I'm not proud of this joke. It's really dumb. Onk. <laughs> it always goes to the animation. Is the character's face expression just went from like neutral to like hee hee and the like every time. Uh, <laughs> that needs to be used as a stop sound effect. Honk. <laughs> Someone comes up with a good idea. Honk. Honk. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. Fucking yeah. New York City has a good sense of humor, I guess. <laughs> yes, it does. Greatest city in the world. By the way, I, I was just reminded because I was just thinking of the thing from Angry Beavers. Uh, Nylock's whoosh catchphrase is directly lifted from the muscular beaver from the Angry Beavers, which is a great Nickelodeon series. Well, you know, now that I'm older, I get I all think... the jokes, and they're pretty fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that, that's for sure. Um, I'm, I'm having trouble remembering the one you're talking about, though, Curb. Can you remind me how that one goes? What, uh, oh, Angry, uh, the muscular beaver thing? Yeah. Oh, he, it was like Daggett's, like, superhero, like, fantasy persona. And he was like, right. I, and he would o he would always say whoosh like when he was flying off somewhere. But also then he would be like saying muscular beaver whoosh, and then eventually like later on he'd be like muscular beaver whoosh or whatever. It, it's it's muscular beaver, and then also um, uh, major glory from uh, uh, the, ju the major justice glory. friends. Oh my from, god, yes. From Dexter, are they they? And then and then probably the close third place would be uh, uh, General Alex Louise Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. The three of them are what all inspired yeah. Nylock's personality in the series. Um, I can kind of just actually see Major Glory, and I I, I wish Nylock was actually more like Major Glory because that character was so fun. Major Glory, what he got he got the um, he got his kind of like boisterous side, uh, like his his occasional like you know what led to. To, to turning Serpentine into a villain uh, type shit. Uh, G GC just did like a pink fireball and... Come on, Carr, I just let you out. Why do you want to come back in? Also, I tell him, walk. choose in or out. I should be recording this myself. Also, the, like this, bu this buffering joke. <laughs> this buffering joke I'm so fucking proud of. I do that. Like <laughs> that actually uh, got me. <laughs> like I was like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. For a second, I thought YouTube was hiccuping, and I'm like, that's a mighty large buffering icon. <laughs> that was the only thing that uh, caught me that I was able to actually catch it with. But other than that, it was pretty seamless. For I, the I fucking yeah. fooled so many people with that joke, and I'm so yeah. happy. <laughs> and then fucking Ed Edwin, which, by the way, for those of you who don't know, yes, that is Agent Giga watching the stream. Uh, which is why I had Edwin specifically as that voice, so... Mm. Uh, Mike Crow asked, uh, how was Raccoon able to feel the pain from the- from the sword if he- if, uh, he shouldn't be able to feel pain he in that wasn't. situation? He was just, no, he, he was just- was, he was just making a show. It, that was emo- no, that was- that was emotional pain. <laughs> He was, uh, that was super his humiliated. Pride. Yeah, it was his pr yeah, yeah. It's, it's a metaphor yeah. for his pride. Yeah, pretty much. That is his low point. I have to go. Bye. Oh, here's, uh, by the way, here's Hi. Christina. Hi. Here's, uh, we speak, speaking earlier about the VAA stuff, here's Christina V, uh, who is arguably the, uh, the first of, like, the internet age anime fans that kind of broke into the industry. And, uh, she's quite awesome, and I... She, she doesn't get to play villains as often as she as she deserves to, so I gave her dust money so she could play a bad guy for once.
If this attack name isn't called Smoke on the Water, you've done something wrong, Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> There's no water here. <laughs> Copyright infringement. <laughs> Hey, JoJo got around it. Almost. That's half the true. time. Almost. Wait, so no, it, it, JoJo licensed the music, that's for sure. Half the time, whatever. We'll, we'll, really? That's a, no, that's a whole. There's some. Um, Killer Queen got changed to. What was it? Deadly Queen or whatever? Yeah, blah, they all blah, have blah. like have like the bootleg names or whatever. No, 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 but let's say, let's say the, the track, yes, that's playing in the first season of the credits. Is that licensed? I'm pretty sure that's licensed. They're all Most licensed. of it is. Yeah, all that half stuff of it. Is. At least and, half. And like Roundabout and all that. I, I, this is, I'm talking as the guy who knows like next to fucking nothing about Jojo. <laughs> uh, and the uh, star note yes, Christina V is Miraculous Ladybug. Yes, she is, yes. In addition Miraculous. to being funny. Holy shit. She's really cool superhero. <laughs> I'm actually hey, going to text. Oh, I'm sorry. Anna is also a dust bunny in a different way. Oh. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 yes. I'm such a nerd also, this is 6 p.m., so it's rush hour, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh no! This is gonna, I should I should really get OBS ready and just record this on my end because there's gonna be some funny beeping synchronizations going on. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on. Like if it's too annoying or intrusive, I'll I'll mute myself when it no, happens. No, but don't, it's no, no, don't, no, It's funny. Wonderful. It gives it character. <laughs> it gives it character. <laughs> 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 reaching out I to. Uh, I'm reaching out to Kira Buffalo and see if she wants to come join for a little bit. Ooh. We got another. I, I uh, Another $20 donation. Uh, greetings, everyone. So happy to see you all together again, especially for such a good cause as well. Excuse me. To Curb, I found this series during a slump in my life when I was feeling creatively drained, and to find this series during that time was a tremendous help. I hope to make my own series one day, and while I'm still working to, the, to that point, I thank you for inspiring me to keep at it. As for a pick, here's Pokemon Trainer Me. Thanks. That's from V-Man the Victor on Twitter. Thank you so much. I'm going to draw myself a Pokemon trainer. Oh, this is great. Chest, so totally worth it! <laughs> it's the best. Yeah, accept them all! <clears throat> so, oh, I just wanted to make a little shout out to that uh, last donator there. Um, it's fantastic to hear that you're making a series, but honestly, uh, whatever it is you're trying to do, if, uh, hopefully whatever it is uh, that's holding you back right now, you can sort it out. <laughs> Yes, yes. 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 Your just opened her mouth like she was holding you back right now. It's okay, so but, um, she just opened her mouth to taunt and a horn um, came out. You could easily uh, have uh, whatever it is you're trying to work on out by probably as uh, soon as this month, I would imagine. Because um, in my experience, hard work will always overcome any obstacles. As long as you're just willing to put in the time. That's true. Don't wait. Make your shit today. Do it, I say. I didn't wait. <laughs> Just your little public Don't service. Delay, As someone who has, has to deal with that problem every day, I, I mean, I'm gonna have to leave for work in like less than five minutes here. And I'm still I'm still drawing as much as I can all the time on the side. And you, uh, by, by the way, oh, I, I should say too, uh, not only is Fully a, a great background artist, for those of you who don't know, uh, he did all of the rendering for the. I, I did very, very, very rough sketches, but Fully did the the real meat of of all the. Uh, in real life scenes, the artwork scene in episode uh, zero, which was phenomenal, like really, really great use of shadows and silhouettes that was just awesome. So go check. What, what's your uh, what's your Tumblr, Fooly? Foolish Art Creations. .tumblr.com. Go check him out. What What was the question? Oh no, I was just asking what what your Tumblr was because I wanted to plug it so people can go check out your part. Yeah, if anyone wants to visit. Let me type it in the chat. What, what is it again? Foolish. Uh, or should I type it in the chat, you said? Hang yeah. on. Yeah, you can like. I can you okay, you can type it yourself. Okay. I was about to do it for you. Well, aren't you a good Samaritan? <laughs> I'm, I want to help! <laughs> I just want to help and take Don't the credit. Please go and give me the transcript for that last session. But put it into a nice, sweet Wait, remix. <laughs> Oh, a Weemix. A Weemix. We, we should go. Time for a Weemix. <laughs> oh no. I'm trying to type here. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> can you say, can you say, welcome uh, to the terrain of magical expertise? As Mark. Welcome, welcome to the magic magical terrain of... Who's talking? Who's talking? <laughs> welcome I'm to the... Right. What's the show called again? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything 
quite like that. Oh, here we go. The egg. No, yeah, let me type it in the chat. Fucking yeah. guy. The tumblr.com. <laughs> Is this smart? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish it was you were like doing the stream like a couple days ago when it was the protest and everything. No, wait, no, where we no. said not to talk about. Shut up! Oh my, oh my god, I... yo, oh, fucking god! <laughs> <laughs> Midway through the sentence, I was like, yeah, you know what? You're right. Shut up. I'll shut up. Thank about you. Time. Jesus Christ! A happy show. This is a happy show. <laughs> Everything's great. God. <laughs> The webmaster. Sister so far, I got my horns. It's okay. <laughs> this is your first time seeing him. I love this car. It's it's so encouraging. It's always honking on every time we're ever despairing. Okay. She leans what? into Alpha's ear, and all Wait you hear is. Oh, <laughs> eh, eh, oh. I think we got another Gesto. Gesto. He's the besto. Chef Gesto. Where? Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, and we have another oh one. We have another one too. It's the man himself. We have another. We have two new guests, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, call oh failed. Oh god, it's Jackie Chan. There we are. <laughs> Hello. And we've got. Hello. What? Hello. Hello. Wait. Hi. Hey. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lawrence Simpson, Masako X, the voice of Astarov. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I believe I got the wrong call. What does it mean? Go on. Yuck, yuck. Ba, 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 ba. Oh it's my taco. god, hey. it's Dragon Ball Z from Goku. How you doing? It's right, it's, oh, it's <laughs> your, your Dragon Ball Z from Goku, my favorite show. <laughs> hey, by the way, Yoan, yeah, here's, 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 uh, that... here's your rock and roll remix of, uh, of Battle On here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, hey, Masako, how are you doing, my friends? I'm doing good. I'm, I'm basically just riding the crest of a wave, spouting out um, Dragon Ball discussions, and uh, I made a Broly video on the internet, and I didn't get flamed for it. Wow, what a fucking miracle! <laughs> what a concept! Until it's a now. Christmas miracle. Oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How's everyone doing here? How's everything been going? Good, been good. good. Uh, Quite good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We have actually raised thus far. Uh, if, oh, I'm trying to see. Uh, wow, we've raised uh, 1,200 bucks already in donations. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah. That's Thank amazing. you guys so much. Whoa. Very, very cool. Still in the middle of uh, trying to do all the, uh, the stuff and everything. Oh, wow. Well, I'm watching the credits now, and that Tony A. Campbell, man, he's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, no, but I really liked how uh, how well Jesse Nowak and uh, Mike Hack did a really good job in this episode with all zero of their lines. <laughs> 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 and I credited them anyway. I'm gonna hear what you said uh, Flawless performance. What do you know? Here we go, we're on episode 9 now, the second half of the Gemini tournaments. Oh, my Rites of Passage episode! We're already on That's 9? That's right, this is, is, yeah. Oh yeah, this is the one where, you know... Where you become a man and, and lose your fucking fedora. Yeah. Which actually did happen a couple of years ago. <laughs> which I'm very glad yeah. it did. Fun story about how that, that all came about. It was, um... It's a con-related story, so it's a con-horror story. Oh. Or it's a... It's a conning of age story. Oh, get out. <laughs> Is it mature for all audiences? Is it suitable for all audiences? It's it's suitable for all audiences, okay. really. Um, but mind you, it's got Kaito Neko involved, so I, that might be a bit, bit debatable. Oh. Oh! Oh! Uh, what are you trying to say about your boss? He's not my. He's not my. He's not my, he's not my boss. He's my. He's my rival. Oh, is that is that what you call that? Yeah, no, basically, I thought you were I... gonna say he's not my boss. He's my ride home. Like, <laughs> <he's> my ride. <laughs> no, 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 no. Basically, the way I describe the Team Four Star family, Kaz is my cool cousin. Oh, like he's he's the cool cousin that he yeah you know, we show each other. He he's he's other one of my many techniques. gay boyfriends. We're actually quite <laughs> he's from the National Rival Association. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the story um, was um, at Acon two years ago. And, um, we were getting, um, 
Kaiser and I were getting on the lift to get back down to the uh, because back down to the booth because we had a booth to hang out at. And uh, I think a guy was just I guy just from behind us just shouted, "Hey, nice fedora!" And it's like I looked around and then but then Kaiser had my back and he was like, "That was supposed to be sarcastic, right?" He said, like, and the guy went was like, "Look, some dumb found you up." Yeah. And it's like, yeah, and then Kaiser just did that look, you know, he does that kind of like, yeah, okay, no. Yeah, okay, it's like, go fuck yeah, yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he does that. And he helps like, have large friends. And then he's just like, we're done here. <laughs> is, is he a big dude? Uh, Kaiser. Yeah. No, no, Ka no, Kaiser's, you know, Kaiser's, you know, he's, um, average build, but he's just got, he's got that manner that you, you know that if you don't cross him. He is tall. Right. Everybody on Team Four Star is extremely fucking tall. Like, holy shit. I'm the tallest. Yeah. It's amazing. How tall are you? I'm 6'3". Jesus! Oh, yeah. 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 You're literally about a, you're almost a foot taller than You're, me. you're tall, you're taller than Taka though, too? Yeah, Taka, Taka's right up with me. Wow. So he's like 6'2". That's crazy. This is so weird, because I know I met you and Taka, and I cannot imagine you being taller than Taka, because me remembering Taka, I know he's super tall, but you, I... I don't know, last time I saw you was in London, so I don't remember, like, how tall it's you okay, were. You it's okay, you have, you have the taller neck. <clears throat> Thank you. You are the <laughs> I love you, yo. Uh, I love you too. It's been a while. <laughs> I think the only people that that I've met that are taller than any of the Team Four Star guys is fucking Richard Epcar, who I just recently met. He is a tall motherfucker. He's in like the he's like close to seven for God's sake. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Though. Oh goodness. Very nice. I grew up. Uh, I grew up like two minutes away from ESPN headquarters, and from time to time you would come across. Um, basketball players and you know other sports stars, but the basketball players were so tall, and I was a kid, mind you. So they're uh -huh. like, but you stack three of me, and it's one of them, <laughs> and I I don't know the tallest one. I forgot his name, but oh my god! Like I'm sure he had to duck down and walking into ESPN headquarters because there's no one, no one builds a door that size, <laughs> unless it's his own custom built house. <laughs> oh, I think we've got- Hey, we've got another guest, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Kanashimi Florian, Jackie. the voice of Aneva, the Gemini announcer. Hi, guys. Hi. It's been nice to Hello. 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 Oh, hey. Hey, Jackie. Hi, Anna. Oh, it's magical. I missed you. I couldn't see you at Yomakan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I, was, I wasn't even there. I know. That's why I was sorry about it. <laughs> Jackie, yeah, yeah, so, I haven't talked to you in ages. How you been doing? Um, I, I'm sorry if I sound like a 40-year-old smoker. Um, I've been... Uh, 91.8 The Fan had a record of 57 conventions this year, and Yomacon was my last for the year. Wow. And every time I go to Yomacon, I love the building it's in, but like the condensation or something with the weather just like makes moisture just develop in my throat. Oh. Well, you sound <laughs> fine, nice so story. I don't know what story we old smokers you've been talking to, but you sound just <laughs> we're, fine. We're, 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 we're listening, yeah, we're listening to, uh, we're listening Sorry. to you in stereo because it's your episode on the tournament right now as well, so. Oh, fantastic. I'm, I'm sorry, I was in meetings most of today, and then I ended a session earlier, so, than I was expected, so I, got, I was able to get here, so yay. Oh, by the way, just real quick, we, uh, the next donation, uh, that I'm drawing for, this is from Gavin. <laughs> Evan Zoro Arc Wizard. Hey Curb, love the show since the beginning and even donated. If you could draw my character, my gay furry trash character. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself, Gavin. Come on. That'd be cool. Also, really cool to meet you at PAX East. But yeah, thanks and look forward to whatever you do in the future. Alright, I got the reference image. Thank you, Gavin. Much appreciated. Um, Jackie, what were you doing in 2011? Oh god. When, when the show first <laughs> started. Is that a trick question? Five years um, ago. I am from Vegas. Is that a trick question? Uh, <laughs> Um, when the show first started, uh, I think I was transitioning um, from moving out of my mom's house and developing 91.8 The Fan as a business. I think that's when I took sole proprietorship of it. Um, so that was a really big step for me. I remember, uh, actually, I think maybe even, uh, maybe that, maybe, maybe like end of 2010 or, or like beginning of 2011, I think was the first time I got to do a, uh, 
an interview with you guys. I think it was me and Martin, actually. Yeah, no, I can I can actually yeah. search that up just in case you want to know. And I think no, I remember because Martin would always be like, "Cub, you always you always cuss too much on on panels," and I'm like, "I'm sorry, I'll try to behave myself." So I tried not to swear, and then he said it fuck at the end of the interview, and I'm just like, "Damn it, Martin, come on! What are you doing?" That was that was actually the best because I remember just covering my mouth and being like, oh, "I didn't even know he could swear." <laughs> I didn't know he was capable. Uh... How naive I was. <laughs> Back in the day. So also, uh, Jackie, you've you've gotten the chance to do a little more uh, voiceover stuff. I think since this uh, we recorded these episodes a few years ago, isn't that right? Yeah, I mean, most of what I have done has been commercial. That's usually my bread and butter. Last year hey, I was the voice. Pay, they pay better than anything else, though. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, last year I had a national spot with JC Penny, um, and I was the voice of five different universities. Um, I did get a chance to be in Night Cry, which was like a super fangirl moment for me. Um, that involved the director who worked on The Grudge um, and Ringu. And it also involved uh, Matsuhiro Ito, who was, the, who was originally on Team Silent, and he created Pyramid Head. Whoa, so that was super that's awesome. Wait, is that that, is, that that, is, that that, is that that Clock Tower successor game? Yes. Woo! That's awesome. That's incredible. Dude, congrats. And you cool. good shit. Man? You know, I, I, um, actually, I, I, I need to give uh, I need to give Jackie some major credit about something actually that, that I owe her for. I, I, I might have told you this already, like separately from, but um, so when we were starting on season two, and I really wanted to get a lot of um, uh, cameos from actors that had been in the Dot Hack series, uh, Jackie was the only person I knew who had any kind of connection to Mona Marshall because uh, she had done an interview with her. And um, and then thanks to her, I said, hey, I really want to get her for the show. Could you possibly reach out to her and see if I can email her. So she reached out to Mona. Mona responded to my email, like, I think, like, the next day when I offered her the part of Bishop in episode 11. And we, we worked over Skype together, and then Mona and I became friends. And then when I moved out here to California, uh, Mona was one of the... You know, she has been one of the most like instrumental people in my voiceover career like she got me my agent she got me in with like half the studios that i've been doing work at uh you know i've i've, I've done animation stuff or she brought me to south park one time like she's become like my surrogate mom since i've come out oh. here and she's a kind of like person. lonnie with me yeah no she is exactly what, what lonnie manella is to you that is exactly what mona is to me yeah. basically that's cool um, I, but, I, uh, but I, no I would not have been able to do how... that if jackie didn't make so that connection and that was thanks to you guys doing that, that really good interview with her on 918 so uh so thank you so much for that seriously I, I'm so happy it's it's helped you. I remember the conversation where she she wanted to do some sort of flash cartoon. I was like, I know the perfect person for that, so it was easy <laughs> to segue into it. <laughs> but no, I'm glad it's helped you so much. Um, she's always been really kind and supportive, so I'm glad that you guys have become such close friends. Yeah, I'll leave it when next time I see her, I'll uh, I'll tell her that you said hi. I'm sure she'd appreciate that. Please do. I haven't run into her at, uh, at a convention. That's generally how I see any of you guys at <laughs> conventions. So. Yeah, she she's done. On very very few conventions because she's not like a she's not super into doing those but she, she's enjoyed the few that she's gotten to do as of late. There are a lot of work honestly. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's hard having fun. Because. Well it's also they can they can be stressful sometimes too if you're not like I mean like I, honestly I don't know how like the team four star guys speaking go back to you months ago how, how like they they do so many a year honestly. Well actually this year has been relatively light on the conventions. I've not actually done a single U.S. convention this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, the only time that I've, I've actually, I've actually only been to America once, not for the opening of the studio. Um, but in terms of the, um, uh, I think we're going to be doing a lot more next year. But I think we try, we're trying to like limit it this year because this year was a uh, restructuring, kind of getting an idea about how we're going to go forward. Sure. But I think usually we do about maybe maximum eight conventions a year. Mm -hmm. We'll try and do eight, but we're trying to like implement new strategies about because we got more people in, coming into the team. I think Zito is one of our yeah, yes, latest which I am to, very happy about. No. By the way, here's your here's well, your big moment happening on the screen right now. <laughs> um, oh yeah, my man. <laughs> uh, I am a real man. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I, 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 I just remember, I, um, I actually remember just like all the, um, 
because I know you like your puns, and it was just like all like yeah. And I remember the uh, phrase that's probably going to come up right at the moment that just caps off the speech. Astor of speech. Uh, so I'm gonna bang and mash bang your, face, and mash your, right your off. face right off. <laughs> Uh, like, Drop the finish line with the whole banger and mash thing. Sorry, I gotta tap out here with that. Oh, thank you all oh, so much for having me. Dude, I hope you all you have too, a great man. day. Bye bye. Thanks for all the good Glad you could drop by. Yeah, dude, have a great okay. one, right? Thanks, everyone. See ya. Bye. Also, congrats on the studio. I, I I don't think I've said that to enough Team Four Star people. So congrats. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you're welcome. Um, basically, it was great. Um, the part we had a party like on back in January, and we had um, and uh, Chris Sabat tried to steal our million subscriber plaque. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. Okay. He was like, Jesus, you guys hit a million. Jesus Christ. No, no, we're past two million now. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, approaching three. I'm gonna yeah, be I'm... going to two million as well. I'm trying to trying to chase you guys down. Oh, by the way, here's down. you doing your fucking. I got thirty thousand. I'm catching up. <laughs> whoop whoop whoop. <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> and then it's just like, oh, this looks so cool. And I think I remember when I did the script, it was like, oh, thank you, Curb. <laughs> he gave me a palace. Card. I know. I went well because I mean, I, I knew I wanted you to play Astrob like from the beginning, like even well before. I think even before we had some of the main characters cast, and um, mm. I. Uh, I, I mean, like, it was just such an obvious piece of casting, I thought, eh, I'll toss a couple little references in, in there for him, because why not, it'd be cute. <laughs> yeah, there were some, there were some, like, over DBZA references, and there were actually some references to me at the time, and it was just like, wow, Kirk, you've done your research. Oh, yeah. Like, the whole glasses thing, and then the whole, you know, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And even, like, the long-distance dating thing, it's just like, Oh, yeah! What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 that was fine. That was 2000... when, whenever. Yeah. Yeah. So um, it was just like, oh, Curb. Oh, you, Curb, you You just know. You know, actually, <laughs> uh, I have talked about this before. Um, little, little known fact, the original choices I had for the parts of uh, Raccoon and Doubling in the first episode were actually going to be Lanny and uh, Taka, originally. Oh. And uh, oh, I, I ultimately cool. didn't go with them, and I, and I went with uh, with Mac and, and Bosco because I was becoming very familiar with their uh, comedic duo type relationship, and uh, and went with that. And, and even Lanny and Taka themselves both agreed when they saw it. I was like, no, you made the right choice. Nobody else could play those characters like those two did. So. Mm. No, it's just become part of them, really. Yeah. So, uh, actually, uh, Scott though did make a little uh, cameo in the previous episode of this uh, as one, the voice yeah. of one of the. Uh, special contest winners. We had uh, we had two uh, auctions for people that could get to be characters with speaking lines, which were uh, 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 Kurose, I think his name was, and then um, Captain Man were the two characters in that early episode. And uh, Captain Man was voiced by the guy that created him, and then uh, Kaiser Neko voiced Kurose um, because okay. I'm, I'm I'm first sis and I had a voice for a character because <laughs> so I thought that would be cool. <laughs> um, but uh, and of course we've had ants. Uh, and the show, <laughs> and uh, I don't think there's any, any other TFS guys in it. Um, I don't count Zito because Zito, I, I just I just count for Zito um, before you guys did. Uh, there might have been some other people I can't remember, but you're 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 that you're that you're you're you were practically a main character of season one. You were recurring enough, I'd say. So yeah, I, I would say that. I think that was like four. Yeah, yeah. I four, yeah, four out of ten episodes. episodes is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, by the way, that. also, uh, real yes, quick, we, we got a uh, donation, $20, $20 donation from yes. Lemonade Overlord. It'd be pretty neat if you could draw Lucina, and like, so I will draw Lucina. Even though oh, cool. Lucina's really difficult to fucking draw. I believe in you. Thank you. Gun Barry, Turbo. <laughs> Indeedly so. I'm just waiting patiently for another horn on the Oaz end. Yeah. 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 Oh, but you could do that at any time. Yeah. Yeah. I keep it mind yeah. 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 In this arena. Well, it can join with the, the hammer, because my neighbor's been hammering something like from like 9 a.m. 9 a.m. to like God. 11 o'clock at night. It's the like, most what do you unusual, have? unusual choice of soundtrack. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> It'll put you to sleep. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, Starlight's Ruby. Yes, people can donate more than once if they'd like to. No problem. Much appreciated. Dragon. Impressive. This is seriously happening. By the way, uh, we, we do have a soft goal, sort of, of uh, $1,500, and uh, we're already at uh, at $1,220, so mayhaps if you guys can push us there. Ooh. Is there anything else I can retweet? I've been trying to retweet when I've been in business meetings. <laughs> uh, if you just want to even, like, just plug the, the stream link or anything, even that, that in and of itself is, uh, is, is perfectly acceptable. It's appreciated. Oh my god, we have a whole nother, holy crap, we have a whole nother, uh, page of, do of donations Someone I haven't even gotten to, to yet. I've still got a lot to go. Right <laughs> and we're only, what? we're only at the, we're only a little over the halfway point now, so. Jesus, you better... Get your bum moving. Yeah. Bum bum. Try it. Try it. It's not really his butt so much as his, as his hand. If you're moving at the same time, yeah, that's move, a move your, move your drawing hand. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's draw Lucina. I'll try my best. Oh come on, no, not Oh now. Edwin, no, don't, no. poor Giga. On, poor Giga is just a fan. By the way, it was a little, little head cannon thing for you all. Or not head cannon. It, it actually is cannon. Um, so Agent Giga. Uh, has some regretful words in the last episode because he actually is a fan of Tome. That's why he was watching this. Because uh, he was the one that was kind of attached to the uh, the government file of them and everything with uh, the whole case of Softy and all that. And um, he believed that they were good people and um, he didn't want them to... Uh, to have to go through something awful and he wanted to give them a chance as much as possible. So, uh, so he, he, was, he was supporting them as much as he could. And he might have been the one who pulled the strings long enough for the oh game to continue. Oh my god, look at the chest! What? Everyone just got fooled by the buffering again. Oh my god. <laughs> so funny. Everyone was like, what the hell, what the hell? Silly people. That's great. Yes. Never fails. It doesn't. It just made my day. So, so Curb, I have to ask you, did I ever show you when I did my hair blue, kind of like an Eva? No, that's awesome. Yeah, no, I, I did that last year. That tells you how long it's been. Wow. Since also, by the way, I'm sorry. I just turned into fucking Mark Wahlberg for a second. What? No. <laughs> Is there a picture? I'd love to see it. Yeah, I'm trying to pull it up on my. Was it? Was it because of Tom? Um, it was actually the reason I had to do it was uh, for an indie film. They wanted uh, they wanted me to actually dye like half my hair, but then when I looked at it, I'm like, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> this like, oh, this, well, this worked out beautiful, okay. didn't it? <laughs> yeah. uh, let's see, I have um, it on. Um, do you want me to send it in this chat or a different one? Uh, you can paste it in the uh, in the uh, the the. the YouTube chat as well, if you'd like to, to show the folks out there. Oh yeah, sure thing. Boop, boop, boop. I have way too many pictures. <laughs> I'm that girl. <laughs> I have too many pictures, honk honk. Honk honk. <laughs> hey, Doug. <laughs> All right. After this episode, I have to school. I have work to do. So. All right, dude. Uh, well, if you want to come in uh, towards the end of the stream, you're more than welcome to come back in anytime you like. Do it. Oh man. We're already half the halfway point. You're past yeah, that's halfway true. Point. So it's like, yeah, I'll come back once I'm done. I, I'm working on. Can Can I plug something real quick? Or yes, is it, please. Uh, Okay, so I'm um, right now. Uh, I had a very long time request of extending the remix of Raining Man that I've done for a Twisted Grim. He did like a Reaper animation and uh, a lot of people really wanted me for over two months to extend it. So right now I'm finishing it and it's a amazing collaboration with Eile Monty, for those who know. Uh, she plays a character in the show Tome. Um, I, I forgot what's the name of the She's, character. Uh, hey, Twisted Grim, uh, it just says Bailey, in Smith, Bailey Smith 13, everybody's favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> so she's in it, and I have a guest a music producer in it, Custom Phase, who's like a very fantastic musician, and he helps me with uh, producing some of the bits in that. And um, um, I I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be up this Wednesday. Is all I'm saying. Well, go uh, cool. everybody. If you're not already subscribed, go check out the Living Tombstone on YouTube for yeah. all of Yoav's amazing music. And, uh, and, also, and regarding that, <coughs> oh sorry. Like really quickly, um, I'm almost hitting two million subscribers. So if oh, you guys want to help me bump it up to two million, that would be great because I um, 
you know, I really appreciate, you know, people just keeping on subscribing. It's amazing that it's reaching up to this point. So if you guys want to help me reach that milestone, it would be amazing. I will yes. unsubscribe and then subscribe. <laughs> um, but before you go, do you remember yeah. that one thing that I, I recorded for, for you? Okay. Okay. So uh, let me explain what, what, Casey, what, what happened. So I went to Casey's house like uh, a couple of months back. I think it was like four months ago already. It was, it was just um, before I went to England, so it was like the beginning of March or something. It was like March 1st, right. so either way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It was some time ago, jeez. Um, so I had this idea at the time to make like some kind of, uh, not to say controversial, but I had this idea to joke on EDM songs in general. So I had Casey Mandrilla record herself saying over and over, uh, uh, you're a freaking loser because you don't sound like Skrillex like a billion times, basically. Yeah, in all these different ways, yeah. And, and, and then I have this a very long time to like make some kind of a thing. So me and Casey want to collab on that track at some point, but we'll is, see. Is there any, goes. did you uh, do anything? Because it's, it's been like... It's been, it's, it's been forever, but it's the reason I've, I've been taking so long is because I've been like thinking about it, if that makes right. sense. Like, not in a lazy way. Like, honestly, there's, there's times no, no, where I'm lazy. With music and anything like that, you have to feel it. You don't really exactly. think it's gotta come to it's you. So. so just to make it short, um, basically, the, the, the intention is to make like a collaboration on that. So when, when it's gonna be happening, everyone will know about it at this point. So yeah, and you'll definitely yeah. know. I just wasn't sure if it was still something, uh, but it's good to know that's something that's still going on in your head, so. It's just that it's a very controversial thing. I don't want to like do something and, and misuse it because this seems like right. a very, yeah. Have it yeah. done wrong, especially if it's gonna kind of extreme. Well, well, everybody, exactly. yeah. please definitely subscribe to Living Tombstone and check his stuff out. I've been playing yes. Yoav's music on like most of my streams the last few times and it's all great stuff. And I appreciate you, I really appreciate that you're doing that, by the way. I, no, I, I, I really, appreciate you letting me do it. <laughs> so. Like, 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 because, because, as, because as, you know, just to kind of explain something really short, um, I'm a big fan of Kerbof, Kerbof, Kerbofer's oh, animation well, for a very long time. Because I was, as, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, I'm a Newgrounds baby, and I used to, like, watch a lot of stuff on Newgrounds, and, and what he was doing on Newgrounds was really, really special to me. So me finally working with this guy is, like, closing a circle, if that makes sense, and, oh, and like, dude, with a lot no, of Newgrounds. You're, you're a phenomenal talent, and, and you've, always, you've done so much you know, great stuff on the show for like over half the series and it's been it's been amazing. So thank you so much for doing that. And, yeah, sure uh, thing. Right? And likewise, yeah. it's very, 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 it's it's a big honor to be part of this show as well. Already been cleared up, so. People in the chat have been asking if somebody could link its channel. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and uh, link, link your YouTube in the... In the well, no, you, it, has to, it has to be Kerb or oh, it does? moderator. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, here, here. Oh, okay, well, first of all, likewise. Uh, let, me post, let, me, let me do one thing at a time. Okay, I'm going to post the link. Here is... Jackie's uh, blue hair dye. Are you all? Wait, did you you linked to image? I was uh, in the in the YouTube chat. Thanks. No, but it linked like a, an image of. You could have been there. It should blue hair. it should be me. Yeah, um, because it was like a Neva. <laughs> oh, that's oh that's oh that looks really then, cute actually. And that's then awesome. Also, let me get the link to the channel. Uh, here is a link to Yoav's YouTube channel, The Living Tombstone, okay. and go subscribe to him. Get that motherfucker to two million subscribers. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you. We should so do much. an interview some days to promote I you. I'm uh, I'm down. We we should talk about it. I mean, I, I still have you on here, so we can talk about it. I'm down. I'm also in the proper time zone at least, so yeah, I'm not gonna be like... Oh yeah, that's true, you recently moved, isn't that right? Yeah, to New York City. So now, like, because until now, if I ever wanted to join a stream or whatever, I had to like stay up until 3am in the morning, because it's the opposite time of the world in LA. But now it's at least it's fine, so I cannot complain anymore. <laughs> well, that's always a boon. The by, by the way, Masako, move, move, oh, no, move. Oh, I'll, I'll wait till you're done. Masako, move, fucking move to to America. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 we no, 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 nothing to do with nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing to do with that. I'm just kind of, at the moment. I'm just kind of dealing with my yeah, like yeah, my my YouTube 
channel's like exploding right now, and I'm just kind of like, holy shit, what's going on? Yeah, I wonder <laughs> if it's because Dragon Ball Super is really popular. <laughs> <laughs> no, that can't be it, Kurt. No, not obvious. even remote. What am I talking about? <laughs> anyway, Yo Yoav, dude, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, if you yeah, have a chance to come back in later for the end, I would love to have you back again. Yeah, dude. It's episode ten right yeah, now, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, we got plenty. We're like, we're like, we're like, uh, three and a half hours. Are you gonna do season two as well, or yeah, we got here all, all right sixteen now. episodes? Okay, okay. So, it's, it's, I've got some time. All right. Um. All right. See you guys later. All right, dude. Catch yeah. you. Bye. 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 By the way, I'm drawing. Uh, I, I, uh, Casey Thomas Lemon donated fifty dollars for me to draw uh, two of his cute dragon characters having a little kiss. So I'm gonna draw that for him. Thank you very uh, much, Casey, for your fifty dollar donation. Somehow. Oh, no problem. Not <laughs> You're not the. You're not the only Casey in the world, you know. What? I just want to be rid of this what? thing and never have to hear about the forbidden power. You're pulling my leg. Didn't your parents ever tell you? <laughs> no, they they said I was I was special and the only one with the name. And they said Casey Kasem was named after me. Casey <laughs> Kasem. <laughs> Anyway, guys, it's getting late for me. I have the old sim symptom of Yoav, so I'm probably gonna have to bow out for now. All right, buddy. Hey, All thank right. you. Yeah, yeah, you're nice you. Uh, you, you, you want to you you yeah. plug your stuff as well? Um, you want to plug well, your yeah. channel as well? well? What else is he offered? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'm Ma Masako X, and you can uh, search my YouTube channel Masako Extreme because my old channel back in the days of Naruto Abridged got taken down. When I had Relax. the lofty of 17,000 subscribers, which was a lot in 2007. And, um, yeah, you know so I so basically well read bad fanfiction, talk about Team Four Star, um, so, do Dragon Ball discussions. Well, uh, totally not clickbait. And I, I think one, one somebody described response. me as the intellectual no, DB tuber, which we need more of. <laughs> yes. Well, we do have, uh, we do have, uh, Vegito EX and all the content you guys as well. Oh, yes, everything. of course. So, I mean, basically, I'm just thinking, plan, every time I make an opinion about Dragon Ball, who am I going to... Who, who in that community am I going to piss off? Is it going to be today? Is it going to be... Well, is it going to be... Is it going to be Mike? Is it going to be Kaiser? Or is it going to be... me? Or is it going to be Mr... Or is it going to be, like, Mr. Seven saying, um... You should let me help you. In case like, something goes actually, wrong. no, dude. He just no, be trolling I do me. On my own. He's a scam. Besides, you've been I doing love him. Too many he is. Mm -hmm. He's great. I won't ask you to do any more than but yeah, no, it's well, great. It's really great that I've managed to find something to do, and it's Hell, really I cool. Even say I've hired but the right thank you for having me, Kurt. Yeah, it's really great to hear from all of you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And if don't be a stranger on Skype, by the way, feel free to hit me up whenever you like to catch up. But before you go, are you in London? Uh, well, I live near London, yes. It's a shame, okay, next time I'm in England, which is going to be pretty soon, uh, I want to give you a high five and, like, get you coffee or something. Now that we know gotcha. we'll, they don't have we'll, coffee in London, you fool! Oh. Sorry, they, they have cappuccino. <laughs> they, they have scones. <laughs> what is it? Americano. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, next time I'm there, uh, I'll get you some Americano. The missing pieces of the <laughs> All right. That'd be great. All right. All right well, let's go. Thanks so much. Good night, have a great guys. one. All right. All right. Have a good night, chat. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Absolute worst. Well, I'm drawing some cute dragon creatures kissing for this next one. If you want to finally put the power to rest, dragon. Drake in the tournament stadium dragon. tomorrow at five in the morning. Dragon. Come along. Dragon. Dragon. I promise. This oh, by the way, shout out uh, on this episode right now uh, to uh, Zero Reynolds. <laughs> Uh, who did a lot of the uh, music featured in this particular episode during this whole uh, this whole section with um, the battle between Alpha and Zeto? Um, he is a super super underrated musician. He's another one of those like multi-threat like I do art and voiceover and music and writing and everything, and I'm like, good God, slow down! You're so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good superpower. Right. I want it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to screen cap a few more of these. Not screen cap, but uh, take some photos so, of a few more. In other words, these. you want to make sure Steve and Kelly never takes up animation. No. Dude, Steven, you don't understand. Everybody out here like jokes about like once he moves here, he's gonna we're, we're done. We're not gonna work anymore. He'll take all the fucking work. As for the squire, I had no luck in contacting him. Yeah, same here. Oh, yeah, actually, my, my I, I don't know if is, I ever... My next book is his writing, so I haven't worked on that yet.
I, I, I forgot to mention, I don't think I, I ever said this to you, but uh, uh, Mike this, Lucas, who's the basically like the, the co-creator of uh, of, of, of so Tome, and he's who next? Alpha is based on. Uh, he's uh, he was quite a fan of your work on uh, on uh, on Serpentine, and he was like, "Oh, dude, if I ever oh. have like some kind of." Animated thing for one of my okay, comics. I totally want that plan. guy to voice I'm something for me someday. And I was like, well, I can make that happen. So, from back here. absolutely. Were you drunk when you made that happen? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I can make that happen. Also, I don't drink alcohol, so I don't know why I'm doing this. Otherwise, I'm gonna try and handle this by myself. Sorry, I was. Yes, the stream will be archived. Yes. It's okay. We're like everyone is drunk all the time. Oh yes. Uh, those those of you asking, yes, the stream will be archived on my YouTube channel. So subscribe and you'll see you later if you miss the daring. May the blessed eyes of the Net Kings watch over you. There we go. The fucking iPhone camera <clears throat> is so stupid and finicky. I will admit, I think it's been like a year and a half to two years since I've I've seen these episodes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, um I think I think the last time I watched Life them I was with a so staff the member deal? that had never I seen it, and we sat down in the hotel room, and we all just kind of binge watched it until we fell asleep oh, at like three so or four cool. in the morning. How, how far was it at that time? What's this about putting it? To um, rest? I think episode thirteen or fourteen. Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I, to be honest, I might have conked out before we got to the end. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you'll be seeing the, uh, I don't know if when, when you have to leave, but you might be seeing the, uh, the ending of the series then soon. Well, I have seen the ending of the series before. Oh, okay. um, like, I, I kept up with them when they came out, but, like, watching them in a marathon was always so much better. And your easily manipulated human mind. You're not answering my question! Wow, I mean, thinking about how much content this is, Jesus Christ, Kerb. <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking about how I mean, much the episodes by you've been watching and we're like halfway. It's six. You no, know, we're, we're over halfway, but it's like... It's well, like I mean, yours. still, like, I'm just realizing that this is all man-made by, like, one person did no, all the animation. No, no, well, no, no. I honestly, you did, I would not, you were, I would no, not shush, have been able to shush your little face. You did, okay. like, 90% of the work as far as visuals go, so shush. Shush your butt. You can't well. handle it. I am very proud of it. I'm very proud of all the work that everybody else did. No, no, not again. I'm not hearing this. No. See what I mean? It's and it was always so cool to see like the fan reaction for this too, like how it how it kind of snowballed bigger and bigger. Oh, you know, yeah. as the series progressed, that was really interesting to me. Just like the amount of love you got, like I, I mean, you deserve it. It oh, was just yeah. like. It well, was so fantastic. Though. I mean, you, well, getting to, to keep uh, the, the Facebook page, which has been like the, the big. Um, which, by the way, any of you guys listening in the chat, uh, if you've not, um, if you've not uh, 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 liked the Tome Facebook page, uh, definitely go there because we have constant updates about stuff, and uh, that's been the biggest place for me to interact with fans, and also on Tumblr once in a while on the Tome Tumblr tag. And uh, stuff like that. And, yeah, it's been great getting to know the fans because also they've been instrumental in making it continue to happen. Like when we did season two, we raised 20k for doing season two, which you know I I am so incredibly thankful to everybody. I didn't know that. that. Uh, there it is. But uh, yeah, no, it, it, seeing it evolve and, and seeing it like get to be bigger and bigger as time went on it was, it was also a huge honor. It was an uphill battle, you know, when you go from like, I'm the guy who does video game parodies on Newgrounds or whatever, it's like, it's hard to kind of break out of that stereotype, but, you know, I'm very happy that this is now the thing that I'm mainly known for, so. I can very much relate, and <laughs> it's for different subjects, but it's like, oh yeah, you do the radio thing, yeah, but I've also done commercial stuff for like, two, three years. <laughs> Good. And it's, uh, but so I can understand that, but at the same time, you know, it shows your versatility and it shows how much you've grown as a person. Um, so it, it's, I think it's a good thing oh, in the my, long run. My, my sad screaming again for all of you in the fandom. <laughs> Speaking of which, you all love hearing me scream in pain and suffering. It's true. It's like you just lost Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> well, my dad kicked Swipes my ass board at Monopoly off the table. a lot, so yes. <laughs> I'll have to challenge you one day. I'm a hardcore Monopoly player. <laughs> Same! Uh, no, yes! Thanks. Oh my god, we're doing this! Yes! 
right away. I've, uh, to people on. in the chat, I've, I've tweeted out another four of the drawings. And, uh, ooh, Poppy Lovin' Dude just did a really good picture of Rock Noon on Twitter. I shall retweet. I want to be the horsey. No, oh, that was my favorite. <laughs> Yeah, spread the word. Oh, hey, we, we just got to see Alpha use his kick again. Oh, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> God damn front kick. kick. <laughs> I swear to God. Um, yeah, never spread the word and get, get more people to come join the chat and hang out with us. And have a party. A big old party. All right, next up. This. Uh, we've got a donation, $20 donation from, uh, from Daniela, QT Cat. Uh, hey, hello, Kerberfer. It's amazing to believe that Tome is already five years old. Congratulations. I remember first finding out about Tome through Mac and Dustin Elysian Tale once at an anime con I went to. It's been an amazing experience watching every episode, and I adore all the wonderful characters you created. I hope you have a wonderful day with all your friends. And here's a reference to my character, Daniela the Cat. Awesome. Thank you, Daniela. Wow. You're awesome, Daniela. Yay. Daniela. Oh, she's cute. She's a little Sonic cat girl. <laughs> How are you doing, Sue? Kawaii! Woggy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Devon. Yo? Earlier, you, you'd, um, the, with, with the, with the, uh, with the not rodent thing, um, I hadn't, I, that made me realize that the road NT microphones, they're rodents. I never realized that. <laughs> oh my That's god. That's taken me years to notice. Oh uh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. That's pretty awesome. Wow. Do you have one? No, no, oh, okay. but it's just very it's a famous, you know, it's a well-known brand and I because the NT is separated and like capital letters, I never made like an X. That's goodness me. Actually amazing. I love this. <laughs> So one of them just has to lose, but at what cost? Throw the match! No, I can't lose ever. I have to defeat yeah. my anime rival, my rivalry. You can my do God, it. God, I can't lose. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets his waifu. I can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> no way! I don't believe it! <laughs> this is a really cool... This this was another, like, very self-indulgent I'm gonna animate my character doing lots of cool things episode. <laughs> it's just like one of my Japanese anime. Anime. Oh, my oh, by the way, here's a little quick cameo of uh, the orchestral battle on that I I thought would work really well for the scene, so I tossed it in there. Oh, I got BronyCon to watch the stream. <laughs> what? <Whoops. laughs> um, we have one of the BronyCon PR people in our Discord, and I think they're logged into the BronyCon account, so they're like, uh, oh, hey, I'm hey watching guys. to watch the BronyCon. Welcome. <laughs> Wake up. Oh, act it, it, Anna. This is some great acting on this this part here. Michael's such a weirdo. All he ever does is sit. We were like all worried about about yeah. Alpha. Like Michael, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Like, oh. yeah. Michael. Dude, I love I love crying. <laughs> crying and screaming and being generally yeah, dramatic. It. Yes. That <laughs> sucks. Oh yeah, a little cameo like, by uh, Michael Johnston again as uh, this this kid that Alpha's flashing back to here overhearing. Talking shit about him. He's even cute. Mm -hmm. and hey, what if I tried to get him to come in for like Lizzie two Freeman minutes? Man uh, as well. Michael. He's not gonna come in. He's probably busy. Ah, uh, he's on Skype. Michael. I mean, Michael. if you want to get him in, you, you can ask him. But I mean, Michael, it's me. Thank God. So I have to wonder for you with crying. Is it? Can you snap into it, or do you really need to get into the scene to do it? Because I've heard um, various answers for that. <laughs> So, I pretty much, it's really weird, because <laughs> I, I put myself in the character's position. I definitely get really into it. Like, I, 
If I want to get to a certain point of my crying, I can get into it once I've gotten to that point already. But like, usually my first take is my best take when it comes to something emotional because it's actually quite fluid, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. And it, it, it slowly builds, and that's how I get into it. it it's, it's good if you can. I mean, it, it, obviously it's good to be open to if you need something else, but it really is good if you can get that on one take because it, it feels like really visceral and like in the moment kind of thing, you know? Um... I, uh, I just had, actually, uh, I'm doing a show where I'm the main character, and the first episode I had to, like, I had to go from, like, screaming from and raving and holy shit into suddenly, like, I was breaking down and crying, and, and I, and I, 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 I did it, and I, and they were like, you know what, we're good, we don't need to retake that, and I was like, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I give you guys props. I always have to. I have to put myself in a, like this. This really kind of deep, sort of disturbed, depressed mind mind space to even get there. Like I have a lot of. Tr it's only crying though. I can be really angry, really easy, really quick. <laughs> well, you know, I've, I've as, noticed, as you do this more, it gets much easier to do. I, I I've noticed actually because I mean obviously a lot of actors have different you know approaches to how they go about like channeling into that stuff. There are actually a lot of people I know who are, are kind of more on the technical side that just know yeah. how to emulate the sound so well yeah. that it can still be played as... I mean, I, I've, obviously you have that advantage when it's just voiceover. You know, if you're doing live action, you have to really cry. That's a whole nother fucking, you know, yeah. like, debacle. I wouldn't even know how to start with tapping into yeah. that sort of thing, but... Um, I mean, like... It's weird, too, because I, I, I've noticed, like, in terms of, like, happy crying, which I also love doing, like, the <laughs> guys kind of thing, <laughs> but um, that's way easier for me to, to tap into because I have a lot of stuff that totally does make me, like, happy cry. <laughs> like, for example, the, the panel and the screening that we did of the final episode, uh, other examples include Charizard evolving. <laughs> <laughs> just Charizard <laughs> makes you happy? Yeah, so Char Charizard, Charizard specifically evolving that. in that one episode. Like, yes. it doesn't even make me, like, cry. It just makes me tear up, and I'm just like, why do I tear up every time Charizard shows up? Fuck. What am I, Jesse? <laughs> I would think, like, kitties and puppies and stuff, but now nope. it's Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Orange Beanie Guy has given me a fucking challenge like I've never believed. Hey Curb, great work on Tome and good luck in your future endeavors. Could you draw Jim Hawkins and Captain Silver from Treasure Planet in Tome's art style? Thank you, you the best. Uh, by that, yes! I'm going to draw them as simplified as possible because holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I adore. I, 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 I adore. I adore that movie, but my fucking god, those characters are detailed. They're so beautiful. It's it's terrific. Yeah, great great movie, super underrated. That's the thing. It was the Muppets version of that that was what got me into Tim Curry originally. Yeah. Yeah, it was oh. Muppet Treasure Island. Sweet. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he wasn't that. Oh my god. So oh, same awesome. here. Yeah. I can't tell you what my first Tim Curry movie was. I don't even know. <laughs> Tim oh, Curry Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember the Command and Conquer games. That's what oh. I remember. <laughs> 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 oh. I can't see the word space without having to say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like I, the I only one who likes my... Red Alarm 3. I did that in my mind. I think. <laughs> I the saw first time. <laughs> the first time I experienced Tim Curry was Fern Gully. Oh. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I can't remember the first time I experienced him, but. Yeah. Uh, my. My, my mom, uh, my, my parents are both remarried, and they have been for years. My, my mom was, uh, years ago when I was very young, dated uh, a guy from England who I'm still friends with. Uh, and he's actually, he's the like personal assistant to like Elizabeth Hurley. Oh, no, no, sorry, not Elizabeth Hurley. Um, uh, Kira Knightley. I was thinking Elizabeth because Miss Swan. Um, and he's a really cool guy. And uh, we, we watched Wild Thornberries when it was on. And it was really funny because it was like, oh, the British, the token British character, just like Martin is our is our, our lovely British friend that we love so much, etc. And Nigel, also, Nigel Thornberry is still legit funny. I adore that character. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's 
terrific. It, it was it was him and Long John were the two. Chris. I love that you said the first time I experienced Tim Curry. Oh, yeah. Tim yeah. Curry is an experience. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Absolutely. One does not watch his movies in his performances. <laughs> you experience them. One experience. Yeah, pretty much. I had to look it up on Wikipedia, but I think Home Alone 2 was probably uh, the, oh, the yeah, best. Oh, yeah. 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 That was it. That was it. Whether or not we really knew who he was. Oh, raise the book. That's passing. Now he was just the jerk that was trying to, you know, crush his, oh, like, yeah. dream in New York, man. Right. Ah. I'm actually Kids gotta doing... be free, he's like 12. <laughs> I think I could actually do kind of a cool illustration of these two without it taking 30 million years and drawing... Who was, who was, uh, who was Long John Silver in, uh, in Treasure Planet? Some, it was some celebrity, I can't remember, he was really good. Yeah, he was. Ugh. Somebody will find it. Somebody will search it. By the way, I adore this uh, credits montage of uh, of all the, the greatest hits from the Tone Season 1 soundtrack we had at the end. Shout outs to every single one of these people in this in this credit sequence here who all did an amazing job. I mean, and a lot of them are, are here and some of them are not here and couldn't make it today, but I, I owe them all so, so, so much for doing such a great job and allowing me to do this show. I, I can't even can't say that enough. But we're not done yet, because we got... Brian Murray. Is it Brian Murray? Oh, was Brian it Brian Doyle Murray? Murray? Uh, I don't know. I'm on Wikipedia. Oh, shit. Yes, you are correct. <laughs> oh, Brian Doyle. Whoa, really? Oh, shit. Yo, he was awesome in that. Because I initially thought it was... Um... Oh, now I'm going to space out on this name. <laughs> Defoe. Wasn't... Didn't <laughs> Defoe have a role, a, a role in that movie? Oh, I think he was screwed... They had Michael Wincott as the like creepy monster. Oh, oh, uh, I was the the the, the crackpot guy. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought I thought maybe that might have been one to fill. Michael Michael Wincott's got an amazing. Are we are we clear, Mr. Scroop? <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Yeah. Scroop. <laughs> You've got that voice where you can get away with doing that impression. It is beautiful. So get ready to find the young guy. Now the battle is on. That was beautiful. You're welcome. I want to down. I want to pay yeah, and yeah, download, download right that. now. <laughs> I turned my attention to the demon king, who had fully charged his unearthly powers to do battle with I. Nanook, dragon of enormous power levels. We fought for what felt like hours. My feet barely touching the ground as I parried him blow for blow. My blow for blow. Oh. Rage unyielding. Yeah. Maybe this is about as good as it's going to get. Yeah. Oh yeah, this was another kind of subtle like, well, I don't know if we're going to do season two yet, though. Well, maybe this is about as good as it's going to get. Thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then a so we're, we're going to have a just-in-case ending. Yeah, pretty much. There were, there were quite a few of those throughout, but I think by the time we reached yeah, this point... I think I knew. I remember Jackie, you were you were riding my ass because after we finished the season, we did another interview on Nine One Eight The Fan, and I was like, "By the way, I don't know if we're doing season two yet, so don't mention it." <laughs> and you mentioned season two like eight times. And I'm like, "Good, thank you." <laughs> <laughs> well, there was nothing else to like. I know. I was to promote, and I was just like, I. <laughs> Like some of them were vague. It was very much like, "Is there anything you're looking <laughs> forward to?" Doing? Just like, I don't know. Is there? <laughs> so, so Jack's <laughs> responsible for season two because you you may or may yeah. not. Yeah, she it. pushed me into it. it. Yeah, that she was it. She pushed you over the edge and said, "Well, shit, it's out there. It looks like I have some." <laughs> oh, here we got. Uh, we were talking about her earlier, but uh, the lovely Eileen Montgomery as uh, Bailey Smith, thirteen, who apparently a lot of people really liked this character. <laughs> I haven't seen Monty in a while. I think it was two Brony Cons ago. Or one Eileen, Brony Eileen is ago. lovely. She and I are actually... She and I and Steven are working on a little thing involving music that may be out before the month is up. We'll see. Oh, fantastic. We'll look forward to it. Yeah. God. <laughs> Speaking music things, though, I will be singing in multiple choir concerts tomorrow, so I must to bed. All right. Well, Stephen, oh, dude. Best of luck. Hey, thank, of luck. You, thank you so yeah. much for hanging Break out this lip. long. And uh, 
thank you for all the great, 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 great work you did on the show as well. I can't say that enough either. My God. Um, Singularly good of you. Yes. And uh, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you, you, you guys will be hearing Steven in uh, something cool related to me and Eileen very soon. But nonetheless, uh, is there any other hype, cool things you want to plug your channel or anything like that? <laughs> Uh, sorry? Did you want to plug your channel or any, any other little quick things like that? Uh, yeah, it's Stephen M. Kelly. Stephen with a V and then M and K-E-L-L-Y. Hello! So, yes, I've got some music stuff on there, although I'm always terribly behind with getting anything out, but um, I do music arrangements and covers and voice work and things, so... Yes. Well, it's all on there! <laughs> um, we'll go check out his channel, I just linked it in the, the text chat below. Etc. So, Stephen, thank you. Yes. Have a, have a it's lovely. been lovely catching up with everyone. Um, Devin, we must talk more often as well. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, it's been lovely. I will catch yes. you all soon. Have a lovely yeah. day. Right, bye. Take care. Goodbye. Bye. 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 I feel like oh. this just needs to be a weekly thing, like a weekly meeting. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I'm gonna do oh, real God. quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, see my, if I can yeah. uh, give someone a call and see if, uh, if maybe they might pick up. Uh, I'm just I gonna do I it over speakerphone and see if it, see if it works. Let's see. Well, Is that coming in? Okay, can you guys hear that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Just make sure their voicemail doesn't have their number. No, 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 no. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Oh, hello, Benjamin Diskin, voice of Oddball. Uh, we're in the middle of the stream, and there's about 200 people listening right now. Oh, excellent. <laughs> you don't have me to, 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 to play off of you and make dumb jokes, etc., so... I'm so well. You should have gotten me invited, motherfucker. Uh, yeah, I need to do that. Uh, well, uh, to, to, to all the to the 200 tone fans listening, do you want to say anything, uh, possibly appropriate or inappropriate, in or out of character? <laughs> Um, I can't say anything inappropriate because right. there are children here. Okay. Well, I'm so glad that you guys tuned in for the other tone podcast. I wish I could have been you know, actually like in person and doing stuff instead of talking on the phone like this. Um, but, uh, it's been a wild ride, and thank you so much for watching the show, guys. Yay, excellent. And also, uh, oh, tell, uh, Heather, I said happy birthday. I, I sent her a message yesterday, but you guys have fun at the con, and, uh, uh, I will see Heather, you when you get back this weekend. Alright, bye. See ya. Ben Diskin, voice of Oddball, everybody. I hate that guy. Beautiful. Uh, I met that guy for the first time in person, like, this year. Oh, yeah? It took that, it took that long, yeah. No, uh, we, he, he came to Vegas for Sabacon, and I was oh, like, come yeah. to my booth so I can give you a free shirt. God, gosh darn it, son yeah, of a gun. Yeah, yeah, Wait, it's... I can curse. I forgot. Oh, yeah, you can curse. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, no, yeah, no, yeah. Ben, ben, ben is Ben is my other like. He's the man that I that I, I owe my voice career to out here because he like got me in with most of the places that I'm that I'm in with. So, and uh, he's, he's like he's like my Bradley Pierce. We both have that thing going on with. Uh, oh yeah, that's been right. Doing so much longer yeah, yeah, than yeah. us. We... You're awful. <laughs> the former the former child actor. And, right, uh, right. Turn turned voice actor, no, etc. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually felt so bad when we interviewed Ben because everyone wanted him to do the Eugene voice. <laughs> oh, and he's like, guys, I, I, don't, I hate to break it to you, I'm in my 30s. I, really <laughs> yeah, no, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> well, I remember how funny that was because yeah. I, I had to be like, I had to kind of hint at it for him to say it. Yeah, I think he just, I think he just kind of goes like, I'm okay, and, and calls it a day, and I'm like, yeah, good enough. <laughs> yeah. I think he, I think I think he was even like I think somebody might have been like why didn't they have you come back to play Eugene in the new Hey Arnold movie coming out and he's like because I'm in my thirties. It's like Did they confirm that like like is that like for sure? Yeah yeah they've announced it already. Oh mm -hmm. well I'm so late on. Things. I mean how 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 old was he? Uh I think he was like I mean, thirteen when he did that show. 
Yeah, they were all kids. Uh, that's how yeah. old it was. We're going to make this happen. I'm actually surprised happened. that Bradley wasn't in that I show. Care about this game just as much as I care about the people. Um. Trying to hold on to why I care well, uh, he, he wasn't. Did. I, I would know. Trust me. No, no, he he wasn't. But I'm, I'm trying to think of the last thing I think he did animation-wise was was probably Tails in the early '90s. Really? As, as far as that kind of animation goes. I'm not so sure he ever did any animations like that. I, mean, I know he's done other stuff since then. I know he's, 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 he's right. Which is funny because, as fate would have it, he also voiced uh, Bradley Pierce uh, was the voice of uh, those of you who don't know. He was the voice of Chip. Uh, in uh, Beauty and, and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, yeah, that was, was really uh, his, like, shining... Young, he was a young lad, and he was also, uh, the kid from Jumanji. Yeah, he was the little boy from Jumanji, that's how everyone really knows him from. It's like, oh yeah, you're that, you're that monkey kid. <laughs> um, and, uh, every time, like, we'd, we'd go around in L.A. when, um, we were hanging out that day, and, we're, you know, we were just opposite the convention center, so obviously there's a lot of people in cosplay, and, uh, really people, really like, really Bradley and I would be talking, and then just people would come up to us and go, you guys sound familiar. Okay. And and then you know always say like oh yeah we did this and you know I did this he did this and it's like oh you're the monkey kid from Jumanji is always that yeah the monkey kid so, that's me <laughs> yeah go, please go away now <laughs> <laughs> no they're all super nice yeah no I know I, I, I'm sure and that was that. like you know, that was around the time like Robin Williams died or like a, a little after it was like a year or so after that so yeah, it was yeah. still a little bit fresh. Uh, so, you know, talk about that with him and with all the fans and stuff. It's, it's kind of cool. Oh, by the way, just real quick, this little scene. Shout out to uh, the five uh, auction winners of uh, the Tome Season 2 crowdfunding campaign. They all have little speaking lines in here. And uh, they're a lot of fun. I particularly liked the, um, uh, this character. Uh, oh, God, what's the name? Uh, Crap. They have like a DeviantArt and they have like kind of a cool like female like Mario fan character. Super Katarina, that's her name. She's really cool. We got us. Uh, um, crap. Dusty Old Roses. Sandra Espinosa to voice her. Hey guys. Good morning. Oh. Delighted to see you. Yeah, same to you. And here comes Mona Marshall's character coming up in a second. We're seeing Flamey. The chef. The two of them went awesome. to the park and said we could meet up later. All right, I got this. Thing done. Uh, next donation we have fifty dollars. Uh, hey Kurt, am I doing two in one sketch? First is Grand Admiral Thrawn. Second is the po uh, Pokemon Mega Absol. Uh, if you want Thrawn to be a Pokemon trainer, then go for it. Links below. Thanks for keeping awesome, from longtime fan. Yeah. They're beginning. Ladies, gentlemen, players from all across the world. How y'all holding up right now? We're, we're dwindling our numbers, but we've still got at least four main characters in here. Dude, the numbers are still pretty good, and uh, I just need to get more coffee. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I'm so want. tired. No, like I've had like two cups, and I'm I just because I'm sitting here, like I'm not actually being physically active, so I'm just like okay. ten jumping jacks every thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And also, Jesus Christ, Nalak has a hell of a bulge in this scene. Yes, he, does. <laughs> he has a hell of a bulge in general. <laughs> yeah, he does. I don't know why I never noticed that before. I'm like half here, half making sweet tea because I need to make some sweet tea, or else I will fall asleep. Oh, man, dude, sweet tea sounds great. Be a part of it, shit. Dude, I mean, sweet tea is amazing. Have you guys had like actual southern sweet tea? No. No. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. I love it so much. I didn't hear from the such a thing. Lavendera. What? <laughs> next city. I've, said I've this never heard of southern specific sweet tea. Like, like, just mm. it's sweet black tea. I would like to try that. Yeah, I'll make you some someday. Like, cool. I'll see. Like when I go to California one day again. I will I'm make some sweet tea hey, for you guys. Hey. I will down with this. Okay, make the sweet so tea, I make the cornbread. Curb, yes. um, Curb, I'm gonna text you something real quick. I'm not gonna ask. Oh, okay. Hold up. So, I know you're on busy, so hold on. Talking about the bulge for a second, it's kind of, it's kind of like you noticed it. Let's <laughs> just say It's kind of like you noticed it like the labyrinth. That's that's the that's the bulge that, the that Kira Buckland fell in love with. She is obsessed <laughs> with Bowie. That's the bulge that got away. You know, I follow her Twitter and like that's that's pretty much all. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. It's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, David Bowie, and fucking coffee and cats. You know what though? Coffee, her and I will be great friends when I get out. I mean, we've been friends for 10 years anyway, but once we're out there, once I'm out there too, coffee, dude. 
every day. Dude, yeah, we've we've known we've yeah, both known Kira for over ten years. Ten years. It's been over ten years. It's uh, 2005 for me. It's yeah, almost twelve. <laughs> I worked. I actually worked with her. She. She actually. Oh, you know what? Holy shit, Casey! I never realized this. Wow, I mi I missed a funny opportunity in the the digital voice acting thing. So okay, so in in TV Tome Adventures, the old version of it. Uh, there was a character called Motherboard, who basically was the equivalent of Softy. Uh, she was like the, the, like, the heart of the virtual reality system thing. And, uh, she was in the final episode, and she was voiced by Kira. So, in the, in the previous iteration of Tome, she voiced the character that was basically the equivalent of Softy. And we've both known her since 2000- and that was in 2005, and we've both known her for 10 years, that's crazy. But Jesus Christ. Weird ass connection, small a, world, right? Oh my god, I remember when we did <laughs> we did a game uh, together, because, you know, she was doing fan dubs and stuff, and I would just be like, sure, I'll do this, because it was, it was fun, it was just something we messed around with. And then we had our first, I think, our first real game was a PC game. Oh, was game that that, like, e Brigade, Brigade E5. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody, had, everybody on the VAA was in that. In fact, I have a copy of it, like, in my desk somewhere, like, uh, I remember I, that was a running joke with Lucian when I was staying with him in North for like the longest time. I remember, I remember as a Christmas gift, I got him a copy of it, and I couldn't find one that was actually good. So it was literally a ripped open box uh, with a, a beaten up CD and a beaten up manual held together with a rubber band. And I gave him that, I gave him that for Christmas, and, and he just was like, "This is the most beautiful and most upsetting thing at the same time." <laughs> Did anybody get paid and, uh, for that shit? Huh? Did anybody get paid for working on that game? Oh yeah, no, that was actually one of our first paying jobs. It was really exciting. It was actually a game that was sold in GameStop and everything, and um... Now, it, I don't know if the other voice actors knew this, but because I'm a gamer and I know other gamer friends around the world, they sold uh, a sequel to that called 762 High Caliber with all of the same voices. And we never got residuals or anything for that. Oh yeah, well probably. I mean, because especially that, that's the whole. That's part of the whole reason the strike is happening is because that's not a thing anyway. Right, right. And I mean, to this day, I don't know if there's anything that could happen with that because that was like almost. That was about ten years ago. I think the sequel came out in 07. So it was a couple years later. The game was wildly popular in Russia, and it's like the Grand Theft Auto uh, in Russia. Like it, everybody plays this kind of war game. And uh, one of my Russians friends. My Russian friends was like, so I just got this game and you're in it. That's pretty cool. And I'm like, oh, which one? And he's like, 762 High Caliber. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never done that game. Before. He's like, no, that's your voice. And I, I, your name is in the manual. That's you. I'm like, okay, I need to see this. So I tried it and all of us, sure enough, all of us were there. So, uh, but yeah, that was like our first job. Um, that unfortunately turned into something a little bit weird, but it's kind of a running joke. If you say the name of the game, Brigade E5, to any of the people who are in it, it it's like, no, 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 that never happened. It did not happen. Yeah. I remember Tomar mentioned to me, uh, what one of the reviews was, uh, it said, like, it sounded like the voice actors yes, knew yes. how bad the material was. It's like they had the script in one hand, and they were reaching- hand on the door, and the exit with the, the other hand. Another. I, 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 yes. I remember that, Riku, yes. Yes, that was, uh, oh, and it was, it was one of her first jobs. And I remember Lucian voiced, like, ten characters, and then I voiced, like, four. Wasn't, uh, and... wasn't Phil in that, too? Phil Sacramento? Oh, yeah. Lion Court, yeah, he was in that. Uh, Andy Dennis, T Bones was in that. Yep. Crazy. Everyone was in that. Game. I mean, it really says something. I mean, I, I, no offense, but the fact that like, oh, let's get these voice actors from the internet like that. Nobody had done that before, like mm -hmm. for a whole like real production of a game. So it's like right. And and back then they were taking a gamble because we we weren't bad, but Jesus, we were all starting out, and none of us had really had. Uh, yeah. professional experience before uh, of most of us were just starting out that year or maybe the year prior so to do something like that and be approached was like how can you pass this up yeah. but then they would ask you to do next to the impossible because we're all very young we're all like 17 at the time none of us had mature voices and I remember the director was sending us the voice files uh, in in Russian and said, match these tones. And one of my characters was like, this deep baritone sounding dude. And I'm like, yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. So, <laughs> so we had to like, 
kind of compromise and, uh, you know, I, I think they ended up, like, pitch-shifting most of the characters that all of us did anyway, because we all sounded so young. Um, but it was... Yeah, that was pretty much this, one of the first things you've ever done, and it was a, a very interesting experience. I should probably play the game on uh, on a stream sometime, just so I can make all of my friends who are also in it hate me. <laughs> or you could just, like, invite them into a call and not tell them what it's for. Right, say, hey, you want to do a, a Let's Play with me? Sure, what game? Ah, oh, the surprise. Hey, by the way, next donation, we got a $20 donation from uh, VHS Cassette. On Tumblr, who's a big Tone fan, I, I see her posts all the time, she makes a lot of music videos and stuff. This is my OC Lucian. Not not that Lucian, not spelled that way. <laughs> From knee down, there's long socks and blame boots. He's a doofy farm boy, and your story pushed me to start my own webcomic on Tumblr that I hope to continue, so thank you for everything you've done. And thank you, VHS Cassette Tape, for all the great fan stuff that I've been keeping Hello. an eye on. Welcome. Thanks so much for coming. Oh, it's good to see you all. Thank you. You're gang crazed, correct? I'm always distracted every time there's a kitty on screen. Kitty. There's a there's a kitty. I'm gonna find the game and take a picture. There are two kitties in the house that I'm that I'm at right now, but they're not in here. Did you break into somebody's house? No, I'm at my friend Kadget's house because he has better internet than me, so I wanted to make sure that there was no fucking buffering happening. Well, that would have been part of the joke. No. <laughs> no, Can I would not be. It would be aggravating, indeed. and I didn't want that shit to happen, so. Steal something nice for me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Steal something nice for me while you're there. No. Oh, okay, I'll do it myself. Nice. No. I mean, <laughs> he could just take one of the cats. I mean, that would be a good present. Cats no. <laughs> would be sad. It's his kitty. It's, it's Kerber. And look, I know they're paying you to be friendly, only take, but you can take get cadg real with this. Cadgets, cats. Cadgets, cats. Cadgets, cats. Cadgets. I keep saying cat, so my, my cat is like laying on the bed and she keeps looking at me like, What do you want? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want? You no! You killed me. You'll move on to the next. You She's like, killed me! You killed me! Oh god, Good. what have I done? I've just told you! You've killed me! People die when they are killed? <laughs> that is a thing. <laughs> hey, Anna! Oh, did she leave? She's making sweet tea. Oh, right. It's a sacred ritual, you can't interrupt that. <laughs> making her, her, her fire tea. Her fire ritual. I'm drinking Hulk juice, so... Are you a fucking monster? <laughs> no, no, uh, you guys haven't heard of it? No. The, it's the, well, I guess everybody calls it different, uh, but it's that Chinese herbal stuff, like Nin, Nin J, Pao, whatever it is. Oh, I don't think I know that. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing for your throat. Um, I actually had to go in the studio once with a strep throat, and I would chug that just to make sure that I could get through it. Oh, uh, no, it sucks. I'm actually, yeah, I know. You know, I, I don't know if you've ever had, uh, Courtney Taylor. On uh, 918 the fan, she's uh, Jack on Mass Effect. Um, uh, I, we we haven't no. Oh, okay, she's really cool. You should totally get her on the show sometime. Um, she... I mean, if, if you have her contact. <laughs> um, she, I, I'm doing a show with her, and uh, she suggested to me these golden throat, uh, like, 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 let's get What are they? They're, they're, like, they're, they're like they're like halls, but like they're little cough drops, but like. But they, they have like er, like proper herbs in it, and like they really really help with like clearing it up, like if you have like a shitty throat. Um, it might be the same company because they also do cough drops. I just like their liquid formula because you can take a, uh, you can put it on a spoon and I think, you can. Is it a, I think it's a, is it a Chinese uh, it's, company? It's better. Interesting. Well, I'm sure. We'll is it a, is it a Chinese company? I think. Yeah, it's a it's a Chinese company. Yeah, I think it might be the same. Yeah, Golden Throat Drops or whatever. Yeah, no, these these things are like a miracle drug. A lot of people I know have lately just been calling it Hulk Juice because nobody can say the name. <laughs> um, and I don't want to attempt it because I don't want to come off as like super racist, so I'm not going to. Um, but uh, it just tastes like a mouthful of mint, pretty much, and it it works wonders. So if you have a screamo session. I highly recommend getting this. You can get it off of Amazon for like fourteen dollars, I think it is. It'll last you a while, so. My tip for the day. Oh, shout outs 
to John St. John as the voice of Exec, who was amazing and so, so, so fun to work with. I'm sure he's at a convention right now. Though. Probably, most likely. <laughs> I think he just came back. I think I think he's resting now. Um, oh, okay. And he's, yeah, I think he's chilling at his home. Fun fact, the reason uh, he booked this part is because he called me on my birthday, and I was like, John, you're great. I want to work with you. Do you want to play this character <laughs> in my show? And he's like, sure, I'd love to do that. Hail to the king, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except he totally doesn't sound like that at all. He actually, he actually just sounds like, oh, sure, Chris, I'd love to do that. Yeah, I'm John St. John. I'm really nice. Well. <laughs> yeah, he just talks with his radio voice all the time. <laughs> yeah. John St. John. He uh, actually, he and Lonnie go way, way back. Casey, I'm sure you probably know Dude, that. Dude, Lonnie, oh yeah, of course. Lonnie's the one who got him the job as the new guy. Yeah. Him and Big the Cat, everybody's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh. You know, it's funny, they did a roast of him where his daughter was there. His daughter um, works in cosplay, and oh, her yeah. she's known as uh, Kawi Besu, because um, her name is Beth, so Besu instead of Desu. Oh. Yeah. Um, and, uh, there was a roast and she dressed up as Big the Cat during the roast. <laughs> 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 Which is the uh, best thing ever. Good. That's symbolic, right? <laughs> Alright, I think I might have another batch, but let me just double check real quick. So, uh, Let's Curb, I just tweeted you. Uh huh? I just tweeted you something. You did? Uh... Yep, I found it. <laughs> oh, I, I want to tag everyone who is in Terrible. it in this photo. Get it away from me. All right, we're finally oh, wait, on to the, the game you were talking about. Finally yeah, on to the second game. Oh my god, we got so many more. Oh wait, let me let me go stalk your Twitter. I, I, I wanna I wanna install this. <laughs> I don't think I follow you on Twitter, but I know what you're. Wait, yes, I do. <laughs> well done. But it doesn't take a genius to figure out that I'm actually. This game is so old. This is the when there were still the manuals with voice actor gone. names in the credits. Oh, they still do that. Oh my! I well, haven't seen only, that. Only if it's a, but typically only if it's a union game. When if it's if it's non-union, mm -hmm. actually, video games don't even have credits for for the VO. The only thing that you get in like a video game in the in the box now is like. A little promo toilet tissue paper saying, buy our other game. That's it. Doesn't that make you sad? Like, I'm still yep. very much like a physical collector. Yes, you know? me too. Thank you. Everyone's like, yeah. oh, just uh, get over it. Uh, just get digital. No, like, I don't. No. I want to. Like, you know I, mean, I don't understand. This boggles my mind. I don't want to go into nerd rage here, but when you see digital versions of games as collector's editions that are like a hundred bucks, how the fuck do you have a digital collector's edition? You know, that, no. that makes no sense. Well, yeah. it's because they, they'll usually have like some extra like stuff in the game or something to like signify Yeah, but it. it's not a collector's item. You can't have a digital download. Yeah. Like, I, I, I always Because you, you can't get it signed either. Like you yeah. can't like cherish it, you can't put it on a wall, you can't like display right. it. It's It's literally just like, oh well it's on my PS4 somewhere. <laughs> Well, then especially yeah, you like, like if your PS4, system breaks, the game's you're installed. fucked. Yeah, you no, know, that's something that's something I super relate to though, because um, I I still collect PlayStation Two games, so I have about yeah, um, six hundred and like twenty one PlayStation Two games or whatever. Oh my God! Um, wow. Wait, God, you sound like my dad with movies. <laughs> it's the like one dad. thing I've got. Let <laughs> let me have it. <laughs> um, my, my roommate hates it because every time we move, it's like, can you get rid of and trade some of these in? No. <laughs> oh, what about the, what about the no. herbs? Who plays the herbs? I want it. Go away. <laughs> you know, Dude, uh, this, this I played the herbs so freaking much. Yeah. I'm best at mutton, uh, mutton, button pushing. <laughs> I love can you like, imagine a future of, uh, of media where like all of the distribution mediums are just downloads? So how the hell are you going to take something to a convention and have people sign that? Yeah, it's it's kind of... It, it kind doesn't of work. It you sucks. don't. Like you, the you buy blow. the thing that is at the, art or at the voice actor or artist desk and you buy it and then you hand it to them to sign it. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good feeling for either end. Alright guys, I tweeted another four... Uh, another four new illustrations I did. Alright, uh, let's check it out. Uh, and let's see, we're on to the page two now of the donations. 
Uh, the next one uh, is from Yin and, Yin and Yang, I, I guess is, is what they're going to sell that. Um, congratulations on all your hard work. You've made a great work for this generation to enjoy for years to come. Also, please let Casey know if she may still keep her promise to me from Anime Expo that you and the others will perform another Cards Against Humanity. Oh yeah, we should do that sometime. <laughs> uh, if you can. Finally, if possible, could you draw my main character uh, of Tome, but as a shadow from their real form in the Oh, uh... Oh, oh, can you draw any main character of Tome, but as a shadow with their real form in the light? Uh, i.e. you with Curb and Zeto split between you and the back. Uh, thank you again, Your Majesty. Uh, you know what? Actually, we'll do, since you mentioned Casey, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna draw Game Cruise and Softy this time. Yeah, sweet. Yay! I really liked your gem, by the way. I just looked at the latest ones. That was really cool. What's that? Uh, from Treasure Planet. Oh, yeah, I really yeah, liked yeah, how that turned out. Because uh, I didn't have to draw all of Cap <laughs> Captain, uh, uh, Captain. Long John Silver. Jesus Christ, sorry. Captain Captain. Roger, Captain, Captain. 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 Roger, Captain, <laughs> Captain. Roger, Roger. Dabbity, bab, bab, bab. Captain, my Captain. You simply had to know. I am Shady Vox. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Jack. Better luck next time. Da -da -da -da. That was almost the season two theme song, actually. Sorry, Jack? Not well, not when it was Sorry, Jack, but that composition. Oh, but like that that song. Yeah. Not really? I, you, how dare thy show You're referencing his uh, <laughs> Scratch 21 stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, okay. that's, that's Shady Box. <laughs> shady yes, Box. I am the true champion of the Gemini tournament. Oh, the this is a Yuri Lowenthal's great fucking mocking Vegeta impression. <laughs> gun arm, which is 100% legal for use in any competitive environment. What? <laughs> I was about to say something about Yuri and Terra, but I don't know if it's public knowledge yet, so I'm gonna oh, shut up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, do you know what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah, yeah, I do. All right. Okay, fair enough. I'm done. And my color scheme is just no, no. Really, I'm. Yuri, not. Yuri was so, so, so great to work with. Yeah, He's an awesome guy. He's so energetic. Yeah. Really weird. Anywho, yeah. <laughs> So, I'm I haven't King seen him four. in a little while. Saw him Kingdom actually well, when I was recording the show. I mentioned with Courtney so Taylor. Uh, he was he was at I that same studio. If you get big sure. I mean, Great guy. I, I haven't seen Tara in a while though. Like, I, mean, she's in I just saw them at Yoma. I think I think they're vacationing there because she grew up in in Chelsea, so oh, cool. they can visit with the parents and everything. Awesome. <laughs> All right, I'm taking this one. What's interesting about them is is I think it's Tara, but her she has a Tumblr where she posts like a bunch of like really healthy like vegan recipes and stuff. Oh, nice. So if if, if you guys are interested in that sort of thing, uh, definitely try and find your Tumblr. Cooking with Tamari. Yeah. Okay then. Your funeral. Anna Kingsley. Yeah. What kind of stuff have you been up to as of late? I am also curious just because I am dumb and haven't talked to you in a while and I miss you really <laughs> I've actually been stupid busy. Um, one with my day job because I work at a normal place that people work. <laughs> and then two with voice acting because I'm on this site called uh, Fiverr, which I'm sure, I don't know if you guys heard of it or not. But you can do voice work on it and I've actually had a lot of uh, voice work for like commercials, uh, uh, business tutorial videos, YouTube videos, uh, just a bunch of bunch of stuff, <laughs> actually. And I've done a couple of video games here and there, some that are trying to get greenlit on Steam, and yeah, awesome. I've just been working hard. <laughs> Were, uh, what's her name? From, uh, Bell Book and Candle. Oh, yeah! Yeah, I got to be, um... Why did I forget her name? You made me forget her name. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I blame you. That is my favorite yeah, freaking thing. Uh, what was the other... Uh, da Jillian. Jillian from Bell Book and Candle. And you got to be Mrs. Uh, Miss Holroyd, yes. We got to be these awesome 50s ladies. Yep, reading a old screenwrite. Screenwrite, yeah, as like a 1950s style like radio play. Fallout 4. Oh, was that for the mod that you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
It must have been so fun. I think I actually did more of it, and I think I'm just gonna send it to you just for the fun of it. People have been requesting that we do more, and I mean, I've been bugging you on and off about it. Yeah. We have to sit down and like actually do it. Yeah, and decide what we're gonna do because every everyone like there's thousands of people that are just like, is that it? Is there more? I keep running around the game expecting for more. I'm really happy because that was my suggestion. That's my baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was gonna like read like you know excerpts. Excer 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 I was still. From, I'm uh, still waiting for you. You said you wanted me to do something for that. And I was still in yeah, yeah, I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, I oh, want how to put to it play in there. Yeah. Character. I have a couple of uh, of uh, really really good actor friends. Uh, we're gonna be doing more for WRVR. We have the whole. Uh, like missions coming up and all that okay. stuff's in the works. So instead of just having like little characters that just say a few lines and just like references here and there, there's actually a whole story that is going to be uh, going to be told through quests. And, uh, so I'm doing everything myself, and I pretty much feel like you, and it's exhausting, but it's <laughs> yeah, well. really rewarding. Um, so yeah, I'll set everything up. And, uh, uh, Martin is playing one of the characters that is the bad guy named Bringsley and he's the one that holds a certain character hostage you don't know yet and uh, it's it's gonna be a really interesting dialogue between the player uh, Casey Kessler which is my character uh, and him and the person who is captive so I'm trying to make everything work out in a way that makes the player go oh shit that's awesome <laughs> um, instead of just like well that's another quest done uh, I want to do something different that isn't already in the game, so... Well, this place seems a little That'll be fun! Have you Yay! Yay! And I'm also Yay! just about to tweet well, the yeah, Game Crazy Softy like the picture that I did. Jesus Christ, that was fast. So maybe we'll have someone a little less intimidating or aggressive I mean, you told him to move his butt, so... <laughs> they seem challenging, it's true. But not really that intimidating. Much love for... Welcome players to the hall of Let King number. Ah, uh, here's uh, Michelle Knotts, voice of Kinder Spirit, and the assistant voice as well. Look, we're just here for the fights. I hope she's doing well. I haven't talked to her in her quite a yeah, while. I actually want to see if I can get her for um, a uh, her blog interview because I would like to. Well, in that case, I would like to uh, have her for Poke December. Whoa! Holy shit! Huh? Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Read Web? Uh, uh, I didn't do it. En Enuendo, uh, who did the uh, co the cover art for both the Tome Orchestral Song Collection and also she did the preview image picture for um the uh, for the AVZ short. She just drew a really great picture of all the characters of the people who are in the stream today. And it looks no way. amazing, and I just retweeted it. Go check that shit out. Oh, let's check it out. Boop. I love the tomb. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I probably just oh! missed it. And Wando, if you're, if, you're, if you're in the chat, yeah! thank you so that much. Is that awesome. is so great. Ah, oh, it's awesome. By the way, also, the uh, the picture that she did of Alpha and Zeto for the short, uh, that is going to be the cover of uh, when we eventually have the Bandcamp released for uh, the music of the ABZ short, which will be available before the end of the month. So, uh, just stick tight on that. It will be available eventually. I am going to use the facilities again real quick. We'll be right back. Entertain the people in the chat while I'm going. Don't fall in! <laughs> Remember to wash! <laughs> <laughs> he won't. <laughs> Wait, how do you know? Lend <laughs> that yellow mellow. Oh, I've stayed at his house before. I know things, unfortunately. Yeah, no. <laughs> he does not flush twice. <laughs> Gosh, I really love the fight scenes. Curves big mouth does us all another favor. I do too. Stay super. Yeah, good. Great. Glad it could be a scapegoat for you all while I'm here. Interesting. And now it's a jiggly cuff. Like <laughs> 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 yeah. That was fun. Let's play again sometime. No, all 
already. Shall we? Yes, already! Almost to the end now. I guess this one is the second to last, huh? Yeah, we're doing pretty well, I'd say. Thanks again for letting us do this, GC. It's been a ton of fun so far. Of course. I'm still pondering ideas for a wish to be granted if we I feel like the joke is we're waiting for him to come back and we're all just gonna be silent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> We should all go on mute, so when she comes gonna back, she's going to be guys. Well, <laughs> cash prize, but more like money yeah. put towards something. All of us. Is this the thing we're actually doing? <laughs> like, I have I'll, no. I'll do it. <laughs> all right, I'm back. I'm back. Aww. All right. <laughs> Dang it. No, sorry, I've ruined your. You fight. ruined your plan. I don't know if they'd be Um. I hear they're pretty oh, ha. Uh, Twenty dollars from uh, Kudo Tsurugi here. Uh, loving the stream so far. Could you draw Alpha in either Jaden's outfit from Yu-Gi-Oh GX or any of Sora's outfits from Kingdom Hearts? You can let Blake decide if you want. No idea if I can donate more than twenty right now, but I wish you guys love with the donations, and I'll keep watching the stream in the meantime. Keep up the good work. I will decide on Shady's behalf, and I'm going to draw him in Jaden's outfit because, haha, I get the joke. So. Yeah. Oh, so are you reading them as you draw them, not as you receive them? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, I think this is the most viewed episode of the series, by the way, episode 12. This is really? Yeah. Oh my god, that bold! Jesus Christ, Nylock! <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, looking at <laughs> when... that blood. It's it's, wh it's whispering <laughs> sweet nothing. <laughs> Somebody play David Bowie's stat. <laughs> David, uh, you remind David. me of the babe. What babe? What babe? The babe with the power. What babe? What power. <laughs> the power of voodoo. What babe? <laughs> what the fuck is I wrong with you? I don't think we're gonna get right! <laughs> what ba- I know, yes. Yeah, so that I swear, does this bulge get bigger in each episode? Yeah, <laughs> some, does. somewhere in Burbank, here is like, Oh, he sense is tingling! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty fucking much. How excitable, a lowly squire. Hit it against such wondrous toadstool feet. Alright, gotta draw. Jane Yuki, get your game on! As I speak. Squire against King. King get your game on! Game on! Get your game on! Come on, you gotta play this game right! Chilling out with your crew in the schoolyard! This show is really fucking bad! Bay, play, 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 play. Oh, yeah, wait. pretty much. In eBay, or in uh, EB games, like, uh, training videos? <laughs> God, fucking sorry, all Yu-Gi-Oh GX fans, but <laughs> sorry, all two Yu-Gi-Oh GX fans. <laughs> yes, their names, their names are Shady Vox and X the Dark One. <laughs> no, actually, that's the funny thing. Shady's not even a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh GX. <laughs> G fucking X is, but Shady is just like, I just did it. I just did it with X because it was funny. I mean, isn't that how all great ideas are born? <laughs> yeah, not giving a shit. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> that's this is funny. That's, Let's do it. That's, that's how Brawl Toms was born. That's how Jackass was born. So. <laughs> hey, my name's Crunch, and this is Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I was the voice of all these little blocks in this episode. <laughs> I love the big eyes right there, that's so funny. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Legendary moment. I am not a squire. I am the king. I am the best player in this game. I am better than the mushroom, or the angel, or the crystalline douchebag, or the metalhead grandpa combined. So shut up and suck it. You uh, you doing okay up there, Kerb? I am great. <laughs> that dude needs to chill. No. <laughs> 
Uh, Jesus, my throat hurts just even fake doing that. <laughs> have you have you lost your voice during Tome at all? Not during Tome, but I've lost my voice lately on other stuff, and it's not fun. No, it is not. Uh, I don't even think I could have my upper register anymore, which makes me really sad. I used to be able really? to do like higher pitched, like cute stuff, and now I can't do it anymore because my voice is destroyed. Ah, uh, that's not good. Yeah, I remember I, I auditioned for a Moogle in a Final Fantasy thing one time, and I, I have the audition of it, and it's just like a sad reminder of like, you used to be able to do this, you used to be able to do like the <laughs> type thing, and I'm like, I can't do it anymore. It's oh. dead. Puberty's a bitch. I hate it. No, well, more, no, not puberty. No, blowing your voice out like an idiot is a bitch, and not being able to get your fucking upper register back. That is a bitch. That yeah, I think. Well, to be fair, I think that's something that's like uh, that's something that like nobody really talks about when you get into a screamo session the first time. Like, like nobody warns you how to like actually do that. Are you ready? You were the winner of the contest. I don't think I've ever lost my voice except for when I was doing Red Dead Redemption. It came time to do all the screams and. Uh, well, I just did non-stop screaming, and it was awesome. And it was like, the more my voice died, the better the scream sound. They just sounded guttural, so horrifying. But good god, I had a sore throat for like three days after that, but it was like bet, worth yeah. it. Good god. Um, I mean, I can still play like younger, I can still play like teenagers and stuff, but like, I just can't do like the really high cutesy stuff that I like. I used to do a lot more of that when I was back in New York, actually. Um, but uh, yeah. that time is over. <laughs> By the way, this is your fucking <gasps> awesome fight scene, Casey, with uh, with Webmaster. Yeah. In sprays. Pretty cool. This is right I just want that portal two thing to come by. Purple things out of my hand. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you even do that? It's for the vine. <laughs> yes, that's how. Look at that giant. You know GC has the power of vine. The hands of both gods. When you guys had me do that, do it for the vine thing, I had no idea what the hell it was from at first. I didn't either. Shady was the one who fucking. Yeah, Shady was, yeah, no Shady was the one who just like, he's like, what you're gonna do is just say, I ain't gonna do it. It's gonna be funny. I'm like, I don't it's gonna get be it. funny. Shit. It's gonna be funny. It's gonna be <laughs> oh funny. My um, but I, I did it, and I I saw what it came from, and I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> you did the thing. Oh, there- oh, now it's there. Here, Casey, sorry, the fucking game craze picture didn't go through. Uh, here it is. I fold. My question is, but was it funny? But Nobody yeah, answered yeah. that. <laughs> I remember, uh, I- I was never a person who used Vine at all, but, uh... Uh, hold on, let me just re retweet this real quick. I remember that Vine had like a ridiculous amount of views yeah. on it, like loops or whatever it had. Um, it has been retweeted. Yay! We should all show our appreciation. I'm the head of environment design. Oh yeah, by the, the way, this is also one of my favorite scenes. The meeting kind of between spirit. all five of the main characters and all five of the net kings the music, is the is one of my favorite scenes just because in. it's filled with Welcome so much like tension and shit. It's me. <laughs> Ruby rules, head of character design. But you knew that already. Really all I What was neat about it though is you could tell everybody's personality. personality. You know, like just they didn't even have to have a lot of dialogue. But, like, they really shone through despite so many characters in the scene. Well, I mean, yeah, it, it's hard to have a conversational scene between that many characters, but having the two opposing sides is what allowed me to keep track of everything. And there were a lot of, like, big mysteries being, like, solved with this part. Like, this is this is a big, like, kind of headway uh, point for the, the entire story, really. So. We've been in the game industry for years, so that's very likely. We're always happy to spread what we know to others. Like Webmaster said, this is a giant passion project for us. 
Yeah, in fact, we've been wanting to do this special battle side quest for a long time, too. Like, since the beginning of the game's development. Anyway, it was all exactly... What's really depressing is it's 8 o'clock p.m. and it feels like 1 in the morning. It's just because it gets, like, it gets it really dark. It really does feel really late. No, it does. It feel, I'm looking at the clock, I'm like, why am I so freaking tired? And it's only 8, almost. And uh, it gets dark at like 4 p.m. now. It's just depressing. Because you, I wake up at like noon if I oversleep, which I did today. And, uh, I wake up and there's just a few hours of daylight. That is so depressing and really confusing for my internal clock. It's interesting because they don't have that problem, but if, I mean, I live in a desert, but if it rains here, I, I sleep all the time. Like, I just, I don't get out of bed. Um, yeah, no, it's, I, I don't know what it is. It's just if it's raining, even if it's not cloudy. I just I look at it like, oh, it's not daytime anymore. <laughs> you're in, what'd you say, you're in like Vegas, right? Or something like yeah, that? Yeah, so we're Are you like, PST. are you really out in the desert? Like, out in the desert? <laughs> well, I mean, in the in the summer it can get up to like 125 um, in Vegas still. Jesus Christ. So. <laughs> Let's stay inside or you're probably gonna get sun poisoning. <laughs> sun poisoning? <laughs> you, well, it's sun, sun poisoning technically is a thing, but... Um, yeah, no, it's it's when you get to uh, it's when you get to to sunburn, basically. Um, so yeah, I mean, you want to make sure that you have like glasses or a hat or sunscreen or something. But I'm so used to it. I'm born and raised, um, and the the I don't have any issues with allergies or anything, and I don't miss any weather changes or whatever. And and the coldest it gets in, in winter is like 30 degrees. So yeah, that's. Yeah, Zeta was the that's that's chilly, but honestly, when I was in England, I was backpacking the country uh, with my friend earlier this year, and it was in March, which it wasn't the coldest. But pretty, mm -hmm. It gets cold, and when it when it rains, it's it's like 20, 30 degrees, and we were like, why are we doing this? Why didn't we go somewhere a little warmer? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty cold still. So I just realized that where I might be moving, uh, in San Bernardino area, it's only gonna be like three hours to Las Vegas. Oh yeah, no, I know people who drive to Vegas. Like it's still like a day drive, but I know people who go there all the time. Yeah, I've got. Anytime you come to Vegas, and from from there to Vegas to fly is only about fifty five minutes, and it's only like a hundred bucks. Yeah, no, it's super cheap. You can, it's you like can probably get it like 70, 70, 80 bucks, actually. Oh my god, if I would you do that. Hey, yeah, but, no, I, I do that sometimes for work. <laughs> by, by the way, real quick, just wanted to say, uh, we wanted to get, I, I wanted to give a shout out. We got a $40 donation from Taylor Stevenson, who is the one that uh, made us all the uh, the Tone Character plushies that we got in the box. Uh, yes! Saying, hey Curb, thank you and the rest of the cast for all the years of making Tone. It's been a blast following the series, and beyond that, I wish you all the best in the future. For my sketch, can you please draw these two? Two characters fighting and also can we donate more than once yes you can taylor you were more than welcome to donate more than once and thank you so much still holding on to my curb and zeto plushie back home they're sitting on my shelf and i'm holding on they're shitting on your shelf they're shitting on my shelf they're shitting on my shelf and then uh i've also got casey's uh game crazed and softy plushie which i'll and your poster all of which i'll be very happy to finally yeah, give her yeah. when she comes out I, here i so. can't wait to get a place over there and just hang it up on the wall the even if i'm then you must know like what living on my car i'll just put the poster up like in my windshield or something left behind in system and wasn't supposed to be discovered but somehow but also, straight up, if you do ever come to Vegas, let me know. I know the best places to eat. That is, like, my claim to fame. <laughs> no kidding. How, how far are you actually from, like, the actual, like, you know... The strip? The happens. Yeah, or the strip. Yeah, um, about 20, 25 minutes. That's not bad. So, I'm guessing you're, you regularly go there. I mean, I it's like I'm I bored. I'm gonna go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I go there when uh, when friends come in or when there's a conference or something. Because the Consumer Electronics Show happens here in Vegas, which is this huge, ginormous tech show. Um, that uh, that is like horrendous to get back and forth to. So be very careful if you're in the area during that time. <laughs> you know what was it last year? Uber had helicopters you could take. Jeez, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, like I've never heard of such a thing. That's the future. It was hilarious. Businessmen were paying like thousands of dollars to go down the strip just to get to their hotel. 
they were laying in the hotel like hella fast. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's that's what people were doing. It was pretty insane. But I mean, it spans the Las Vegas Convention Center and like five or six other, you know, casinos, which is ridiculous. So, um, but yeah, I know about good food places. Uh, me and my roommate, um, he he's very experimental with food. So sometimes we'll just. You know, every every one or two weeks, we'll go to someplace new and see if it's any good. Listen, you can do that a lot, and uh, you, you can you can do that a lot in New York as well. So many fucking places, yeah. you can just like have an adventure. I'm not very adventurous with food. Like, I'm usually pretty. I stick to what I like, kind of. But occasionally, I'm just like, I want something that I know I'm not gonna like, so I'm gonna try it anyway, and I'll do it because I'm stupid. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and, and I end up not liking it, and then you know, I'll just go back to what I usually will have. But when I'm in a place like Vegas, I don't want to just get a pizza or just get KFC or something. I want to try something a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what your diet preferences are. I mean, I'm, I I call myself a meditarian because <laughs> a, a meditarian, a meditarian, meditarian. Uh, yeah, because I just I really just like meat. <laughs> that, that's no, I'm the exact same way, and I get a lot of shit for that. My, my friend I'm staying with is totally vegan and I, I think it makes her die a little bit inside when she'll be eating leaves and I just have like this giant piece of meat and I'm just like eating it like a wild animal and I'm sure it makes her nauseous. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I make dinner sometimes for my roommate and he likes a steak like well done and I can have a steak. I, I oh, no, 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 no. Blue but, rare. Maybe. Yeah. Like, red. Oh, so good. Yes, it's when I, He amazing. didn't know what a blue rare steak was and when I said no, this is what a blue rare <laughs> steak is he was like so it's it's still mooing i'm like no it's oh, really good dude <laughs> no i need you to slap it on the ass and bring it out to me thank you <laughs> yeah you know just bring it to me when it's still alive is that how you it's eat your cow anna you slap it on the ass <laughs> yes let it look at the oven in fear and then bring it out to me oh my god <laughs> that sounds about right i mean the second part is when you go to eat someplace and and I don't know, maybe this is just something I experienced, but I'll go rare for something, or like blue rare for something, and they'll be like, okay, and then I get something that's like, well done, and I'm like... No, I get that all the time. Okay, I every thought it was time, just me. No, every time I go to, I, I go anywhere. And one time, um, I asked him to send it back, because I, I didn't want to, I hate doing that. Even if it's something that is horrible, I don't like to send it back. But this was just not edible, it was like a eating a piece of leather. Yeah. It was so well done. And uh, and then they, they brought me out a steak that was literally, like, not cooked. And I, I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm going to die from eating this, but it looks good, so I just ate it anyway. I didn't die, so... Well, That's a good well, thing. I'm glad That's for that, good yes. news. No death yet. But, <laughs> but I'm hoping someday. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday. But you know, that darn future happens. That future. That darn future. But yeah, no, so, so we both like the same food, we both like the same cook, sounds like a match made in heaven. So. Oh my god, well, we, you know, we I, both like you know, the same, we like raw meat, and we both like physical copies of meat. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm glad the show, like, like no, years later is, brings the fucking one cast one members one together. One of <laughs> <laughs> it's really served its purpose, and I mean fitting, considering what the show is supposed to be about. Oh well, yeah, of course. Right. It's just funny, because it's like, I mean... Jackie, like we we did the we did the screening for the final episode of Anime Expo about a year and a half ago, and it was I mean a, a lot of a lot of the gang had met each other before, like like in like in passing and stuff, and obviously I knew everybody since the beginning, but we all like really hung out and got to know each other like all collectively as a group for the first time when we were all together for that convention, and like by the end of it we we felt like a fucking family, like it was really yeah not, kind totally. of amazing. You, you guys were there. I think you were there. Yeah, Kerb, you were there uh, in, in a hotel, and we were just we were bonding like family. Like it was like. Well, you you stay you stay with guy, me. You stayed with me a couple most nights. Most of my blood relatives in my life. You you stayed with me a couple nights, but then you, I think you stayed with them at, at one of their hotels at one point too. Yeah, it was, it was like one night. Yeah. Yeah, I and we like all got dinner together, and like we went to fucking like Denny's on the last night and shit. It was really cool. Yeah, it was it was great. It was it was uh it was. Like, oh, oh, how best. fitting. Uh, the next donation is a $10 donation from Jackie Florian. 
Oh gosh, did you just get? <laughs> and I'm super I, sorry. I, 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 she <laughs> says, "I'm super sorry. I can't be there today. I'm sneaking into watching the stream in between meetings and voice sessions. But I hope everyone is having fun. It's so amazing to see where Tome has gone and the sheer support from all the fans. I had a lovely fan give me an Eva fan art at Yomacon last weekend. Kerber works so hard to realize his vision, and I can't wait to see what he and his cast do next. Good luck with the rest of the stream. Well, thank you, Jackie. We're sorry you couldn't be here today. <laughs> well, I wish she was here. <laughs> Darn it." Uh, <laughs> And uh, then we have another one. Oh, this is cool. Uh, hi, I'm Purple Squiggly Kip uh, on Tumblr and Metroid Hunters on YouTube. She's donated forty dollars. I started watching Tome a couple years ago, <laughs> and really getting into it. Kind of forgot about it for a while, and then a couple months ago, I decided to rewatch it. I've always appreciated the plot and characters. Now I also appreciate the inspiration it gives me. As someone who hopes to get into some sort of creative field in the future, I was wondering if you could draw Squiggly from Skullgirls and the protagonist from Persona Five. Thanks. I will do that. Absolutely. I will say I was super sad I couldn't make it to the Anime Expo thing. If I remember correctly, we did like E3 and I had another team do Anime Expo and then I had another convention like... I think it was in China. <laughs> like, And I was just like, oh man, I wish I could switch places with somebody else. Cause, <laughs> like, uh, one, I didn't want to go all the way to China <laughs> because it's a long, long flight and I had been long, doing... Like, how long did you... How long yeah. did you for? I was only about like four or five days. Um, at least it wasn't like a two day trip because you get yeah. there, you're jet lagged, you're basically there going bah the whole time, and then you fly back going, what the hell just happened? <laughs> I mean, this year I had 12 conventions in a row, and I was only at home five days out of the 12 weeks. Um, and that was, I, I felt so bad for my cat. Like, my cat kind of gets, uh, you know, she she's cool for, she's cool for like two or three days, but like, once you get to like the fifth or sixth day, she's like, she gets really pissed off at my roommate, and she starts going up to him just to hiss at him and be like, where's mom? Which what the fuck did you do with mom? Maybe oh. do know how to handle this better than we <laughs> yeah. could. People are talking, uh, uh Lauren Bunch says, Hey Casey, is it too late to enter my initials at the end of episode fifteen? Leo <laughs> says, uh Lavering Alpha Beta says, uh the enter initials thing in episode 15 should have said TTA. Well, I just tried to make it look like... It just didn't say ASS. It was just... Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. No. I'm trying to... It was trying to add Bosco right now. Do we need to, like, reset the call again? Oh, no, no, no. I'll invite him in. One second. Uh... One moment. Were you doing a cat joke? Was that a cat joke? No, Bosco! No. They've long since been Come made on. To the public, Please work. Have Might no have another guest on our hands. Oh no. I think I've already added him, I just don't think he's getting No, no, I, I'm calling him into the call now. Okay. Like, instead of control, okay. what if they were summoned now? Oh, why? Oh, why? All right, let's all hold our hands here on the subway because <laughs> we've been stuck here in the dark for way too long. Anybody? Anybody? Why the fuck? Is he on? Yeah, did he message you? Shit. Oh, well, then he's busy, he's on. Not picking up. Wait, it worked now? Here we go. You there? He can't uh -oh. hear you. Can't hear you, dog. 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 I don't like dogs. That's bad experience. Oh. I, ain't I ain't get nothing. I ain't, I ain't get nothing, yo. Bosco, we can't hear you. We have Babber Bosco in the room. But what do you mean you can't hear me? Now we can. Hear? All right, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, how unfortunate. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, <laughs> welcome. Bosco, voice Shut of doubling and skate. Hi guys! How you doing? You are super loud, by the way. I I, well, nobody could hear me. Oh so. my god! Uh, uh, <laughs> that's. Well, I don't true. know what you want me to say. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good now. Nylox bolt is literally the size of his face. It just got bigger as the. It's bigger than his hands. How are you this day, Mr. Bosco? You're missing a Bulls game for this. <laughs> You're missing a Bulls game for this. Well, to be fair, though, it's all about the Cubs. I'm a world champ, man. I can't be upset. That's, that's, that's fair. That's fair. And yet you still have that Blackhawks banner on your Facebook. For what reason? <laughs> Look, I spread it out. I, across my different usernames and Twitter profiles, I have different things. So hence, I have why you, hence why you don't represent the Cubs anywhere. 
Nice I do represent the Cubs more, not Wait, to mention I have all smirks. This is why I cast them as Rakuen and Double <laughs> Just for the fucking record, everybody. Back in like two months, the first thing he comes at me uh, with is Cubs thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what that's what I do. Uh, Let's get Bill Murray in the call, you guys. <laughs> oh, hey, everyone. I'm just... <laughs> In, in in the words of Max, I love me too. That's what I think. I love me too. Uh, yeah, you do steal my stuff. But it's okay. God. Children, we're raising money for kids. Keep your fucking infighting out of my stream, thank you. But it's so much fun! Oh, yeah. And I missed it. I can't, I missed Hey, imitation is like the sincerest form of flattery, right? Also, I think somebody, did somebody in the chat just act actually ask if I really watch sports? Because yes! <laughs> <laughs> that's why, that's why I had the, the, the jokes about- Do you really watch sports? Yeah, oh my like... god. I'm a... Yes, I watch sports. You're a fucking nerd. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm like sports, like Chris is about just random knowledge about actors and things. Well, let's go. Who's your favorite wrestle player? My favorite wrestle player is uh, Magic Jordan. I know this. What about esports? There's an only one type of sports. I was actually watching uh, not too long ago in LA. They had the uh, I think it was League of Legends championship. I saw some of that. I actually um, really love watching it. Uh, I also watched some Overwatch stuff. Like esports are cool. I used to I used to play Halo professionally, so I'm kind of interested. Really? Oh no kidding. Oh well, there you go. Huh. Now I feel like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how dare you, Jackie? How dare you? I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just wanted to finish. So, ba bas Basico, Basico X. Yes. Uh, you've been you've been doing a whole lot of stuff this last year in the voiceover world. I have, man. I can't even yell at 2016 right now. <laughs> it's been messed up. But I can't even be mad. Do you want to? Do you want to plug some things that they could? That the people out there can hear you in. Uh, yeah. If you guys went and saw the Warcraft movie, I was in that. I had the last line in the movie, and I was some orcs and a bunch of other people. Uh, I just had a Marvel movie come out called Hulk, where monsters dwell, where I got to play. Uh, Warwolf and this giant minotaur thing. And it's also, I believe, that's the first time that uh, Warwolf has been voiced. Yes, that I could find if somebody can show me somebody else that's voiced. Cool. But yeah, there's not a lot of Marvel characters that haven't been voiced yet, or maybe there's just a ton. But it's cool that that was I got to be the first one. So that's awesome. Uh, what if I? Oh, uh, I had a, a game or a game that will be coming out soon called Akiva's Beat that they announced. So that if you guys are into JRPGs, you can check that out. But we're not here to go over my resume, are we? Here to watch some episodes of some cool we stuff. We are. We are. Well, this we is can uh, do both. This, this is your last episode. Why not both? Uh, the one that we're watching. This is right a, yeah. Now. Well, I'm sorry that I missed the other ones. I had to go pick people <laughs> up from right. the airport. Uh, um, Were they cool people at least? Uh, they're my roommates, so definitely cool. <laughs> the best oh, well, well then, cl okay. Clearly, whoever it was, it wasn't Xander because you wouldn't have said that if it was. Be perfectly honest. No, it, it was not. Uh, it was not Xander. <laughs> by the way, by the way, I I, I do want to say um so uh I, I, okay so those of you who don't know. Uh, Eric Bosco and Z uh, Xander Mobus, the Smash announcer, and uh, Jason Wishnov, who's the creator of There Came an Echo, a uh, really great indie game, uh, are all roommates together. And uh, Jason Wishnov, uh, who also is the voice of, I have to double check the name of the character. Are you talking in League? It's Nocturne. No, no, uh, oh fuck, what the hell is his name? Oh, uh, Byakuya Togami from, uh, uh Danganronpa. Uh, Jason Wishnov. Yeah, um, he, uh, uh, he has an Oculus Rift, and he was actually, fun fact, very kind enough to be the one uh, who uh, allowed me to come to his and Bosco and Xander's house and record using the Oculus Rift for the live-action joke at the end of the AVZ yeah. short that just came out yesterday. That, that was, I wasn't sure if that was a PSVR or Oculus Rift. It was an Oculus Rift, yeah. And, yeah, that's a, that was a cool little twist on yeah. it. I wasn't expecting that. So, uh, so yeah, I, I had him come in for that and it was really cool. And then, um, uh, uh, fucking the uh, English. Um, let us part ways I can't think. Okay, oh yeah, well, uh, Bosco, I put in the special thanks because he was in the presence and just kind of stood around while I filmed things. 
So. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. I also, I'm just I'm watching the, the chat and I love that they're on like a delay, yeah. so I have to respond to stuff late. But yes, I finally got to play a werewolf. But I've been playing werewolves for years. I was a werewolf with Mac in a Halloween special like six yeah, years ago. On, like on Newgrounds, yeah. Yeah, y'all need to get on board. Like, so. come on. <laughs> just a little shaky. It'll be okay. Don't worry. Sorry. So yeah, episode things are happening. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it's mostly just been the bulge. It's mostly just been people talking yeah. about what, what, what did bulge. I walk into? Bulge, what is this bulge? <laughs> I locked bulge. Look at Sorry, it, dude. Look at I, I kind of started. Uh, no, you didn't start it. I drew it. <laughs> Don't take too much credit <laughs> oh, for that shit. Didn't pay any attention to it until I said, "Wow, Nylock has a very big bulge." Yes. Oh. And we're then they gave it to me. Oh, 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 well done. We're getting into the. We're getting into the sad. The sad Everyone part noticed now. nobody was seen. That was raccoon. This is, uh. So th this was. This, we spent a lot of time on this. Like a lot of time on making sure that this was absolutely perfect. Um, and the initial plan was for me to be like, oh, I knew it was you all along. Ha 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 ha. At the end. Oh, that's right. Well, yeah, then, that was when we, we had a little bit this. of a different thing going on. Uh, yeah. well, that, that was when we were possibly going to have Raccoon be there for the final battle. Like, he was going to be teamed up with Odd... Or not teamed up with Oddball, but, like, he and Oddball would both be, like, gatekeepers in the fucking debug headquarters or whatever. Uh, mm. But then I kind of abandoned that idea, and we just decided to focus on this kind of... Just this arc instead. And, and yeah, and but, then I, I pitched that idea of, hey, what if they fight and they don't be friends? That could be something, yeah. and it was something. And it was, and it was... That's so sad. So sad. It, it defined the crap out of them, so it was pretty cool. It was good. What? What? I so, am so proud of, of everything okay? we did with, with this, and how many this. people we made cry. Yeah, really. I, I, see, that I, was the best part. It's because it's relatable. Like, <laughs> I think everyone's had a friend where you, you were so close, and then just something happened between you two, and you just kind of... Oh, yeah. You just couldn't anymore. And, and, it's your, and, and when it's your fault, and it's and you, like, have that regret for so long. Well, the thing yeah, is, like, no. it's, it, it, the thing about this is neither one of them is completely right or completely wrong. It's, like, both of their faults, which is what makes this, I think, work so well. Yeah. It's true. It's truly a tragedy because they were super close, and they really didn't realize what they had in the other person until they didn't have it anymore. Mm -hmm. and so they both end up being very unhappy, granted, for different reasons, but it inevitably ed led to their split, and then... Yeah, who knows if that's repairable? Like, mm -hmm. it's, it I think be. that's that's yeah. actually my favorite part is there wasn't really any resolution. You don't like right. sometimes you just don't get a resolution to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. like that's how it happens in life. Sometimes things go wrong and you don't get that closure. Mm -hmm. It was nice knowing you. But yeah, no, Mac absolutely killed it as Raccoon. Like he made my job easy because oh. like literally anything I say off of that guy is gonna be funny. <laughs> Said that for like a day but I mean, it's it's it's, it's, it's the emotion. So many little things that make it work too, like the the fact that you're kind of dipping in and out of the skate voice occasionally, mm -hmm. and 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 but Rocky is just so angry he's not even noticing. Yeah, that. yeah. He might, he and, might, I mean, he might have had a if he was more focused. You know, he would have had uh, he might have had a moment like the way Alpha did in the last episode where he puts two and two together about Curb and Zeto. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, just real quick, by the way. Uh, Twenty dollar donation. Hey, Kerbin pals, long time fan for most of you guys. Sorry I can't stay for the stream because I have a show to play, but just wanted to say you guys did this reboot justice, and I cannot wait for your next big project, blog, game, and voiceover. Can I get a drawing of the main cast and the usual character poses with the subject? Hang in there, Z. It's for my me. surrogate brother, and I know you'll lift well, you his spirits up. Hope it. all of you wonderful peeps have a great night. Uh, I can't draw the entire main cast, but uh, I'll, you know what? Because I've drawn. Um, uh, Alpha and GC. So, so far, I'll draw Flamey since Ed is here with us. Yay! Yay! Cool. I love my character so much. <laughs> so I also love her. And so does Tumblr, apparently. Uh, apparently, all of yes. apparently all of Tum Tumblr is super attracted to Flamey. Yes! Dude, I don't know what it is about my characters, but like, Tumblr loves Haley and Flamey and it makes me so happy. because they're hot. She's looking. And it's, she's a badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do things. I would do so many things. <laughs> uh, game Chris, you can't do things. Wait, that's weird. That's me. <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not I can imagine doing things. <laughs> that's like terrifying. Stop it. That's terrifying. It's so present. You're so on the mic. <laughs> it's so pre It's like in my head. <laughs> Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Things to you. I'm in your head. I'm in your Jesus Christ. I don't think you I'm the one who knocks. 
Oh my gosh, get out! <laughs> get Go away! Out. That reminds me of an old manager. I need an yeah. adult! <laughs> I am an adult! <laughs> oh, that's what I was worried about. I did, except this is on an even bigger scale. Yeah, sounds dangerous, which is why we should probably just stay out of it. I can't! Also, again, late on the chat, but yes, I play sports. I, feel obligated to prevent from again. I do I play sports. To, I ah! No! <laughs> Oh, oh by the way, this is this is one of the for, for myself. I, I'm very proud of this game too. This 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 little this little fight between Alpha and Curb. I'm sorry. This is I think some of, some of the some of the best performance. I think performance. I finally just hit puberty. Some of the best performance <laughs> I think Shady and I Get have done. Get some sweet tea. You'll be fine. I, I really love how much this scene echoes the one that came before. It. Oh yeah. No, honestly, I I think that having yours ahead of time really accentuated it. I said I don't blame you. But I'm willing to do this no matter what happens to me. Why you gotta just like tear our hearts apart? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the funny thing about Mother Scratcher in particular, when you when you put that in in the first episode, like that's one of the very few things that you wrote in episode one that I didn't change somehow because you really wanted me using that. I'm like, it's so dumb. Yeah, no, I know. I'm I'm like, would you would say it that. <laughs> And then, was, I made it into the most, it. and then I made it into the most emotional beat of yeah. episode 13. Well, okay, and so it, the reason I wanted to use it, so the whole the whole thing was that doubling was was a, was a, like, sailor mouth cursing motherfucker, and Raccoon was a good little Christian boy, quote-unquote, who, uh, who never swears. Um, and, uh, um, English, sorry. Uh, and, um, so I, I thought, okay, what kind of, like, dumb replacement curse words can I use for stuff? So I decided, oh, I remembered Mother Scratcher was a thing that Bib Big Bob Pataki from Hey Arnold said when he, like, broke his back one time, and he was, like, screaming in pain, and he was like, Mother Scratcher! And I'm like, you know, that's so ridiculous that I think it's hilarious because it's so cringe-inducing. So I thought, oh, that would be kind of funny if, like, Raccoon said that. And and then it worked, and then it became a fucking plot point. Even even better is the fact that I hated it so much that I never used it again after the first episode, which is what made it such a great callback. Hey, he the person, the only person who could know that is somebody who was around in the first episode. What have I done? <laughs> Can you please explain to me what the deal is between you and me and Newton? Well, we went to the same high school. In our senior year, we were partnered up in a computer program. Um, All right, friends, I got a jet. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, bye, J Jackie. Thank you so much for coming in. All right, nice bye. Yeah, you. glad you could join us. Yeah. You know, it was nice talking to all of you guys. If you want to catch up, just feel free to bug me on Twitter, or Skype, or add me. Yeah, just wait, our wait, Facebook. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, tw yeah tw you do the tweets with the but, Twitter and oh, in the stuff. Oh, I've heard you know, of that. That thing you use for posting Chicago Cubs. Update. Oh, that thing! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, I'll use that thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah our, our Instagram. Any, any of those. <laughs> so if you guys have anything to promote, let me know. And uh, bye to the chat. Thank you so much for all the love and everything. And um, really quick, I'll, I'll uh, pimp out my YouTube channel, which is the basically this account. Sure. This account. Um, I kind of just started, so there's only like a thousand followers, but I gotta... Is it viral if it's like over 70,000 in like two weeks? Is that like viral? Uh, that's pretty okay, I would say. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't know, but I have that, so... Um, anyway, thanks, thanks so much, and, uh, you know, catch up with me later, guys. Alright, bye, Jackie, thanks again so much. Bye, bye. 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 So, uh, Shady's gonna be back in in about 20 minutes. Uh... <laughs> Ben Ew. Diskin says that he might try to come if he gets the chance. Ew! Um, oh yo, my god. Yeah, he also said that he might try to join the chat too. Hey! Da, 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 da. Um, and I am seeing about another guest who said that he wanted to come in towards the end. So I'm seeing about if I can get- you'll see. Clearly it's a secret or you would've said it. Can you guys see me just fine? Huh? More importantly, can you guys hear me just fine, or? Oh, hi! Hey, wait, welcome back. I have met you. Oh, yeah. oh, that's good. Oh, it, it Hello. is for you. What up, yo? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Pretty much everyone in the start of the call is still here. Crazy. Oh hey. Why don't we 
I don't with the cat and what's up? Jesus. Come back. Oh, so here's a question that a couple of us could answer. Uh, they said a question for Bosco. How much fun did you have with your odd sensors? We had a lot of fun. I, I said all kinds of cool stuff. That you Actually, didn't you like post some of that in the bloopers, Chris? Yes, I think all of Bosco's... Uh, uh, censored lines, uh, what he was really saying underneath the, the bleeping, I believe that that is, uh, I think that that's all in the episode one and episode two blooper reels, if I'm not mistaken. So you can go, uh, you can so go that you should that totally out. go listen to that. Yeah. Uh, we have another, okay, let's next donation. Um, we have a, where am I? Oh, I'm on page one again. Hold on. Sorry, one second. Uh, Here we go. Uh, $40 donation. I was wondering for the two characters if you could draw my Digimon duo team. Oh, Bosco, you came in just at the right time. One of the characters oh, is an original character I made, which I have the reference for. The other character, the Digimon's name is Gaomon, and you could look him up on Google for reference. The only difference between the original is that he's smaller and has a custom champion belt. All right, cool. I will do that. You. Myself, and a few of By some so some vid game guy on Demeanor who asked for this. Some vid game guy. Neo Mutant hops like a little bunny. Boink, boink, boink. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't oh, feel like boing, giving him a fucking boing. running animation. <laughs> That's the only cute thing about it. I'm gonna vote on the call real quick. I got stuff to do, so have fun with the stream. Oh, okay, okay. see ya. <laughs> Sorry about that. How dare you. How could you? My heart. Delete the call program before they can start it. By the way, how dare you even how dare say you? How dare you? is like an adorable bunny. <laughs> well, there's nothing okay. adorable I about him at all. I am personally offended. Because Neo Mutant's an asshole, even though his voice is silky smooth. <laughs> even though he has the beautiful oh voice of Chris Guerrero. My god, he's cute. Dude, that voice though. Yeah. That voice. It's okay, but Alpha can have a sexy voice too when he tries. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like everyone in this chat has like a really awesome, just like buttery voice. It's not like me. That. Buttery. No, yeah, definitely not Chris. Oh no, not not Chris, of course. <laughs> I, I I he attempt. He has to be here. I attempt when I when I voice Zeto, but it's still it's it's not it's not. It's just no, not. I think it's really well for me personally. It's like old like a, butter. I love it. Yeah, it's like that. Was, you know, butter. you know, like when you go in for like the milk and it's just like yeah. Bosco. Just, just, yeah. just oh, shut sorry. the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris, Chris, it's for the kids. No. <laughs> no. Fuck you for the kids. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Do it for the kids. Do it for the vine. I ain't gonna do it. Do it for the kids. Ah! Uh. I ain't gonna do it. Do it. Game, get out of my head! I'm in your head. Nothing you can do about it. Literally the worst. Get out. <laughs> you literally. Sounds like a schizophrenic nest. like <laughs> conversation you're having. No, get out of my head. Bring a sofa on your mind. Lay down on it. <laughs> but maybe it's not entirely. <laughs> I need Randy Orton's song to try and make up. <sighs> Let's finally put this on So, Bosco, do you have any fun tone memories you want to share? Anything from. I'm looking at like, the chat. <laughs> what now? Oh my god. Oh my god. Chris, old butter knee. Oh this is great. Thank you. Casey, what have you done? This is amazing. Um. Sorry, so yeah, had... so I, no, 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 I remember this one time we were all doing a, uh, an anniversary charity live stream and Casey was talking about your voice being like old butter and like that was hysterical. Um, <laughs> but beyond that, probably yeah. my best memory from Tome is actually when we got to go to AX and do the whole premiere of the last episode and the place was packed and they were turning people away and like it was just, just to see how many people that you had touched with this entire thing was just really cool because it kind of put it all in perspective like oh wow this thing that we all oh wow this, this to... shitty cartoon actually wasn't that shitty <laughs> yeah, yeah like people actually when I was hearing... there is you don't realize how many people it has affected in a positive way until you until that event until you see all those people smiling all happy uh to see the people that brought this together you don't see how it's affected people until you see them so it's yeah. really amazing it's honestly really strange, especially seeing people like all the way out here in North Carolina where there's like no one. <laughs> like, and they actually enjoy some of the work 
that you have done, like, in tone. It's amazing. It, it really was an honor. I, I, I know I was fucking around a second ago when I was like, oh, she's cartoon, but I mean, like, cause the, the truth of the matter is, like, Tome isn't amazing. I would I would never, like, talk myself up, like, I'm like, oh, man, yeah, it's so good, or whatever. Like, I'm very proud of it, uh, you know, but but I, I don't I don't think, like, super highly of, of like, most of what I do. Um, and not even like a self-depreciating way, it's just more of like, okay, I know that I can do better and I, I want to push to do better in the, in the first place, but nonetheless, the fact that like, it, it, the, re the big reason why I'm, I'm so appreciative of anybody that this show, or anything I've done, you know, even in past home specifically, um, you know, it's because it's like, wow, like, the fact that you even put in any time to like, an, an emotional investment into wanting to check out this thing that I created and it actually meant something to you and you like these characters and 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 you know even more so not not that this like makes them better fans by having these kind of stories but especially when I hear stories about like oh I was like you know having a really bad time in my life and and you know watching the show like helped me find solace and like just kind of made me comfortable I, I had a message actually sent to me I think earlier uh, either earlier today or maybe yesterday of a fan saying hey uh, I met uh, one of my really good friends through the fandom of the show and they prevented me from killing myself when I was going through a really oh, bad time oh. and and even and you know I, I don't take credit for that at all but the fact that like okay this show got these two people to be friends and if they hadn't been friends I don't know if that person would have survived I would hope that they would have but I don't know, and the fact that like I played any kind of small part in something like that, like really, really, it, 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 it's it's what like you know, because about a, about a year ago around this time, I, I was going through a really bad time myself, and I was more depressed than I think I've ever been in my life, and I had to get to a point where I'm like, why am I doing what it is that I want to do? And I probably had a lot of extensive conversations with a lot of you guys about that too when it was when I was feeling that way. And I eventually reached a point when I went home for the holidays, and I was like, no, you know what, the reason that I, 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 I choose to be like a storyteller in animation and, and do all this kind of stuff is because I care so much about the impact that I leave on the people who make time and, and emotional investment into watching and, and enjoying what it is that I make. And, you know, and that's why, like, in the future, like, you know, whatever may come next, whether it's tone-related or otherwise, um, you know, I, I want it to be something that even that pushes the envelope even further than what we did with this show. You know, even more relatable and emotional and and like impactful things that happen with these characters, uh, with any characters that I make that you know will be will be remembered and just or not even if, even if they're not remembered, honestly, because that's not what it should be about. It's not about like the selfishness of like I want this to be iconic and famous or whatever. It's just like. If this show, in a bunch of people's lives, at one stage of their lives, was some kind of positive influence, and they really enjoyed it, even if, like, later on, they're like, eh, that, that web show I watched back in the day, it wasn't really that good, whatever, but eh, I remember watching it, and it was kind of cool at the time, you know, that's fine. If it cheered you up at some point, you know, and, and like, it was some kind of, like, that was a nice thing, and I really liked that, or whatever, even something as simple as that. That in and of itself means the world to me, and that makes. Can this I just whole... say? Can I just say how wonderful it is that you're telling this inspirational story, and underneath it we had like, there's we just like in just the background. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was thinking the same of all the time in the entire yeah. entire series to have to have that kind of talk. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably like you picked the perfect time. Let me just. Well, say. Yeah. No one understands all that better than Oddball. Yep. <laughs> Oh my god. So what are we uh, to do, huh? I've got another so four pictures to take of uh, we'll these commissions. Thank yeah. you guys. Uh, I do believe we have reached uh, we have reached the fifteen hundred dollar mark on our donation. Oh which wow! The goal that I set. Oh, right. uh, you you know, guys, keep, right. keep, keep it coming. I am hoping that we can get uh, more guests. I'm waiting to hear back from him. Uh, out of curiosity, since we're on the topic of charity, did any of you guys, by any chance, participate in the Extra Life stuff? Like the gaming marathon? Oh, yes. Did you... Last weekend, I helped uh, some call me Johnny with his uh, Pokemon Master Race, uh, which was really nice. fun. That was a, that was 28 hours, which this is... this is. Oh, don't even... Ooh. Dude, we did we did 36 in San Francisco. Oh, that's right. I just got that's back right. from that trip. Oh, 36. dude, I'm sorry. Did you ever call me about the thing you wanted me to do for that? 
Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, I'll talk to you about that later, but yeah, no, it's all good. Like, I didn't... My body is still recovering. <laughs> I did some really dumb well, how fucking but, hey, it's clever Flamey is for figuring out the oddball thing. Good job, Flamey. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Oh, is Edwin around? He should be. I'm sure he's around. He'd be like, bitch, come join our chat. I'm gonna uh, reach out to him. Get your stink ass in here. Your stink. Whoa, <laughs> <Don't> stink whoa. <it. laughs> whoa. Whoa. Edwin is uh, another guy who. Too much? Uh, not only was in the the original uh, TV Tome Adventures, but he actually reprised his character from the uh, the the series ten years later. Did you guys see the commission he just got of like his characters at the microphone? Like I thought it was great. Oh yeah, I thought it was great except about the fact that he didn't have Giga in there. Oh uh, well, shut up, you. <laughs> no, it actually was really cool. That's Edwin Chiang, Omadon. For those of you who don't know. I was a little surprised and, di and disappointed he didn't have Kim Jong Krill in there. I love that guy. Oh, that is that was such a good character. <laughs> well, I hate terrible funny character, but Edwin does a great job. Edwin is hysterical. <laughs> I hate him. Destroy the core. Finish what we started. Uh, people want to know where Mr. Billany is, Chris. I assume he's. Oh yeah, for those of you who don't know, Martin is away at a convention with his lovely wife Mariana. Uh, they couldn't make it. I did play a. Um, I did play. Uh, a, a little clip from him earlier today that was uh, Nylock talking about the, the charity drive and everything. Um, that'll be archived in the final recording if you want to go check that out later on. But um, yeah, but he, I, I wanted to have Nylock say something cool. So um, I had to uh, do that. Chris, question for you because apparently I'm Mr. Chat Guy right now. Okay. Uh, somebody is trying to donate, but apparently PayPal is not working for them. Is there uh, we're not way using they... PayPal. It's uh, it's through the uh, the Child's Play link. That is in the description of the video. Uh, I don't know if that also means that they're using PayPal. I don't know if that's the case. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm sorry. I, I don't quite know what else to do if that's the case. I, 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 I can't help you. But no problem. What you want to do is you're going to want to put $2,500 in an envelope and send it to <laughs> Edward Bosco at blankety blank. Care of blank. Edward Bosco. <laughs> and I'll make sure Chris gets every dime promise oh here's some cool fan art check out uh triforce riku on tumblr they did some like theoretical season three designs with oh no i can't look at those they might give me ideas for the season three that's never <laughs> happening sorry guys <laughs> no that's really cool you started humming that just when I went to Graham Norgate's Facebook page and he did the music for Goldeneye. Oh, yes! You hum that literally as I clicked his name. Well, clearly we're stuck in each other's heads, that's fine. I, I, I think, uh... It's meant I to find. Be. I yes. find. Oh, here we go, got some more donations. Uh, let's see, $20, uh, I love you and your work, not to sound strange, but if we had known each other, I feel like we could have been great friends. Anyway, keep up the great work. The character I chose for my sketch is Lena Inverse from Slayers. She and the series are my absolute favorite. She's awesome, because she's played by Lisa Ortiz, who is also awesome. Nice. Alright, is everyone ready? I'm in uh, apparently everybody wants season three, Chris. When's that coming on? Never. We're not doing season three. Sorry, guys. <laughs> No, I'm, see, I'm, just, yeah, I'm being no, serious. We're not doing it. Sorry. You, you just released season three yesterday. Yeah, that was totally. Season three. That was that was season yeah. three. <laughs> just that one short. That's it. Uh, how much do people donate for a sketch, Chris? Is that all the all the information at the bottom of the video? Yeah. Okay. Why did you want? So it's twenty dollars. It's twenty dollars for one and forty for two. Correct. Yes. All right, well, there we go. Bam. Oh, I, I might actually have to do like a like an extra stream, like maybe I don't know later tonight or tomorrow or something, because I'm gonna I'm gonna have a lot more of these to do. I guess it's just us now. It's okay. We can. You're gonna be busy for the next two uh, months doing I commissions. Can, if you if you do a short one tomorrow, I can jump in. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Me too. I actually. Somebody says Casey. Oh, hey. Somebody says. Uh oh oh oh! Hold on. Uh, by the way, uh, Heather. 
Heather Pettigrew, Ben Diskin's girlfriend, is uh, in the chat listening right now. Wait, what? Oh my god! Wait, oh, what? Say something. Mermaid sisters. Hey, you're the cool chick. Hi. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh my gosh! Neomutant what in the world? Lying about our antivirus program being able to take on the forbidden power, but our only objective is using it to finally erase that awful thing permanently. <laughs> now that the weapons design is complete, its power source is in place. Nothing will get in the way. Also, Special somebody said Casey is a werewolf. Send her to Bosco. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Casey is my no, werewolf. No, hey, Casey. Y'all are crazy. I, I, have, I, have a, I have an idea about something we could talk about. I was thinking about this earlier. Um, oh, wait. My scream is coming. What? Oh, oh yes. Yes. Hold on. Sorry. I'm so excited. No, no, no. no. Yeah, no this, I want to hear is, it. Actually. Is this something you shouldn't be revealing to fans yet? No, no, no. <laughs> no, it has to do with you. Oh, okay. Uh, wait a second. So, Matt, Hold on, shut up, shut that... up, shut up, shut up, Oscar. Oh, Hold on. Okay. Ow, ow. <laughs> Step. I'll get you later. There we go. Turn up the volume for you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry. What were you saying, Oscar? Oh, I was going to say, uh, somebody suggested that Mac and I should sing. Uh, anything you can do, I can do better as Raccoon and Dublin. However, we kind of sort of did something like that. That's great. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, sorry. Somebody also, uh, a couple people actually, suggested that we should do um, what the theoretical reunion between Raccoon and Dublin would be like. Oh, uh, that's it's basically kinda, gonna that, be that's what happens go when you come over. It, listen, listen, Mac, here's what we'll do. When you come over for Thanksgiving, we'll record that and be like, hey, look, it's them in real life. Because <laughs> I know what's going to happen. I'm going to put some turkey down in front of you and be like, hey, Bosco, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> also, did you cook this turkey? It's terrible. I should have done it myself. Awful. Why, are you, why are you bad at life, Bosco? <laughs> Here, let me show you how to make cornbread. And fish without mustard on it. <laughs> hey man, my salmon is delicious. How dare you? If you say so. It, it, hey, look, man, when you're the only person that don't like it, that's your fault. It's Cadget. <laughs> Everybody's favorite shadow. Oh, it is Cadget. Shadow card beasts. Yeah. He's so not I'm, actually I'm curious, here. What just were the... you going to uh, uh. suggest? Kind of... Oh, oh uh, okay. So actually, I, I had something I thought would be kind of cool because I actually have gotten this question a, for a lot. And especially after Anime Expo, I feel that this would be cool to talk about. So, a question that I have gotten in the comments a lot, especially when Season 2 started, was a lot of people were like, Wow, Game Craze sounds really different now. Uh, and in fact, some people actually thought that by the time we got to Season 2, that Game Craze might have even possibly have been played by a different actor. Oh, wow. Um, and now, well. obviously... Uh, game we call that voice, talent. Game crazed voice did change slowly, and, and part of it was actually intentional on my part because I wanted to kind of shift GC in more of a um, you know. Uh, right, well, we we talked about that where where game crazed was getting a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, and it it kind of reflected a lot of uh, what was actually going on in my life. So that was kind of a coincidental happy accident. That yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I guess, do you, well, for those, for those people who either were not at the panel, uh, and might not know about this, do you want to talk about, I'm assuming you know where I'm going with this. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's totally fine. Um, yeah, if, if anyone was wondering why, uh, it's because I'm trans, and I was starting to transition, uh, a couple years into Tome, and that was around the time, what, like, season two was just... Uh, yeah, no, we I actually, I think it was, I think it was before we did season three, because wasn't it like, uh, it was like 2013 or 14, I think? Um, pro probably, yeah. yeah, and, uh, it was just like a natural change in voice, and I could still do that, but it's just, I don't know what it is, I didn't think that anything like that could change, but it can, absolutely can change a little bit, and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, so that happened. Uh, well, it was it, it was it was funny because I guess in a way it's like when people are like, oh the GC's voice actors change and I'm like uh, yes but not to a different person. <laughs> <laughs> Ch uh, there's a bit of a metamorphosis. Yes. But but no and and it's and it, I mean not to like novelize it because obviously it was it was a very important thing in your life but it it, it worked 
actually very well. Uh, it, it worked very well to, um, you know, how uh, the show itself continued forth. Uh, especially with the later kind of reveal of Softy and everything, it was like, wow, right. this, this and, is... Right, and if that was something that you had actually had all along and didn't write in because of uh, my situation, then that is, like, uh, my transition being beneficial to the show in some way is, is kind of uh, immortalized, in a sense. Um, you know what I mean? If that makes any sense, yeah, like no, that, because well, I mean, that's not that, something that's gonna happen again. You you don't make that change every day. No, and, <laughs> so, and I mean uh, even even like uh, and on the I, panel too, like I didn't know you were gonna do that. I don't even know if you knew you were gonna do that. It just kind of happened. I, I I mean no, I I hadn't planned on it. I was thinking like, well, if an opportunity came up, uh, but I said that there's not gonna be any opportunities, and uh, I was like, well, I I should probably say something now because this is my one chance. And, uh, and, they because... and the, ro the room was fucking applauding. It was amazing. Yeah. Oh my god. P people stood up and applauded. <laughs> I was like, what? This is the most insane Yeah, dude, that whole, that whole room was standing up applauding. Isn't that right, Ben oh, Diskin? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey! Oh no. no. Hey, hey. Hey. Go Perfect on. timing. <laughs> Alpha was just screaming in agony. <laughs> 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 what up, Ben? How you doing? Pretty good, man. How's it going? It's going good. Sweet. Are you are you in, are you still in like the mood of that that fucking Sailor Moon thing you recorded? Like, hey guys, I'm Ben Diskin. I'm really oh, nice. Watch up. the movie. <laughs> Dude, that was like weird. I know. I was like I was like right outside when you and when you three were recording that. It was so funny. That's right. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Yeah, that was weird. Um. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ben Diskin, and I'm Fiole. Wow. Yeah, and, and apparently they're having us, like, re-record it because they told us to pronounce it Fiole, and then they said, Oh, no, say Fiore. That doesn't sound right. You fool! <laughs> You've ruined yeah, so everything. everybody's coming back in to re-record that. Uh, oh, okay. goody. Say. <laughs> oh, goody. Uh, oh, oh uh, also, we have another donation. Hello there. I hope you're doing well. This is from Christian. The amount of time and effort that is put into each episode, whether it be the animation or the voice acting, is amazing. I'd like you to draw my favorite video game character, Crash Bandicoot, and include a link for the reference to you. Crash Bandicoot! I will do that. I've heard you. of that guy. That Thank was, you. uh, he was- Dude, a, he's my like favorite, Sony uh, Skylanders character. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hey man, don't hate on Skylanders. I'm in that. I'm oh, good you. for you. Oh, good for you! <laughs> How was it? <laughs> I don't think he's serious. The sarcasm was missed. <laughs> no, 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 I, I got it. I'm just sitting here smiling. You can't hear my smile. Yeah. <laughs> Smiles <laughs> are not typically audible. <laughs> before, before I draw, before I draw, Crux, so, so we're gonna go over six o'clock because we're starting on the final episode now. Um, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can reach out to the, the, the little super special last guest I wanted to bring in. Let me see if I can get him one second. Did you Respect reach Edwin? Uh, Edward is busy, unfortunately, so uh, he's not going to be able to. Ooh. How scared is he? Uh, I will be back. You guys entertain the chat for I'm a so sorry that I'm busy right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Matthews, you're late for school. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, is that you as Dark Wolf? Huh? Oh, okay, it is yes. you. All right. Yes, yes. Who else do you think it is? Well, I wasn't sure who they had on this podcast, and it, I was like, hmm, well, there's a... Well, you know, bottom of the barrel. He scraped me up. Oh, gotcha. Well, oh, Max here. I'm still, I'm still, I'm yeah, still, yeah. Oh. How's it going? I was Pretty holding on by a crumb. Cool. Oh, come, like, Christian, curb, Chris, did Chris just leave? Because like, now they ask him questions when he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> also, Chris, way to go looking at your chat, stupid. <laughs> stupid idiot. Dumbass. <laughs> stupid. He, you know what? He's going on the list. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah. the list. Chris Neosi, you just made, you the, made list. the list. <laughs> okay, I'm back. All right, uh, welcome back. Guess, guess, guess will be in uh, before the stream is over, so they might be like tail end. I have Jug Girl. I have totally blackmailed Chris with that shirtless pic. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, why does my torture never end? No, Chris is not gay. The virus disappeared. No, but my life would be a lot easier. I think. <laughs> yes! my, 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 oh. my love life would be a lot easier if I were gay. If I were gay. Uh oh. 
We have a new player. Here comes a new challenger. Oh, snap. Yay. Ew, not that. Anything to do Hey, Shady, welcome back. Hey, Dave. Hello. Hello, hello. We have, uh, we, have a, we have a Benjamin Diskin in our midst now. Why? By the way, oh, is that Chris, right? Chris, while you were gone, the chat had a question for you. Oh, what's that? How did you record the audio? Oh, uh, for me? <laughs> Wait, well, I, mean, I think just in general, like, how did you? How did this happen? Oh, uh, I, most of the time I directed all of uh, these fine folks on Skype. Um, but uh, I, I recorded it actually a lot of different people's plays. I recorded... Uh, a, a lot of the, uh, the, of the a couple episodes at your place when you were living with uh, Sarah Williams at the time. Uh, I recorded I recorded a few episodes at uh, Joshua Tomar's house, and uh, I recorded I recorded the last couple episodes at Ben Diskin's house actually, which is where the infamous shirtless picture came from. So, the, dude, to summarize, for those of you guys going like, why do I have a picture of Chris shirtless? My booth that I record from is uh, completely. There's no airflow whatsoever. It's a sweat ben, box. Ben, you don't have to explain it, mate. It's all right. We get it. It's cool. All right. You yeah. don't need the excuse. This is just look like. No, no, Ben. Couch, it's cool. It's, it's, We're it's all not. friends. No, it's all right. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to give the illusion that I that I actually like am his his gay husband. Like no, knows I'm very are. accepting. It's cool. We're all oh, cool. Don't worry. <laughs> we're, we're all yeah, behind we're you, all Chris. You. Yeah, it's a safe space. <laughs> safe <laughs> safe <laughs> space. I knew, <laughs> I knew you would. Oh, by the way, oh, this is this scene right here. This is another one that I'm I'm super proud of because this was a long time coming. And Shady, you did really well on like Alpha losing his shit over like. I can't believe you lied to me for 16 episodes. Shady knows how to scream. <laughs> I know how to make it scream. You know how to make me scream. No, no, this was a lot of fun to work on. Yeah. It was, uh, recording this episode put me out for a few days, though. It destroyed my voice. You also the had the cops needed. called on you. I think, uh, that was very true, yes. Well, Officer Pibbles was very nice to talk to, actually. <laughs> Wait, was that really his name? No, I'm just riffing. I don't know. Oh, I can't okay. remember. <laughs> Wait a second. You know, actually, Even I'm curious. Even your cop names are British. I, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, what, what, are, uh, what are all of your guys like? I, I, we've talked about a lot of them already, but uh, like one that hasn't been mentioned yet. Uh, other favorite scenes Jesus, or Anna. things from uh, from the Wait, show. Are, wait, what, what's the question? Our favorite what? Fa favorite favorite scenes, characters, favorite songs, well, we just saw anything one of my from the show that like you like, that you really enjoyed like particularly. Uh oh. Uh anything Kimlin got to be in. It was hysterical. <laughs> they were just Oh like, yes. He was so good. Shady would agree with you on that, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> Anybody um, else or no? No, nobody remembers anything about the show we worked I'm on for five years. Look, Chris, I'm trying to think. I also don't know what you guys have said. Uh, no, I'm not talking about. It. You already said something. Everybody else is just like. My favorite part was I got to be a really nice person. Oh yeah, no, oh, yeah. You, were, you were really like, like one of the <laughs> friendliest characters. The friendliest character in the show. Oh, yeah, oh, bitches! Oh my, god. oh my god! You know, you know. Fun fact, by the way. So I actually, when I was writing season two. Uh, I actually thought for a while that Ben was going to be the voice of Bitrum, uh, not the least of which because, haha, number two, Net King number two, and kind of what I envisioned him sounding like. Um, but uh, I, I had promised that I, I wanted to work with Todd for a while, and I promised him a part on the show. And for some reason, I, I, and I rightfully assumed, uh, you know, Ben would probably be more comfortable with playing a character who is a disgusting sailor mouth piece of shit. So I'll give him Oddball, and I'll give Todd Bitstrom instead. And oh, good uh, guess. Wait, kids, as, as, we, as we talk about cursing and being an awful person, remember, this is for the kids. Yes. Uh, if you'd like That's to right. donate, just go ahead and click on the link down. Cursing for the kids. <laughs> yes. this, is, uh, this is the charity for, like, kids who've been tortured by a doll that came to life, right? That is yeah. The, yeah, the, uh, the yeah, we'll go. What is yeah. it? Child's Play. Yeah, the horror movie. Yes, I'm yes. sure absolutely nobody has Am ever I made really that joke first before. Am I really the person who made that joke? Really? In the entire stream? Wow. Yep. I'm sure, no, well, probably because a billion people have been making it for years because charity, because fucking Child's Play has been around for years. You douchebag! <laughs> Casey, you're off the hook. He's the worst. I control safety. Cross Bandicoot. All right, finish drawing Cross Bandicoot. Uh, you drew, you did that up. whole drawing just right now? Yeah, I've been I've been tweeting them. Dipshit. Uh, next one. <laughs> Sorry. Next one is a twenty dollar donation. Why do you hate? Like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw GC and Softy and like. 
He's like, so I, uh, I I went to the store today. By the way, the drawing's done. Check it yeah, out. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, what? The next donation is from Stanley of the BBS podcast. Just wanted to say it's awesome that you're doing this. I love your work, and I'm interested to see you draw my OC Zap in your style. Keep on keeping on. And in, oh, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Keep on keeping on. And in advance, thank you for the drawing. Cheers. And here's the reference. Thank you, Stanley. Much appreciated. Cheers. Okay. Oh, Jordan Lasko, uh, one of our other background artists and the animator of Kajit, uh, the, the giant monster, not the musician, and uh, the dragon bug. She couldn't make it after all, but she sends her love to the chat. Uh, there's a question for Shady, if you will indulge. Shady, go on. Uh, have you ever tasted the glorious heart attack inducing well, fluffiness of a hot pot? We've been through I this! <laughs> I have not, unfortunately, and I need to. I know you're absolutely in really Let me ask you a question then. As a child, Mr. Swift, uh, yes. when is the next yes, time you will be in the Americas? I don't know. Preferably as soon Bosco, as possible. Bosco, I swear to I God, like you, you are not feeding him that garbage. Tell uh, listen, I feel oh, like it is my duty as an American to let him taste the no, hot pocket. No, I will not. I will, I will fucking. Look, I'm going back just to the England soon. So yeah, just the tip of my hot pocket. Of them. That's that's no. the America I want and love. <laughs> I, I, there you I'm go. sure to give you some. From the beginning. No, Casey, I swear to God, you better not. No, Casey, let's get, let's tag team. We can, we can do this. You will never, Dude, you will never I, I taste that garbage. We'll, 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 we'll make this the authentic experience. Do you know Don't you understand that I'm trying to protect him? Do you know how many have you had people that can fit in Here's what's going to happen. No, no, we'll, we will make it the authentic experience. We will wait until about two or three in the morning. We will get really, really tired, have the munchies, go to 7-Eleven, buy the nastiest Hot Pocket, Yep. Warm it up for like a minute, yeah. and then feed it to it. <laughs> Don't forget that's the how you do it. Don't that's, forget the that's the experience. Really his prodigy, seven, six, but have you had and then like once he tastes, and then once he has a hot pocket, he will go never, go ever, ever want to again have a hot pocket. No. <laughs> that's true. I'm not even taking it like, no, it's like vaccinating it. Like, because like his body will be used to the pain. It's like, no. Never again. It's the hot pocket. I won't, I won't ever it. let you. Try one. You won't want another. <laughs> Hot pockets never again. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I can't fucking believe I had to draw Alpha like dressed as a box of fucking Hot Pockets for the Halloween pictures this year. I yeah. thought that was just an, an inside desire that you just you going put no, on the No, because the, the fucking people in the chat were like, oh, do the Hot Pocket box. And I'm like, I'm going to kill all of you. I'm not going to feel bad. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't been able to notice by now, this segment of the anniversary charity stream is brought to you by Hot Pockets. Yeah, no, Hot Pockets. Not, Never again. We're not Never brought again. to you by that <laughs> disgusting <laughs> ass garbage. Diarrhea for your mouth. It is like diarrhea for your mouth. Warm gooey. Oh, by the way, the Shady, did you see the picture of, uh, of, of Alpha dressed up as Jaden? I saw that, yes. Aren't you proud of me? Can't disobey one of your <laughs> Uh, I expected hey, it, really. Hey guys, we're, we're just about to hit 200 viewers again. It's it's climbed back oh, up. Shit. Oh shit! Oh yeah. Check oh, it. Of course, of course Nobody it's been was in this. So long. Oh yeah, and Shady's here. Planning on using me yeah. for was for the greater good. I thought you were the popular. By the way, I do want I do want to give credit. If you're watching and you didn't like this video, you hate us. I I want to I want to give credit and also. Uh, make fun of Shady again. What else is near? Real quick, uh, for okay, doing okay, great, yeah, for All doing right. a great job on the sound design of the, uh, the the short that we put out, the ABZ short yesterday, which was done about 72 hours ago. Oh, did you draw the sounds in this? Did I did I draw the sound? <laughs> yeah, he said you did the sound design. I don't know if I can draw it, but I did something. Bosco, that was a swing and a miss. You could do better. <laughs> Sorry, I still got two more strikes. I'm good. What a real body would be safe. Clever. Look, man, 11 out of 10 people have trouble with practice. Yeah, you know, oh, man, you know yeah, that's right. Too. Everyone in the chat uh, is saying the password was uh, Game Craze. I remember uh, at the premiere, everybody gasped. Yep. And there's someone in the back who said, oh, did you see that? The malicious <laughs> and that, Oh, my and God, I remember that. The, that the, shot, like, yeah, the shot where it was, it was the two voices layered over on top of each other, they... Freaked the fuck out. I honestly, yeah. I, whenever I go, uh, this is the actually the first time I'm watching this episode like with the normal audio because every time I go back and watch 15, I always, always watch it with the recording of the audience reaction from the from the panel, uh, and it makes me cry. every time, every single fucking time without fail, it makes me cry, like every time I watch it. It, it gives me the chills, and it's you know. 
Uh, oh, we have a, <laughs> oh, here, a little comment, $5 donation, so I can't contribute a whole lot because of my situation, but this is for a good cause, especially for one of my favorite shows that I kept up with since the very beginning, and actually one of the shows that I got a lot of my friends and even a few uh, professors into. Tome's a good show, and I'm happy to contribute to keep it still alive. Cool. Battle on. Awesome. Uh, and then, oh, this is cool, this is, Mac, I think you'll know who this is, uh, from Mew Cake, uh, Cake is fine. Uh, oh, wow, I'm not good at talking. Yes, you are. Shush up. Anyway, could you draw my OC Amber? She's quickly become one of my favorite characters I've Still created, and I would love to. Ha and I wouldn't have her without Tom. Well, Here's a reference. Right now, New Cake has drawn a whole now. lot of Flame Girl fan art, uh, Anna, on Tumblr, and she's a big fan of that character. So she's a she's a, a beloved Tom fan in my eyes. Cool. Love you, Cake. Thank you, Cake. Oh. Everyone in the chat's like, I want the audience reaction uh, version. All the upload, yeah. Hey, Ben Jamin. Yay. What is your favorite moment and or character and or thing from, from Tome? I was asking people. And don't worry, there is a right answer. Um, I would say my favorite performance by far is Tony Campbell. I don't know where you found that guy. He does a <laughs> fucking amazing impression of him, dude. That's like, that's such good casting. Oh uh, man, see, if only you were around for the entire thing, you would have known. That, I, that I hope joke he comes back for the next here. season, personally. Uh, I don't think he is. I hear he yeah, retired. See, I, I heard he got priced out. Like, he's, he's doing like triple A games. Right? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Yeah, him and Troy see, Baker. I, I hear, uh, I, I, I hear, I hear he and, uh, and Matthews are good friends, actually. Man, let's be real. Right now, nobody's doing AAA games. <laughs> oh, that's don't right. fuck it up, oh, Bosco. <laughs> don't bring that shit in here. Save <laughs> that for the fucking joke. picket lines. <laughs> no, 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 Ben. Do you have like any like favorite characters or episodes or moments, anything like that? Um, I think it's probably it's got to be Kimlin, just because like <laughs> yes! in real life, she's <laughs> such a like reserved, quiet person. Yeah. So, like I love hearing her just freak the fuck out Whoa. in this show. Well, because you know talk to her and she bit you can like you're like I'm sorry, Kimlin, I can't hear you. What was that? Like, and then and and this, she's like, I will rip up your fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real Kimlin. That's, that's, that's the real Most of y'all don't know. Gr Granda, Granda is just a vehicle for her to release her true self buried deep underneath. Awesome. Uh, yeah, everybody, yes, apparently yes. everybody fucking loves Granda, so. Also, yeah. Also the question well, is, yeah, I have played like Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, like... yes. It's an amazing... Amazing experience. Yeah. Everybody great, needs to play Conquer. It's an amazing so experience. Not, not the greatest game in the world, but an amazing Look, experience. Look, man, I don't even care. I'm there for the dialogue. Let's be real. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Just perverse There's, world. I mean, great, in. great. The the great mighty poo pretty yeah, much I makes mean, it. Great God, mighty poo, and I'll throw I'm my shit at you. Dies a weakling, right? Shady did a full cover of that one time. I believe yes, I did. Supply of tears comes from my chocolate starfish. How about some scat, you little twat? Oh, by the way, See, real I've quick. I've seen the videos, but I've never played it. I've never played it, but that's kind of the same thing. You, you, it, at this point, yeah, I'll take it. By, by the way, real quick, uh, uh, fucking huge shout out to the illustrious Andrew Francis uh, of, of the Vancouver voiceover scene for uh, guesting, doing the speaking voice of the Forbidden Power for a couple lines in this episode, and uh, being the other half of Forbidden Virus. Power? The, uh, of uh, also being the other half of um, Virus Fusion Alpha's voice with uh, him and Shady uh, mixed together, this got a huge cheer in the audience when uh, when we showed when we we like zoomed out so showed Virus Fusion Alpha, people were fucking going ballistic. But oh, uh, to answer the question, yes, GKND is dead. I'm sorry, Crash Bandicoot fan. Oh, to answer your question, it's unrelated to Tome. But it's dead. Well, somebody has to watch the chat. <laughs> You're not ruining this for me, kid. Chris. Yeah, Chris. I'm fucking drawing so things for people. That's Draw, fine. We can monitor, Draw. talk to Some us. Some host you are. Seriously, you can't do everything? What's wrong with you? Come on, Ramirez. Not really. Fred. Ramirez, yeah, do everything. Damn. Oh, by the way, uh, this is a good one. An unknown uh, contributor donated $25 and asked for Rock and Archie Rick and Morty style. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't do both because because that's not 40, but uh, Max, should I do uh, Rock or Archie? You should do both because I already contributed and asked for the exact same thing. Oh, okay, well, perfect. Then I'll do that. Yay. Beautiful. <sighs> Must be nice to be able to draw. Somebody wants to know how yeah. Shady's voice was after all the screaming. I think you said you were what? You were out two or three days? At least, yeah. No, Kev, you ran me now, into the ground. Was that every time you shit. screamed or just after the last episode? 
Uh, it was the, the last two episodes that required a lot of screaming. Yeah, the, the, la the last two were, the, were like the most brutal, definitely. Yeah, yeah, and we did that in one session, I believe, recording 14 and 15. Oh, you're the worst, Chris. <laughs> It's for the kids. Uh, <laughs> it's for the kids. Hey, excuse me. At least, uh, Morty. Excuse me. At least I, for Anna, I was I was kind enough to save the fucking death screen for the very 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 end of her session. So. Yeah, but I did it in like three screams. I think. What, what, no, you, I, think, I think it was only two. Three. Only two. Chris, you asked me to give you like nine. I know. <laughs> and yeah. the truth comes. Well, that's because I'm perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't um, do nine. You did like right, three. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Look, Shady, if you were just good the first three times, you wouldn't have to ask for nine. That that's Look, true. I that just have more practice point. in screaming. Just okay. Just because Are you not listening either? Hashtag performance Your matters. Girlfriend. <laughs> 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 ben, Ben, you have the best timing. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we're at uh, 211. 211. 211. Yeah, I think that oh, is good. Wow. Look up. We have almost drop. 400 likes. Can we, can we get nine more? Yes, we can. For the kids. Hashtag, hashtag can we do play. it? Yes, we can. Puede. <laughs> can we do it? Uh, yes, we can. <laughs> oh Quiet, Brock. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do. China, China. We're gonna go after China. China. We're gonna no! do it. Hey. No! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm almost done drawing Rock and Archie. Yeah, Rock and Archie, rocking it out. Hey, technically, I should get another drawing because I donated enough for two. Okay, well then I'll draw oh. you something else if you want. Okay. okay. And uh, you want me to draw uh, doubling as Mr. Meeseeks? <laughs> um, I was not thinking of that before, but I am now. Oh, good. Well, <laughs> glad I've got. I'm the one why, with all the good Mac, ideas. Mac, why do you do this to me? Oh wait, right, hold which on, character? Hold on. Would, okay, you can. Oh, pick no, no, another no, no, wait! Everybody, shut up. The kid, the big kiss is coming. I gotta raise the volume. Oh. Up. Oh. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking great. Oh, so you don't want to be a Meeseeks. You can be something else. No, I've decided he's gonna be a Meeseeks. Okay. Well, I don't want you eating that hot pocket. Uh, I, I want to eat that hot pocket. pocket. Fur <laughs> affinity, fur affinity. Oh my God. <laughs> Yet again, surprise enemies. Oh Lord. So yeah, the the big kiss was another thing that the crowd went absolutely wild for, which I was very happy oh, yeah. about. It's so gay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is, and I love it. It's so it. hetero. My God. Um, <laughs> And then this this little bit at the end with Kizuna also broke a lot of people's hearts. Kizuna. Um, she, she was a she was a tragic character, but def, definitely one of my favorites. You're just gonna read my mind. Did someone say for affinity? That is <laughs> not. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say jack right shit. It's all <laughs> Christmas. That you're the real threat. Was it Bosco or was it Blake? Sick and produce another killing I don't know. All over he's the he's the one with the it wolf icon. <laughs> You're the one with the fucking lion icon, I was gonna say, she's the guy with the cartoon <laughs> lion. Oh, do I still have that one on? Yeah, oh, you wait, do. never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Mine's at least thematic to Halloween, you jerk. You could have taken him away from me. That's my reaction. My icon is my reaction to you. That's so cute. Uh -huh. I know. Can people actually see the icons? No, no they can't, so they're, they're oh. basically just talking nonsense right now to the chat. So, so then, Kerb, uh, let me just ask, why do you have, like, an angry, poorly drawn hamburger as your icon? What's it's <laughs> <laughs> I you know was working too, but I thought it would just be best not to ask. Yeah, he's, it, it's, yeah, it's a burger. It's a bur burger. Yeah, Chris you, Chris, you need to join the theme. It's an animal-themed thing. Nope. I mean, even Max and... Oh, nope. Burger fur? I, li I like my burger He's a, he's a raccoon. <laughs> yes. I thought you were going to say he's a rat, and I was about to, you know, fly over there and, and, and kill you. No, you're not, you're not a rat. Well, you're going to be doing that soon anyway when you come to visit, so it's okay. Yeah, I know. I just would have gone oh, early. Oh. <laughs> Quick, call him a rat again so he'll get here earlier and we can hang too out late. with him more. Too late. Damn it. Too late. Oh, too late. Merry Christmas from Mario and Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are so stupid. When we you get back idiots. home, I'm going, to murder, I'm going you. to murder you. Oh, Luigi. 
Bunch of the Who drew the uh, the uh, anime styled uh, uh, Zeto versus the border? Yeah, I was wondering that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mentioned her earlier. And you and on on uh, on Tumblr. Uh, she also did the um, the cover art for the Tom Orchestral Song uh, Collection uh, CD oh, yeah. on, on her Bandcamp. She is exceptionally talented. Go check out her uh, her Tumblr and Uh Hey Chris. Yeah. But it's asinine. Uh, the chat wants to know how was it directing Yuri? I was really cool. Uh, I directed him over Skype as well, and uh, yeah, he he pretty much got exactly what I was going for with everything. I mean, you know, he's a constant professional through and through. Like he's he's like one of the best in the business, like undoubtedly. And uh, and he yeah he just got the character immediately. He got that kind of like I'm a nice guy, but I clearly got an agenda, and I'm kind of an asshole, and like. I think we also did all of his lines all in one big like hour long session, and uh, so it was kind of it was kind of interesting having like all of his stuff together uh, in in one giant thing like well before we were going to be even close to the last couple episodes, and you know certainly with this, this stuff at the end. Um, uh, to follow up on that, the chat wants to know how you were able to get the voices of the Net Kings to be a part of the show. Uh, honest to God, I asked them and they all said yes. It was as simple as that. Uh, there's no Wait, big so story about how I got Wait, so them and they said yes? Yeah. This yeah. is a concept. Um, well, but no, honestly, like, I, I, the, the only one that had, like, more of a story in terms of, like, having to go out and try and get them was, uh, was Mona Marshall on, um... On uh, on Bishop because she was kind of a special case, but everybody else I had basically met already, and they were all interested in doing it, and they were like, "Yeah, it sounds like fun," and then they did it. Ben Ben was the same way. So. We chose to acknowledge Softy as a sentient being. Well, I mean, basically, just said I could swear a lot. Yeah. And so I. So what else? What more do I need? I don't know. You can swear a lot. Oh. Son. Great after at, after hanging out with Chris, I always want to swear. This is a great outlet for me. Cool. <laughs> That's right. Well, there you go. And no amount of fame, money, or place in the history books yeah, can outweigh that feeling. Yeah, that was uh, thing. What living the high life performance matters. Oh, shut up, Ben. <laughs> Every time you say that, I'm taking a shot. <laughs> Casey, you better watch yourself, Ben. <laughs> oh, you want to start the alcohol now? <laughs> you know what? Uh, no, because there's kids watching, but it's for the kids, though. So I guess. Hey, so to, an to answer this question, no, there's not going to be another season. But Curb, as a fan of Mega Man Battle Network. What is your favorite game in the series? Mine is six. That is from. Uh, well, I do uh, like six. Uh, probably three. I like I like Battle Network three a lot. Um, you know what? Actually, here real, real quick, I do I do want to address this because well, no, actually, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll wait till the end actually. Um, but uh, well, it's, well, we've got about ten minutes left because we've got the rest of this episode and then the the short, which I'm going to play too, and then we'll be we'll be wrapping things up. Um, yeah. I'm still waiting for Guest to show up if he is going to. Um, yes? But, Guest. Oh, Jesus God. Christ. Yes. So, yeah, I'm still waiting for Yes to show up. Um, but, uh, <laughs> He's my favorite actor in the whole show. Uh, are there, I love are there, yes. uh, I, I don't know, any other, like, things about the show or anything that you guys want to share? Hi, Sayo Pan. Sorry, I'm down. I get the joke, Jacob. I get the joke. Yeah, good job. Uh, Chris, are you planning to do anything more with Balancing Act? Oh my god. These are questions I answer in the stream. God, why I shouldn't have you in charge of the fucking stream questions. Yes, I want to do Balancing Act as a movie someday. Sorry. Hey, Chris, 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 it's almost like when you stream for a couple hours, people need to have stuff repeated because they weren't uh, here before. Shut up. <laughs> Heaven forbid you have to answer a question. Shut up. Oh my god. Lands unknown. Welcome to being the boss. Welcome to Chris, who's your favorite? <laughs> what? Who's what your favorite? favorite idea? Oh yeah, who's your favorite? My oh my oh of like of tone characters? Yeah. Uh, no, just just who's your favorite? Oh, in general? Oh. <laughs> yes. In this uh, chat specifically, who's your favorite? Yeah, who's your favorite? Oh, I, can't choose I don't want to be a part of this. Yeah, yeah Dad. One. Pick a favorite. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah, come on, Dad. Uh Do no, it. I love all my children. Shut up! You're not my real dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just my. It's probably Mike Lucas. I mean, well, the best one a, you got. He's always gonna that be is my the favorite. the safest answer you could pick. <laughs> Mike Lucas. Uh, oh, here's a good question. Here's a good question. If you guys could have voiced a character that isn't yours already, who would it be? Ooh. Uh, and a, a, a character that that, that, oh, that would be oh, of my own Lucas, creation and not some question. other pre-existing uh, character. Nylock. Ooh, I would love to hear you as Nylock. Well, Casey and uh, Casey and Blake were both in the running for Nylock. I, I was considering both of them when we were doing the show. I would have wanted to play Kerbifer. 
Yeah, yeah, so that would turn out real great. I remember when Bosco first saw the concept art for Raccoon, and he's like, "That character looks like a wolf. I should be that character." <laughs> <laughs> I was sticking with the typecast. It's not my fault. Dude, your typecast Actually, to me was playing the devil. So really, you should oh, yeah, have been Demon true. King. I, I could have played Demon King. No, I actually, I would have picked Alpha. Dude, if I could fuck off. You would, you, you would be like, I could have played any character because I'm Edward Bosco and I'm really good and I can play anybody. God, I mean, gotta look, go just, watch just, my sports. Uh, just because that's true, Chris, doesn't mean out, I wouldn't like pick. Saying, you are all my children. <laughs> do it for the vine. Oh, here's, by the way, Casey, your big speech, your big softy speech is, is playing right now. All oh, right, right. The metamorphosis. Uh, my avatar. Yeah. <laughs> Can I also comment that this episode nearly killed me with sound design? I frigging loved it. It was amazing, though. You did a great job. Oh, I know that I'm it came not, out I'm great, so but I didn't Jesus. Have sound I hate sound design. is so annoying. It is. Hashtag performance matters. <laughs> Shut up, man! <laughs> Hashtag sound designers matter. You know what? That is another shot. I'm <laughs> doing it. <laughs> yeah. Can't we talk about you know calming, less divisive things like uh, like politics? No. Oh God. No. <laughs> no. 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 And if you do, I will kick you out of the fucking call. She was willing to sacrifice herself for us. Just take a minute. In fact, I think all this. Now just pure silence. Good. I'm glad. Um, we're all just like, oh, I'm sad. The chat is getting emotional <laughs> though. They, they're saying that they Good cried. Job, the chat. That's okay. John, still a lot. we're at a bit of a crossroads here. Uh, they're wondering if Shady still has the sound department shirt. Needs to be oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. That Remember that? Yeah. Uh, the, so the, when we were at AX last year, uh, a bunch of the fans actually sent us a whole bunch of. Uh, like, they sent us like, they sent us a um, a box full of like a whole bunch of really cool stuff like art and like messages to us and like plushies and and t-shirts and things there were some debug org uh like hacker t-shirts with the tiger lily symbol on it which was really cool i love that yeah should be an official thing why isn't it yeah it should be yeah oh uh, now we're in the ending credits thank you navarro yeah i hope it's just a rumor <laughs> Marco Diaz, Kanye is not the best option for president. I, I think that Garfield would be the best option for president. I'd love to see that. Please let that be the last fucking president joke. I can't take it. Number you did mean me, right? I've gone the whole day without really even thinking about it much, and I feel pretty good. Yeah, let's let's. I actually have an not Like, can we please keep that? I don't want to fucking end this. I'm down with that. I'm I'm down with that. Yeah. God Almighty. We're gonna play the uh, the ABZ oh God, short. There's so many after people in the chat. I can't. Well. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There's like 250 people watching on the chat. Yeah. Actually, uh, well, hey. Over, like, you guys, please oh. stop asking Chris how big his dick is. <laughs> yeah, seriously, guys, don't be. I mean, like. You think we're joking? Like, I'm scarred from it. Like, like ten times is getting creepy. <laughs> Look, I saw it. Oh no no. <laughs> oh. And I'll leave it at that. I thought it was so cool during the um the the live. Uh, viewing of this, when he deletes the email, you collectively People heard like, oh. everyone go, oh. Yeah. yeah, that's why I did it. I saw it and I was like, oh, no. I'm just here uh, hey, and, Chris. Uh, yeah. I don't even you, know you. So, oh, no, far, finish so your story, Matt. Uh, they, they laughed at uh, Oddballs, I got something you can suck on, and then immediately they started going, oh, wait, that's mean. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, no, Chris, ben, you ben have... your character's got one hell of a belly button. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think he has my hairstyle, too, doesn't he? That, he does I mean, a, a really exaggerated <laughs> version, if you want to put it that way. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, I do believe we are finally now going to be joined by uh -oh. our last little extra guest as we're finishing things up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, man. And it's oh, Scott. It's Santa Claus. Oh, God. Oh, it is Santa Claus. Is, oh, oh it's no. going to be Tony Campbell. Is it Tony Campbell? No, hold, shut up for a minute. Hold on. Come on. In. Hopefully it's Edwin. No, it's not. Hold on. Simulation. Fucky <laughs> cat. Fucky cat. Fucky cat. I don't want to have you, but you still need a simulation. Fuck you, Cartman. Ka. Ka. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And also, here's the live action. Uh, 
Hey, hey Chris, bit. do you have any more animation uh, projects you want to do? Oh my god. Bosco, I, shut I, up! Uh, Jesus Christ! You were so bad at this! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking you questions. I'm asking you Why questions, isn't it fucking all. work? God damn it. And now I got technical difficulties again. I'm trying to uh. bring in the guest and Skype is being a whore. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Curb agree. I might, I might just, I might just have it like go beyond, yeah, like yeah. after we're done hi. with this, the short, because I want to have him come in and hi, say hi. Our guest is Derek VOA. Welcome to the show, Derek. I don't know who that yeah. is, so don't say that. <laughs> Welcome, dude. Oh, fucking goddammit. Welcome. Sorry, I'm trying to I'm get this to work. I don't know why me. Skype Thank isn't you. letting me bring it in. I'm on board. What? <laughs> yeah. What's your first policy? Uh, my first a special policy. guest is Greg Sipes. Hey guys, That's everyone get everyone get the world. Guys, ready to be here. Chocolate milk for everyone. Yeah, I like chocolate milk. I can support this. <laughs> so my name is Vic Mignana, and I do alchemy. No, <laughs> I just want to say that I was very blessed to be a part of this show. <laughs> Thank you. No, no, Gus, I cannot do my Venom voice because it's two voices layered on top of each other and I'm physically Good. Wait, you what can't do two voices at once? Yeah. You're the worst. He's oh my god, favorite. noob! What? Oh no! Oh, I thought I had it on here. Oh well, you know what? Hold on one second. Okay, I apparently I didn't have the video file, but I'll just pull it up in a window and play it this okay. way. One second. Here we go. Over here. You're using OBS, so you, yeah, you should be able to do here that. Here we go. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna play it this way. Hopefully y'all will be fine with that. Y'all. <laughs> the comments. Christ, what have we done? This is for the children, but I feel like we've also corrupted the children. I'm not That's crying. I mean, it's we have late. to save our it's the children. On my face. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's about time. Excuse you. Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. Why is a fart making me laugh? I'm so fucking challenging. I think this is the perfect note for the for the codex to stand on. Chris, what do you think? Have we done better now? Are we more mature? I don't think he's listening. No, I'm not. Because <laughs> I'm also trying to get this fucking nonsense over the Skype. Oh. And I'm playing uh, short. Too many people in here? Do you, you need somebody to like me? No, we have more people in the floor. That's, that's Ben suddenly suggesting that he wants to bail. We're starting the call. That works. <laughs> What'd you do? Because I'm trying to see if it works. Oh. <laughs> well, Blake, Ben's still here, so there goes that theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he only, he's only here now because he feels guilty about me. <laughs> he called him up, he's like, Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got him, Ben. <laughs> I fucking see through that shit. Don't try and wing one under me, motherfucker. <laughs> You don't you don't have to be here, dude. You can go if you want. Yeah, no, well, I will stay in the body. Oh no, like, you have look. to now because you're on he's stream like, no, and you're I have no fuck they got don't me. Understand. Really? The front kick? I have no other people to talk to. I I'll just stay. Don't go home anymore. That was getting butt kicked. Also because you guys are starting the call site on the notification, I was like, oh shit, stream's still going. That was getting his front kick. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Did you make your room a mess intentionally, Chris? That looked disgusting. That's not my room. <laughs> it's not his room. <laughs> well, how come you just didn't make the effort to clean it? I, it's not... Why did yeah! you fucking yeah! fuck Gross. Artistic integrity. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see the comments of the video of this on the YouTube channel, Chris? Everybody was like, wow, that's what Blake looks like? That's totally different yeah. to how I remember yeah. him. <laughs> really? Yeah, everybody was confusing me for yeah, Mike. No, I had to correct a lot of people on that. 
which, speaking of which, I'm trying hard yes. to get this shit to work, and it's not, and I'm sorry that I'm ending this on kind of a shitty note. That if, fucking... the, if your guest is using an older version of I Skype, I already have reason. tried to go through that too, I know, but <laughs> oh, it's... sounded okay. like a Skype bot saying that. If your friend has tried to use a younger version of Skype. <laughs> younger version? Yes, younger. Oh, no. Computer. Out of here. Shut up, Tombstone. I don't care. Alright, so by the way, guys, uh, we finished. <laughs> So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yay! Oh, we ended the stream by talking about a bunch of inane bullshit. No, All right. Hey, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just try calling him on the phone and do it over the speakerphone because fuck it. I don't We're almost done anyway, so, all right. All right, sounds yeah, yeah. good. Ladies and gentlemen. Just keep asking you questions, Chris. Shut up, Bosco. Like, actually shut the fuck up for two seconds, please. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, yes, sir. Shout out to Heather. Are you on? Hi, everybody. We had difficulties, but here's Mike Lucas saying hi. Hi, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi, hi Ultimate Creature <laughs> 2. Mike Lucas. I remember walking with you in a parking lot. Mike, Mike Lucas was very kind to record uh, against his will, but but as a favor for me, he reprised live action alpha at the... Uh, at the end of the short that we put out, uh, which was very nice of him. So thank you for suffering through that for me, Mike. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, uh, we're, we just finished up, and uh, let me let me even pull up the... Uh, we're, st we're still alive, but... Uh, we raised in total... Uh, let's see. We raised $1,700... 17,000... 17, sorry, Jesus Christ. 1700 Whoa, seven, Jesus. Shut up! Jesus, Jesus fuck. Oh my god. $1,728.45. There. I did it. Oh my god. Hey. English is dead. Yeah, so... Yeah. What's that? Throw it in the chat. It's going like, say my name. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's seeing you all. <laughs> um, I guess as we're finishing up and it's been five years, do you have any... I don't know. Do you have anything to, to say or share or anything at all? Or... Uh, nothing really comes to mind. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that's okay, because nobody can understand that's, what he said. Good job, Mike. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> well, well, thank you. I, I mean, I, I said, I've said this countless times, but if you hadn't moved in middle school and kept in touch with me on a fucking forum, and we hadn't happened to have been into cyberpunk shit at the time, the show wouldn't have been made. And also, considering you inspired and designed half the characters with me like 15 years ago, so, thank you for that, and also for just fucking suffering through me filming you at the end of the shorts. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing an echo of myself from his fucking speakerphone. Good, great. <laughs> anyway. Power through it, Chris. Oh, okay, well, no, they're, they're not saying anything important anyway, because I made them all be quiet. No, because you're oh. more important. Somebody oh. asked who my favorite is, and I said it was you. So. We found his favorite. <laughs> That's the favorite. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> anyway, yeah. all right. I'm going to let you go. Porn. Say goodbye to everybody in the chat. Yeah, goodbye, everyone. Give, him, give more money. <laughs> give more money. Yeah, give more money. <laughs> give money. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Money. Money. Bye, Mike. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, anyway. All right. Um, <laughs> Here, 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 guys. Uh, so, so, question. Um, so, obviously, I've got, I've got a lot more of these to draw. Uh, we, we dipped into like a third page. Should I read the rest of the donations uh, before we, we go out? Absolutely. Uh, I feel like that would be fair. Okay, actually, yeah, in fact, that, let me that, see that real probably. quick. Uh, I'm gonna link this to you guys in the chat. Uh, let me know if you can see this, uh, and if, and uh, and we can trade off reading a, reading a bunch of them uh, with each other. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Can you guys see this? I have to sign in. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? Here, let me, uh, let me, I'll, I'll copy and paste them, and then you guys can read each of them. Um, okay. Sure. But, uh, let me go back to where it was before. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, $20 donation. Shady, go for it. Hang on. I'm waiting for it to kick in. Okay, there it is. Uh, I've really been enjoying the stream. Tone is so fantastic. I've been getting one of my friends to start watching it. My request is my Bulbasaur. Lynn, here's a reference picture. And we have a Bulbasaur with 
goggles and vine webs. And I'll do that later. I'm gonna do all of these oh, later on. I apologize if, if it wasn't done yet, but I will. I will have them done. This one, gee, I wonder who wrote this one. Why don't you read it? Because you're here. <laughs> 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 Because the world needs Rock and uh, 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 Archie from Rodney Jamal Rockwell. Hey, Ken and real name of Rock. That's a dumb name. That's a, That's a dumb really name. silly. Uh, silly. Hey Ben, why don't you read this one? Hi Curb, happy fifth anniversary. I have a quick question. Which episode was your favorite one to animate? As for the drawing commission, can you either draw Nylock with a Yu-Gi-Oh dual disc or a dark slash evil version of Nylock? Thanks from the King Mickey on Tumblr. Oh, nice. oh, oh, perfect. I didn't even do it on purpose, but wow, Kingdom Hearts reference. Uh, my favorite episode to animate was 12, and also I really like doing the April Fool special because it was very easy. Uh, Anna, you do this one. Hey, Curb! Big fan of your work, especially with Tome. I had donated ear- <laughs> Shut up. I had donated earlier, but I don't think I had an account associated with the previous donation. But I felt like donating again because I love what you're doing for sick children in need. I was wondering if you could draw my kinda original Mega Digimon in some cool pose you can think of. Uh, I call him Legend Geogamon, and this is the best I can do for a reference. It's Gaogamon! Gaugamon. I'm so sorry. Gaogamon. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Casey, why don't you do this one? I did shots. <laughs> do your best. <laughs> Come on, Casey. I've watched multiple times and love it. A uh, story, I am playing a tabletop RPG right now, and my character has a speaker that can access the internet of the past. So we have an in-game soundtrack that is the Tome soundtrack. So if you can draw my character, is that Davis? Uh, that would be amazing. Uh, and reference. He's a black cyborg with metal as shown in the image. Grappling hook hand, heroic nipple speaker. <clears throat> Am I reading this right? I did have yes. shots. Crimson yes. sword and red crystallization over one eye. Kate. Beautiful. God, you read better than me sober. Uh, Bosco, you, you take this next one, sober. Uh, okay. From Double G Goomba. Hey, Curb, nice to see another charity stream for children's play. I have donated to this cause many times in the past, so here you go, buddy. Awesome. Yo, Av, how about this one? You take this. Woohoo! Yeah, I can do something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's Hi, Curb. I watched Tome ever since I was young, during the era where you only had sprites to work with, and I adore how much passion you put into your series ever since you rebooted it! Qu uh, exclamation mark. You have truly made something great with the series. <laughs> the character I want is Let. Let the let let sorry I'm stupid <laughs> from the Fire Emblem series cracking her knuckles with a battle ready smile. Thanks a bunch and an image of the character. Uh, excuse me, Yoav, as a huge Fire Emblem fan, that is pronounced Leitha. 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 Shady, you take this. It's regarding the your son. <laughs> Shady, take this one. Oh, me? Yeah. I got out in the middle of a bloody drink. I go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you guys are not I'm even getting get a drink. This is stream and Everyone is drinking. <laughs> I'm just drinking. Wine. What you've done, Chris? You've driven everyone. I to didn't drink. fucking do shit. Go ahead. Uh, you got to by the end of it. It's the only thing keeping the buzz going. Yeah, great. Happy <laughs> Tome anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy Tome anniversary. I'm slowly showing my girlfriend episodes of Tome. She's heard all of the music because of me. And she seems to be enjoying the show so far. So yeah. For the commission, here is my character Scarlet. She's from a game I'm making right now, Cafe Mild. I'm probably saying that last. I don't know how to say the last one. Cafe Mild. Uh, ben, take Ben, take this. Oh, we oh we know this guy. Take this one. Hey, Curb. This is my character Pepper from a comic I'm working on. I'd love to see how she looks in the tome style. You're a huge inspiration to me, and I'm looking forward to your future projects, Jolson. Bye. Thanks, Jolson. Uh, Mac, you take this one. Devin uh, McIntosh. Uh, yeah, I'm just scrolling down. Here we go. Uh, hey, Curb, I want to be a game developer, so Tom has been a huge inspiration. A vs. Z was incredible, and I can't stop thinking of game ideas after watching it over and over. For Season 2, you drew my penguin character with the big eyebrows as a background character. Funnily enough, named Alpha as well. I'd really like it if you drew my other penguin character, who will be a main protagonist in my game, Zeer. Or Zeir. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks again for being awesome! 
Oh my god, dude. Pronunciation I just, matters. I just realized that it's Alpha versus Zeta and it's A versus Z. You're I an never idiot. realized it. Oh, god. yo, I'll take this one. <laughs> Bitter on the times of TTA will be around for anything else you make, Chris. Always love, but as for the sketch, um, something Link and Zelda related, not something, not super picky. Oh my! He's uh, not a picky guy. I like him. Oh. Hold on, give me one second. Guy, girl, uh, uh, it's his bud. Shit! Oh, God, sorry. Copy paste oh. with this keyboard is difficult. Sorry, give me. Okay. I know it's hard to compute. Uh, <laughs> you're actually, uh, do, you'll have to do this one too because it was short. Okay, uh, 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 I want the two character sketch commission of my OC Lana Moore reference image one and reference image two. Uh, getting mentored by Goku from Dragon Ball Z through staring similar to these, but it's it's, it's, it's like um, I guess, I guess it's, you've oh, done your job. Thank you. Okay, Casey. This <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, um, a friend helped me with the design of this original character that I call Shepard. Uh, I was really wanting to, I was really wanting to hope that I could have you draw this in your own style. Okay. Uh, whoever, I just sent you a question on Twitter. Whoever, okay, uh, I will have to go look for that. If I miss it, uh, do me a favor. If you're still in the chat, please uh, email me the details because I might have probably missed it on Twitter. I'm very sorry about that. Um, Anna, you take this one. Okay. Thank you so much for making a great series that has inspired me to become an actor and that has expanded my creative creativity to a new frontier. Tyler Sells, my commission is my brother's Naruto OC. His OC has two hair bangs and an average length ponytail. He wields a katana that generates black lightning. He wears a white long sleeve shirt with a vest over it. He also wears leather boots. His OC... His OC is a little egotistical, but can be serious sometimes. His character has a great sense of humor. Bosco, you take this one. Uh, all right. <coughs> mm. Hello, Curb and gang. Enjoying the stream. Thanks you so much for the years of inspiration and entertainment with this fun series. That includes TTA, of course. Anyhow, here's my usually grumpy yet springy OC. If you could, comma, would have him jumping forward for a punch. And there's a reference. Thanks again for everything. Uh, carrot, you carrot, dash, Zerion G. Yo, Zerion G. Zerion G. I'm going to take this next one because I know this person. Hi, Chris. This is Raven Wolfie 97 on Tumblr. I don't know exactly what to say, but I'm loving the stream and I extend all of my love to you and the cast and your guests. For my request, I'd like to see you draw a tone fusion of Alpha and Zeto I made named Omega. Again, thank you all so much for everything you do, and I'll continue to support you along the way. Thank you very much, Raven. However, the canon fusion of Alpha and Zeto is Alpha Zet. So if you don't mind, I'll probably be drawing a tome version of that instead, and I'll probably even save that for the last one, because since we didn't get to use that in, in the show, uh, I'll, I'll have that in there. So, yeah. Um, and uh, only a couple left. Uh, Shady, do this one. Heard from the stream that you can donate more than once. Here's the extra five because this is on a gift card. Thank you guys again for doing the stream, and I'm so glad I was able to contribute not only to Child's Play, but also to you guys' experience with the final care package. Seeing you guys enjoying the plushies from the videos made me smile every time I watched them. As for the sketch, can you draw Demon Alpha from Season 1 scarf outfit in a cage? Ooh, that's Taylor Stevenson... <laughs> Oh, uh, slash page, Moonlight man. Chronicle. Taylor, Taylor made us the plushies, <laughs> and, and and that we got in the box. So, oh, you go, guys. oh, oh yeah. Stop. yeah much the love to Taylor. Thank you so much, Thank Taylor. Taylor. Uh, Casey, you do this one. Oh, you don't actually do this one as Nylock. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah. Me? Yeah. Yes, you. I, I, look, I've been. Just do it. Just, just, just do it in it. a very over exaggerated <laughs> British. Absolutely will not. Role player boys. Of a couple Perfect. Of Absolutely not. Uh, where the hell does it start and begin? I just. A good day to you. Good day. All right. I'm just gonna read it normally. Good day to you. Make. Not brave, Squire. I'm not doing it. Uh, curb for curb for <laughs> buffer. Squire curb buffer. That's why I wanted you to do it that way. Huh? That's- I, never mind, just fucking go ahead. That's <laughs> <laughs> shot. Yeah, uh, I get- we get it! You are inebriated! Here. Read the Not fucking so donation! Uh, we're all big fans of your work. Film especially, and would be honored to have you sketch. 
uh, one of her characters with the bonus of supporting Child's Play Charity. Keep up the good work. Awesome. Thank Woo! you so much. Uh, Bosco, take this one. Uh, all right. Hey, Chris, I just wanted to say a great job with Tome. All of it, really, from the voicing to the animation. Thank you in all caps. I would love it if you could draw Izuro Kamakura from my favorite game in your own style, please. I assume that's a very famous game or character. Battle on and pray the Hot Pockets don't take over. Cool. Oh my God. Uh, ben, Ben, take this one. <laughs> Hi, Tom Crew. I would like to thank all of you for the, I would like to thank you all for the hard work. I really like the spirit behind the creation of Tom and the people behind it. For the laughs, I would like to request a delicious fighting food on version of a hot pocket. <laughs> oh, oh my god! That, that is the best thing. Oh, oh Jesus. my gosh! And it's it's a giant hot dog wearing a hat and wielding uh, his. The Western hot dog. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, um. Uh, uh, Anna, First, that's this, a potential Anna, new IP. Take, Anna, take this one. <laughs> Curbin friends, I can't believe it's been five years. Oh. You did a good job in creating the show, Curb. Even if you don't ever follow up on this series in the future, what we got was amazing. Give my regards to the cast and crew for being so awesome. Curb, I've, I'd love for you to draw my character that you drew during Some Call Me Johnny's Sonic Stream back in February, fighting Neo Mutant, because who wouldn't want to smack around that slimy scumbag? Anyway, take care, and here's to the kids. Stick man. That was a perfect one for you to read, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yoav, do you take this one? Uh, it's short, like me. Hey, I'm Tara Monster the Slayer! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> Thanks for making an amazing stream. Can you draw my Tomo C? Here's a picture for reference, and I'm assuming there's a picture yes, there over is. there. Uh, okay. Mac, bring us some. Last one. Okay. My brother and I spurged the extra cash for one last donation. I'm wondering if you would be able to draw Granda dressed as a gangster raver wearing a backwards <laughs> cap that says Dragon Stomper. <laughs> Saturn Diva shades, a pacifier necklace in her mouth, alpha wings holding glow sticks and enjoying herself, go-go boots, and a chain necklace with the letter G. Damn. Thank you so much for creating yes. such a cool Holy series. Shit. Kim was yeah. gonna, yeah. Kim was gonna lose her, her mind. I want to see that. Oh, oh my that's god, a, that's a this crazy is the request. best. All right, all right. So, so guys, we're we're, we're gonna finish that. up now here real quick. Okay, so just just to just to wrap things up, uh, I will do uh, a sequel to oh, not a sequel, but just kind of a wrap up to this, uh, probably over Skype and. Uh, Maybe later tonight when I get back home, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, I plan on doing that. Uh, so I will make sure to draw all these pictures. Thank you all so, so much. My god. Uh, once again, our total was uh, $1,728.45 raised for Child's Play. Uh, you are all amazing. Uh, if, if any, for any of you guys, both in the call and in the chat, anywhere, uh, if you stayed for whether it was for the entire thing or for just a little while, Thank you for lending your support. This is really incredible. I was, so, you know, not not to get too back into that zone again, but you know, considering, especially those of us in America and lot. things are kind of nuts right <laughs> now. I, I'm really happy that we got to do this this weekend and just do something purely good to help, you know, other people and because yeah. you know, that's good. Yeah. a lot of what the show is about, and this is really great. So thank you all. Um, I, I have a couple other things I want to get into, but any any last words, anything that you guys want to want to share about everything in, in general? Um, I, I guess since we're all here, if, if there's anyone, because this doesn't happen very often, if there's anyone in the chat who's watching, has been watching the whole time, if you guys have any questions or comments or anything for any of us, just, I guess let us know now, because oh, this yeah. doesn't happen often. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer questions. I'll stick around. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll, we can take a couple more questions because I don't want to run this like too too much longer. Um, oh yeah, yeah. But uh, no, definitely keep an eye out for some. Uh, in the meantime, we're waiting for questions to pile in since there's a lag. Um, so uh, we will be yeah. releasing uh, the music for uh, AVZ on Bandcamp before the end of the month. 
Uh, the reason that it was not released, uh, uh, by the way, if you guys see a question, just hold on to it and, and, and save it for when I'm done with this. All right, uh, I, I, I put it in my hot pocket. The reason that the AVZ uh, uh, music has not been released immediately is because we are actually going to be having a special bonus uh, as, a, as a track on the uh, the new Bandcamp release. Um, those of you who may have uh, been following some of my streams recently, I actually wrote lyrics to uh, Alpha's theme, which is called a Hero's Wings. Uh, and I wrote it as a full song and kind of treated it almost like an opening theme to Tome. Uh, and Stephen Kelly, I was kind of teasing about this earlier, uh, Stephen Kelly did an amazing uh, orchestral arrangement of it. And uh, Eileen Montgomery, who's the voice of just, uh, I'm sorry, of uh, Bailey Smith 13, and is an amazing singer as well. She's Eileen Monty on, on YouTube, uh, is doing the vocals for it. So she'll be working on that next week and we'll have that before the month is up. So keep an eye on that. That'll be on uh, Tome Series bandcamp.com i'll have links to that and all that stuff later as well so you guys you guys ready for questions yes go for it mm -hmm. yeah okay so Let's... starting with ben how did okay. you come across tome for the first time i came across tome uh because i used to just look at stuff on newgrounds and this was one of the many things that i saw after uh watching uh the nintendo collabs that curb did because i was a big fan of those and i was like those are really great and i was like oh what else has this guy done and i got to see some of tome through that there you go now we're here with you also, oh, by the yeah. way, just Bosco, if you're taking it, make, the sure, make sure they're like, could... make sure they're like relevant to like. The, the, the... I'm, I'm. Listen, I know how to do this. No, you Thank don't. you very much. I don't try. Stop I don't asking trusting. how big Curb's dick is, guys. Seriously, Seriously. Yes, <laughs> I don't care. We see it constantly. We already know. know. He constantly hits us in the face with it. It's really. All right, what else you got? It, it, a couple more. Their cheekbones. It hurts, man. There's that's a lot of foundation. Uh, there's to cover a question. Up. Is there an acapella track coming soon? Of something. Uh, oh, oh uh, well, you know what? Oh, I, actually, okay, regarding that, um, I think what I also might do is uh, I think I'm going to put up both the 8-Bit Song Collection and the Acapella Collection on the Bandcamp page. Maybe I'll release, like, one of those, like, per week and just as we kind of go through the rest of... Because I'm kind of declaring this Tome Vember anyway and doing month-long stuff. So uh, I'll put yeah. the Acapella tracks up on there. You can find them if you search my YouTube for the Tome Acapella Collection. It's on there somewhere. Uh, also, by the way, a uh, little relevant announcement, too... Um, to kind of continue with the theme of the month, I thought it would be kind of a cool idea to do Curblog interviews with a bunch of the main cast. Um, so, uh, uh, over the next couple weeks or so before the month is up, uh, I'm going to be doing some Curblogs with a few of these fine folks, uh, and just talking with them in general about a bunch of different things. So... Oh, cool, that's and, awesome. Well, and, we can't wait for the, for the Doubling and Raccoon episode. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So, in fact, if, uh, if, uh, Shady, <laughs> Anna, or Casey, if, if any of the three of you guys are available tomorrow and you want to record that, let me know and we can, we can do that. Uh, wait, yeah. my name is, oh, wait, my, Chris, Chris, my name, my name is Edward, not Casey. Sorry. Yeah, okay, thank you. Oh! Thank, thank you, Captain Douche Canoe. You got any other questions? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, okay. for everybody, uh, if you have one, what is your favorite line in the whole, whole show? Ooh. Mm. Oh, my... That's a good one. That's it's a good one. Yep. That's my favorite. What about you guys? Any other? Um, I like Mother Scratcher. Mother yeah. Scratcher's my favorite. There you go. That's a good one. I what? got all kinds of arrows. <laughs> I got, I got yeah, arrows. that's fun too. <laughs> I have repeated that. I've repeated that to people with no context. I'm like, what are you doing? And I'm like, no, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> Don't worry. You wouldn't. You wouldn't even get it. Shady, did you have one? The only thing that springs into my mind is from episode three, the really weird one that I'm in the mood uh, to wipe out some hackers. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's episode one, dude. <laughs> Anna, did you say one before and we missed it? Oh, I liked Mother Scratcher. Mother Scratcher. That's what I liked a lot. <laughs> Casey, what about you? I, I really like everything Ben Deskin said because it was just outrageous. Um, Aww. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, either anything that he said or maybe Softy saying thank you for watching was was a, oh, yeah, a, a nice yeah. icing on the cake. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I know it's my own character, but that was that was a really epic way to top it off. And uh, I think that really capped it pretty well. You know. <laughs> well, I, I to be so also fun. equally self-indulgent, I, I do have a, an attachment to, well, it's about time. So it's the closest thing I've ever had to a catchphrase in my life. Um, uh, what else we got? Uh, question for you, I guess, Chris. Okay. Uh, what was the inspiration for Webmaster's design? Uh, I think Mega Man Zero characters in general. I believe most of all, uh, copy Mega Man X uh, was what his sprite was originally based on. And uh, he's also inspired, by the way, you know, here's another shout I want to give to. Webmaster is inspired as a character by, well, sort of, 
uh, by the person who had his, who, whose screen name was the first time I'd ever heard the term webmaster. It was a guy named John Nestoriak, and he was the creator of TVTome.com. Uh, and without him creating that website and me going looking for useless voice actor trivia 15 odd years ago and Mike Lucas and I keeping in touch on that forum, then again, another person that if it wasn't for him, the show wouldn't have existed. So major shout out to John Nestoriak, who will probably never see this and probably doesn't even know that the show exists. So. Uh, this is actually a really good question, Chris, because I don't know if you've ever answered it before. Mm -hmm. uh, is there one aspect from TTA that you wanted to bring into Tome that you didn't get to? No. Yeah. Wow! All right, never no, mind. Because, because I because I think the show is infinitely better than TTA, and every time somebody's like, "Oh yeah, I like TTA better," I'm just like, "You're misguided." <laughs> so, uh, another question: Have you ever imagined gender bent versions of Tome characters? Uh, I think I was even gonna draw something like that one time, but I never got we around to no, it. No, we've seen it. We Some people have drawn it. them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this one is for the whole chat. What is your favorite moment in Tome from your character specifically? Oh, God. Also known as the question I've been asking all stream that nobody will fucking answer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> look. I, no, I answered. It's the metamorphosis. I know. <laughs> wow. Do you guys have any that you haven't shared already? or? Uh... <laughs> My my favorite moment is where I basically finally got to say "see you around, Mother Scratcher," which I guess could also work as my favorite line, like telling That's Raccoon cool. off for the last time. Okay. Cool. Uh, my favorite is, it's it's got to be Rocky reaching his hand out to Archie. I can't top that. Of course. I know. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's really yeah. good. That's my favorite, dude. Like, you're like, Raccoon's my favorite character. Oh, oh, that's so sweet of you to like... lie to Mac like that. Shut up! Oh my god, I'm gonna kick you out of this call in a minute, so I won't feel bad about it. Do it, do it for the Mac. Ben, don't do it. Yeah, ben, don't do, ben it. do you have it? Do you have a favorite awful moment? Uh, sure. Actually, it's like the very, very end where Raccoon shoves a fucking bomb. <laughs> <in my mouth. laughs> I'm like, thank you. Uh, I play the character. Anna, thank you. Anna, how about you? Um. I've said it so many times, so I'm not going to say the one that I always say <laughs> by screaming. That's my favorite. But I like it when I actually get to when there are talking moments with Alpha. Mm -hmm. I love I love relationships. I'm a sap for anything lovey-dovey, and I love when I get to I get to get personal with Alpha. I get it's to be because like, nobody else own... will talk to me. I know. <laughs> I'll talk oh, God, to you. So I love sad. you. <laughs> you just want to pick you up. Either. Sh Shady, uh, barring the outside goofiness of the, you know of the recording, like what what was what yes. was uh, a line or a moment with Alpha that you really liked? I like the uh, cute. So which one of you guys tops? God. Damn it. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Wow. I genuinely, if I apologize to anybody, <laughs> any homosexual fans, if that offended you, I did not mean it that way. I'm sorry. Oh Jesus. Um, for me. Um, you know, I, this is gonna sound weird, um, because it's not an animated moment, but I'm actually really, really, really glad that I got to have the live-action ending to the last episode, because that was something that I envisioned in only my wildest fantasies years ago, even in the TTA days of getting to do something like that, and I never thought in a million years that I would get to, and it was only because, uh, and it was, that was only possible, truly, because of the support the the help the friendship the, the favors that were done for just everything from all of these amazing people all of you guys all the people in the chat who have been fans uh, everybody on the cast and crew it, it you know with it, it, casey's been giving me so many accolades about oh like you're one person who made this like i tone would not be anything without all of you guys all of every single one yeah, of you. but it you're would... the freaking cojones of the no, show no and, 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 and i and i appreciate that and i am really proud of what i've done but honestly i am so eternally grateful for everything that you guys have done for me like the the fans the staff the cast everybody and and the, the envisionment of this story that I, I set out to tell would not have been possible without you and 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 then and, and capping it off with that ending which i'm gonna segue bosco do you think that's an okay question for us to go out on I, yeah, I think it's totally okay. Glad. Um, so segueing into this, I, I do want to address this because a lot of people have been asking. Okay, so I announced this a while ago, and I want to reiterate it here. We are officially not doing a season three of Tome, and I am very sorry for that, and I, I apologize that that's going to let a lot of people down. 
there was talk of it, there was an outline written, I had some ideas that would have been kind of cool, we talked about some things of the possibility of doing it, it would have been five episodes, it would have been a little bit of an extra thing. The, the two main reasons as to why I am not going to do that is because, uh, number one, I feel that the ending that we have in the show as it is, is the ending that I set out to have from the beginning with the story that I wanted to tell. And even though the idea that I had for season 3 would be fun and kind of cool and I would enjoy doing it or whatever, I feel that it's better to push to doing new stuff and, and like something completely different and, and not just adding more to it. And I, I want to leave it the way it is and, and leave it on as close to perfect of a note as I could have had for this interpretation of the story as I set out to make it. The second reason, which kind of goes hand in hand, is because if it were up to me between doing one or the other, I would rather, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, I would much rather do a game. Unfortunately, and I'm sad about this too, I don't have any news yet about what's happening with the game. And I am very sorry because it's been a year and a half since we I teased it at the panel and everything. And I was really hoping, honestly, I was hoping a year ago today I would have had news to share about it, but I don't. Um, there are things that are still being worked out, there are things up in the air that I'm trying to work out. Um, I really, really want to do that as the next major project, especially when it comes to this IP. I know people have been asking for it for ages, since even before the show started. I know that, and I'll speak for everybody in this room, I know that everybody else wants it to happen and wants to be part of it as well. Um, you know, I just, I just don't want to speak too soon, I don't want to get hopes up, I don't want to make a big thing out of it yet because I don't know yet. But I, I promise you all, it is something I've thought incredibly much about for the last several years. I really, really would like to do it, but, but if it happens, I want it to be good. I want it to be something that would be worth it to all of you guys, to everybody that cares about these characters and this story and this IP, you know, as much as possible. I want it to be legit. So, I know I... I know it's a little disappointing, I, I wish I could have had some like bigger and bigger news, but that said, I'm really really glad that we got to do this, I'm really glad that I was able to have time to do the short as well, uh, which I think was really cool to have, you know, that's the kind of the closest thing that I guess we'll have to season 3 is the little ABZ short, and um, I, I, you know, I, I just, I want to thank all of you guys, everybody, all, all of you here with me. Whether you're a fan or someone who worked on the show, all of you guys, I am so incredible. I can't, I say this a billion times, but I really, really can't say enough. Like, I am so ungodly appreciative for what all of you people have done for me for the last several years. And I, I, I can't even, I, I could, I could go on about that forever, but we'd be here for another hour and I don't want to bore you all. But, but just thank all of you guys so, so incredibly much for everything. So... That's it. That's all I got. Fuck. <laughs> Dead silence. <laughs> Is everybody okay? Uh, I think that was really we didn't want to ruin that's, the that's, moment. That's, that's Sorry. A, yeah. Sorry. I'm just like, oh god, did I ruin everything? Yeah. And then, was that too serious? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, jeez. Well, um... I, I guess that's it, guys. Uh... So, uh, I guess we're gonna wrap things up, um, but, uh, everybody, thank you again. I know a billion times I've said it, I'll keep doing it, but really, uh, we will see you all later. Have a fantastic one. Bye! 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 Bye. 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 Thanks for joining! Bye!